I see what's going on. Yeah. So, uh, nope, nope, not, there's not there's associated with Bronco. You're, reading, you're reading between lines okay. that aren't there. He's reaching the end of his limit, and if you keep pressing him on this, yeah. he's going to explode. So, did it hurt? What hurt? When you fell from heaven. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay, Maybe. I feel like there's more yeah. pressing things. <laughs> Just two seconds. I need to make sure we're not being followed. Okay. <laughs> A mine shaft. Yeah. Right? One of the one of the one of the <laughs> here's, here's one of the best things about oh, yeah, this game. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the best things about this game is that I get to say, where were we yesterday? Yeah. Hey. Hey. And I was New right. game. We were in a mine shaft. New game. And again, hero whoa, tokens. Whoa, 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 what? Yeah, I know. Why are they getting their hero tokens? Start every session with a hero token. That's why I just burnt mine yesterday, because oh. I never <laughs> fucking use them. I'm just going to say that, that now inspiration feels like less special. Oh, no. Because you get one every right, time. Just get one. Take them yeah. back. No! <laughs> I, I earned that one. That, that one's rightfully mine. Oh, okay. I don't think you should just get one at the start of a session. Well, we always have. <laughs> It'll feel more valuable if you every session. Yeah. I think it's just because it's the next day. <laughs> every right. session. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And oh, because okay. we usually don't have the yeah, little. But, uh, but little what's, little the, what's the reward now for, like, like when I do something clever and I get a little inspiration? You get one back. You get one of those. Yeah, you get it. And then you'll get it back. So that's the thing. It encourages you doing heroic things. Taking risks that may like not pay off. Like stealing a it. shirt off a dead body. <laughs> yeah. Heroic things like that. Heroic. Yeah. Exactly. Heroic, yeah, heroic, heroic important okay. things <laughs> that will <laughs> make, have consequences. I think the moral of the story is use them. Use it. Yeah. yeah. Use yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. I never use them. And also yeah, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. video games. Them. Like the hoard all your potions yep. and grenades and I shit. I still do Too that. powerful to yeah. use. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Every, anyway. At the end of every game, my inventory is full of yep. world-ending stuff. When I gave you the quick save scroll, I was like, this is never going to get used. Oh, yeah, <laughs> They're going to be like, I'm not going to get It's right there at the top of my inventory. It's going to get f***ing used. Because the, <laughs> the key with that one is we, we have to go, oh, th th this is a, a, a tricky situation we're about to go into, quick yep. save. Because yeah. you can't just go, oh, that sucked. Yep. Reload. Exactly. I yeah. guess for the final battle with Leothor, which maybe, I maybe. assume who will knows. happen. Who yeah, knows. who knows? If you make it to it. If we, we might die before. Yeah. I, I think there's a very real chance. Not, like, <laughs> I think there's a very real chance we're not going to make it to the end game. Like, <laughs> there's a very real chance this crew this is not going to survive. <laughs> we're just going to trip and fall off a cliff and Leothor's yeah. going to go like, oh. That's the end of it. Sweet. Um, that's, that's the yeah, end of it. I'm high sorcerer now. <laughs> <laughs> no one to challenge me anymore. Yeah. All right, so where did we leave off yesterday? We're in a deep, dark tunnel you are. of love. Indeed. Um, and we're walking happening? off into the deep dark tunnel. Can I illuminate Let's get the, the, shaft, the shaft with uh, my lantern of revealing? Can I light that? I mean, so Adam's got a torch. Uh, Baradun's got a, a, I, I, a, I, a I illuminated fired, fired torch. Oh, yeah. I just I'm want to set the I, I, still, I still might, though. I'm, I'm gonna still going to do it. set the tone just straight off the bat. I'm, every now and then, I'm going to be standing just because my back's a bit sore, so just get used to it. Here, get used it's, to it. That's it. It's, no. happening. it's happening, everybody. What's get up? Standing. Is that, um, and, and continue. It's what, so, so like, it's, now in my shot, I've got nobody here. <laughs> okay, that's, that's fine. Probably makes, it, probably no. makes the shot a little bit no. better. <laughs> actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's no, actually, right. he's wow, actually not, he's not got a saw back at all. He's just, he's just, Spying, yeah. spying things. Yeah. I'll just say, what? Now I'm going to be doing this. Isn't it? <laughs> so, so, so that shot, shot, oh, so that shot can be was pretty. This shot got real ugly. What did you say, what? Just kind of a hideous yeah. shot. Yeah. I love every ro every t Roman's turn. He should just be in a different corner, like in the, or craning up the. <laughs> and no, it's just Roman's turn. Where is he? Hanging from him. the ceiling. Let's play Wes Wally every time. Uh, what do you do, actually, Ron? if we could suspend Rowan, get him flying throughout <laughs> from the, the ceiling. Yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! We haven't started work. yet. I feel so like there's probably a couple hidden, of spots where it's hidden, difficult to cut to you. Actually. Hidden yeah. croucher hiding. Dungeons and Dragons. There it is. <laughs> is that the thing? Is that the movie? I don't know. Hidden, oh, and and crouching tiger, I've hidden a dragon, dragon, Dungeons and Dragons. And we're walking down the mine. I, and I do like my lantern over again. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Lovely to have you here, Ben. <laughs> Should we have a break? <laughs> yeah. I think we're about. Can you have a break? It's been a bit. <laughs> I feel, I'm, I'm, getting a bit I'm getting a bit tired. I am getting a bit tired. I'm right, starting right. to fade, actually. <laughs> so, so, so if we could just wrap this up. Hell. Okay, now shut the fuck up. Mornings. All right. And <clears throat> we're in. Yep. Here we go. Focused. You have. So what, what just happened in the story? You're in a mineshaft, but why? Why are you in a mineshaft? We what, fell right. down through. So we were in the club. Oh, jumped yep. And we jumped down and the barrel through the pipe. We were to escape. Blade. We had a distraction up in the club before, yep. and we're pursuing. Finally, using the Trenton, 
who has uh, looks like he's about to kill that human person on the dance off. I can't remember their Randy. There you go. Randy. Randy. Remembered. Randy. Well Randy. Remembered. Just and as, probably a, as an aside, some... I usually give out the hero tokens at the start of the thing as a reward for the players giving me a recap of where we are, we're up, up to. Oh, so that's there you go. So, so there I, you go. You I did a thing. This twice. You've got your you've got your Very nice. tokens. Very nice. So that is where we're at. You are tr you are following Trinton. You are trying to what? What is your what is your goal? What are you? I guess for? we're trying to find out dodgy business from him. Yeah. Because you're trying to get. I mean, this feels pretty you're dodgy. <laughs> you're trying to get well, some. Well, already very dodgy. Yeah, you're trying yeah. to get some evidence that the Selwyns are up to irrefutable. Shady stuff. Although, so yeah, a lot we need of physical like, evidence, I guess. Look at these geezers. Yeah, so some sort of, sort of physical evidence would be ideal. We could just go, I reckon. <laughs> oh, we can <laughs> go to Ladder Keeps and go, fucking, I reckon. I reckon. <laughs> Is it, it's more specifically related to bone quarrel, though, isn't it? Um, well, that's one avenue of. If you, can, if you can prove that they are actually still in cahoots with Bone Quarrel and didn't actually ostracize him from the family. Uh, if you can prove that they're in touch with the Dark Lords, if you can prove any number of things, like if they're doing necromancy, dodgy if they stuff. hang their any toilet paper stuff. the wrong if, yeah, way, yeah. <sighs> that kind of shit. Yeah. So basically, you're looking yeah. for some kind of hard evidence that you can take to the Ladder Geeps and be like, here's your thing, give us the tick, you're on our side now. So just a, sorry, it's Trenton Selwyn. Trenton right. Selwyn, yes. Great. Does he have like the cowlick, like Tintin? <laughs> You can, yeah. can if you want. Great. Sure. That's, how you, that's your head. <laughs> that's, that's, that's how you're going to remember. <laughs> and, and, and we're trying to find dirt on the Selwyns. Yes. Yes. Correct. Selwyns. All right. So, let me show you where you are. So I wonder how far behind you <gasps> are. We're mm. in. Oh, no, what the heck is this? Thing. It's actually 3D terrain. 3D terrain. What the heck? Right there. Perfect. <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, I borrowed this stuff from a uh, friend of mine who runs the Cutting Words YouTube channel, a fellow mm. called Brad. Um, uh, it's the same guy I borrowed the terrain from when we fought the Frost Giant and the, the glowing caverns and stuff. Cutting Words. Now that's a YouTube channel I could subscribe to. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. They, I don't know who they are, but uh, they, they, they get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That'll be, be very appreciative of that. All right. So you have made your way into this mine shaft. It's a relatively narrow tunnel, mostly about uh, 10 foot wide at most. Um, what do you want to do? Baradun and, and um, whatever your name is, Bob. Bob. <laughs> <laughs> you guys uh, head off first because you had the, yeah. the torch. You two stayed behind to I see if you could do something vision. with the tunnel. I and have you, my displacer well, scarf oh, on. Matt, was there something yeah. about it's like super dark? Or it is, it, it's like it was dark till, you, till the point you got to this part and you can see that there are torches. Torch no, it's right. Trenton was super dark. Yeah, now, right. Trenton, Trenton, Trenton put uh, his cloak, cloak up and seemed to get even darker. Unnaturally, yeah. yeah. Like dark vision, or, or what, what's the official name for being able to see in the dark? Dark vision. It's dark vision. Yeah. P so you've P got P touch black, I can see? Uh, yeah, it's, rules is written, you can see in pitch black up to, like, it goes to dim light, and dim light becomes bright light. In my games, unless you have, like, some sort of supernatural thing, What's like up, he baby? does from Holy his wall. Oh, it's still close to you. Yeah, he's half shit. dwarf. Half, half dwarf, dwarf, baby. All right. Um, in my games, like if you if you're in pitch, if there's no source of light at all, then it doesn't make sense for you to be able to see unless you've got magic. But if there's like dim light, then yes, you can see fine. And so, there are some sconces there. And there so, are some sconces. So, so you do can we have any? Well. Is there anything? Like, can we set a trap down or something? Does anyone have a trap that we could like lay down mm, at the bottom just in you? case blade falls? Good idea. I don't. Why don't we go? Are any of you an artifact? Surely, surely we whip can up just, a trap rock. This is D and D. We can say. <laughs> I was going to say, we can say, we, we craft a trap. You, well, as a, as a rogue, well, that is something that rogues can do with like thieves tools and stuff, you can jerry-rig something. You should, yeah, that, that's a great I idea. A jerry-rig trap's never going to be as good as like an actual hunting trap or something that you have on your person, but if you don't you have that, you can right. set do something that. up. Fucking, I use my thieves tools for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a moment, you've, man. You've picked locks with them before. Once or twice, um, maybe. So, what, so describe the trap, what sort of a thing? Is it going to be like a tripwire? Trip something and something falls on them. Is yeah, it going to be like one. a swinging something? <laughs> like like a, have you got like a vial a of poison at all that you're going like, to set up? To... In the uh, let me let me just inv investigate my um, inventory. Yeah. What do you guys think? What do you? I, I'm, I'm imagining you... like a like some sort of kind of like a bear trap. Yeah, to stop them because <laughs> if it's yeah. like an arrow, it's just going to hurt them, and then they'll come into the battle anyway, <laughs> just with slight less HP. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you want to stop them yeah. there. Some yeah. kind of variation of a bear trap. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just checking if I've got anything. Can we look or survey around for any loose, like, is, is any of the wall starting to fall apart or Definitely. anything? Definitely. Yeah, this, yeah, this place has been long about the we could, we could yeah. Well, we could probably just do some damage and bring down part of this. Yeah, I reckon we set up a set up a tripwire that will bring down rocks. To, right. I, 
at hopefully. least close off the so thing. So tell hopefully me, crush them. Tell me how how long you're gonna hopefully spend on this. Thirty seconds. Then, okay, thirty <laughs> seconds on <laughs> no. tri oh, tripwire. They'll bring down the ceiling. Yeah, we, we yeah. do I need to tripwire. Tripwire done. <laughs> we yeah. do need to follow reasonably. Yeah, because like that's quickly. the that's the toss up. The, like trade, if you, yeah. the longer you spend, the lower well, the DC let's just is go down of the trap. Do, like, no, like, no joke. Just attack this like, area. Like do like for fireball or whatever. So and then and just like cave it in behind you. But then if we walk down there and shoot down there, I mean, it like could, if you cave yeah. in, like. So that's what I was talking about before. Is fireball, fireball in the end of the, you guys last time assumed I meant send a fireball up. I meant fireball the end of the. Um, oh yeah, I thought you meant up. Yeah, okay, right. yeah, yeah, the fireball there yeah, just to bring like, that just, area. So down. if we all just walk back a wee while, I was, sorry, walk further down the tunnel. Yeah. Obviously more than 60 feet or 30 feet, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And and just fireball. And then I'll just fireball the end here? of it and just yeah. make a cave. Let's in. do that. Right. I assume because it's a slide that's not that way out. Um, slide how, where do we come in? Save. You, sl you slid slide. in like, oh, down like here and then you've come and then you've okay, like, so this, this came in here. Are, are, all, are we all okay with, with that plan as we walk 30 feet away and I fireball the in, yeah, and just cave, so. create a cave in? Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Sh shadow, shadow maybe? Yeah, maybe shatter's better, yeah. What is it? Oh, yeah. It's more sound, so it brings it in. So, I just, I'm just, I don't want to go. Shed a <laughs> the let's, entire thing crumbles. Let's go around so that, that corner even. Though. So you start to walk forwards. I need the two of you to make dexterity saving throws, please. Oh, it seems like we the first should people we, to think about okay. trapping this corridor. Really quick, should we oh, just check? <laughs> should we before we do <laughs> this? Something you've been like, you this would trips? be a great place for a <laughs> trap. <laughs> 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 no, it wasn't, but that's a good idea. 19. <laughs> that's a 19. That's like a trap oh, right. Plus <laughs> a million. Oh, this is my So 19. <laughs> uh, saving throw plus eight. I always forget saving throw. Twenty. Dirty twenty. Dirty plus twenty. Plus eight. So two. Tied twenty-seven. All right. So the spike trap uh, triggers. And I feel like I've got some kind of something. Spike trap triggers in the wall. <laughs> Coming out, shooting out of the wall towards both of you who stepped on the pressure plates to activate it. Um, but you did make the DC to, uh, to on the saving throw, so you'll only take half the damage. What? I thought with well, a fucking twenty and miss entirely. No. Yeah, wow. Half, like half oh. damage on saving throws. That's how that's how saving throws generally work. Ow. You either take half damage or you, you dodge the side and only take half. Ow. Right. <laughs> Outrageous. Any of the coast. There, bro. He used your word three times. <laughs> He, I'm, however, I'm too outraged. He, <laughs> however, um, as a rogue, does get a feature where if he makes the save, he takes no damage. Yeah, yeah, okay. I was gonna, that's called, what I was looking for. Evasion. I, I had banked the outrage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then I was just holding on. Uh, just rolled waiting relatively for the... poorly, so that is How much am I 8, 10, 13, 13 halved, round up 7. 7 points of damage to you, and because of evasion, you duck to the side, you grab Baradun and push him in front of you, so that you take no damage. <laughs> you, you. Well, Bob, what are you doing? Oh, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> asshole! There's definitely going to be traps around Bob. No, whoa, 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 why didn't I what? Why didn't you disarm it? Oh, dis that's a thing I can do, isn't it? You should be, you're on the yeah, yeah, road, yeah, Bob. Yeah, you should yeah, be looking yeah. out for traps. That's a good idea. See, I was just gonna push you into all the traps. How about so you I didn't disarm, get hit. How about you disarm them? Okay. That's your literal fucking job, okay. Bob. Okay, all right, all right. It's a novel idea. From now on, I will try to disarm the traps that I see. All right, here we go. These spear-like tips come out of <laughs> small cracks in the wall that just looked like they were part of the sort of natural grout of the, 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 the dry stone yes, wall. And then they slowly start to retract in again and you can hear this sort of mechanical <laughs> from behind. Yeah, I thought I had a card for evasion, but apparently I don't. So How much damage did you take? Uh, he only seven. took seven because he made, made the save. Um, well, Bob, can you please go further down the frickin' tunnel and check for traps? Check if you should, it's your idea. literal role. <laughs> You're oh. the rogue. Oh. I just love how you were all standing here being like, this is a perfect place for traps. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah. well, only for them, not us. I don't want someone to trap me. All right, all right so I go well, down and I'm keeping an eye out for traps. Wonderful. All right, I will have you make a, um, an investigation check, please. You could, or, or perception. Perception works. I think you yeah, just I'm you're better on massive in perception. My perception is huge. I bet it is. <laughs> 11 plus 10, 21. 
All right. That's what's with up. A, with That's a what's 21, you, so perceptive. you head around the corner, not seeing any tripwires, not seeing any more holes in the walls, not seeing anything until you get around the corner, out of sight of these guys, and you see on the ground some etched snakes. I see that. I can see that. <laughs> I can see that <laughs> now. I can see also. some snakes etched into the ground, yeah. and then some small runes around the side of that, and you think, ah, oh, that's probably not. That's that's probably a trap. Uh, Baradun, come here. <laughs> yeah, what are you doing? Show off the, oh, showing off the etched nice. snakes to camera the walls in the way. Baradun, you <laughs> carefully make your way around and around the corner, and sure and I go, Baradun, well. it's completely safe. Go ahead. Five, ten, fifteen. Come on, you retract. Come The two of you. What are Good you man. doing? Man. Huh? Um, the follow, follow, follow. Yes. Uh, walk All around right. and don't stand on the pressure plates. So the DC to avoid the pressure plates. Uh, I need a dexterity check from you, each. To see uh, I get, to see do I get advantage on that? With, uh, uh, no, this is just a check because you know it's there. It's something you're trying to do rather than something that's happening uh, to you. Thirteen. Thirteen is enough to avoid it. Five. Uh, plus <laughs> one. Six. Bodger still does. <laughs> right, so. Dangerous. Uh, yeah, when, when it actually triggers, yeah, yeah, that will work. Oh, work. Guidance, guidance, so, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit, I turned around. Sorry, sorry. So you make it past all of the things and you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> 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 you just run the forward. Ah, <laughs> you trigger the trap, which does go off, which now you make now a dexterity saving throw, and now you have advantage because of danger sense. 18. All right. So that is Plus a success. One, so. You'll take only half damage as they come flying out of the wall at you again. Uh, that is another 13, so halved 7. A mere pittance. Seven pittance. points of damage to you. Uh, they come out of the wall again and then start to retract. <sighs> oh. Oh. That hurt a little bit. Oh, lucky my armor class is so high. <laughs> Hardly felt it. Because hey. Barbarian is the best class. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry to stop your game mid-episode, but I needed to talk to you about Baradun and the dickheads. Look at them. They've just gone on sale, and look how pretty they are. They're new YouTubes, and they're available at YouTubes.com. The link is in the description. Go and buy all four of them. But of course, you need to buy Baradun, the leader of Baradun and the dickheads. I mean, I guess you could buy the dickheads. Some strange, muscly man, a weirdo with a cape, and this guy who can't decide what class he wants to be. Anyway, back to the game. Meanwhile, around the corner. Seven damage. Have you managed to convince Barry? Can I, as fine. I'm walking by, I'm, I'm, I'm surveying, I'm just like a little bit paranoid that, like now that I'm thinking about Shadow's gonna bring the whole thing down. Like, is the structural integrity of this mine shaft that which it will own, only this area will go down and not like cause some sort of massive yeah, ripple, that's ripple what, effect that's down? That's what I'm worried about too. Yeah. Can I like? Uh, I can, you, can, you can try that. Yeah, you can make a, uh, a stonework check. Essentially, if you were a dwarf, you'd have advantage on this, but you're not. So uh, just like, you uh, uh, just make it a. Maybe Bodger has. Half it's kind of like an engineering check. So just Was make it, it an intelligence so, check. Okay. Maybe Bodger will have half advantage. Damn it! Nah, I, I, <laughs> well, it makes sense. I only I only got seven plus. Uh, did you say intelligence? Intelligence. intelligence. So you just have. I don't think there's like, any reason I, that you. I, like, I have no. I have no reason to. You're not I an architect. You don't have any yeah, structural yeah. background. I don't think you're, I'm, you're I'm, a structural engineer. So I don't think. So I'm, I'm concerned, but I don't. Yeah, I have, there's nothing. Yeah, you, I, can, I, I turn I around and I'm about to do shatter, and then I go. This seems dumb, and I kind of make the same. Same thought pattern before doing so. All right. And I roll a 12 plus what, what was it? Intelligence. Uh, plus two, 14. 14, with a 14, you're pretty sure that it will be contained. Like it is an abandoned mineshaft, and as mineshafts are, they, they usually have the, um, the, so, the, the structures. Okay, cast shadow. So it'll, it'll smash are the structure you're now? pointing at. Yeah, it's only 10 foot. Con. All right, so you turn around, you get behind all of these guys, and you you shatter this area in the back here. Um, cast the spell off, and then make your uh, wild surge check. Bazinga. Nope. Um, trigger, go trigger goes up, and a bunch of this stuff starts to <laughs> roll damage just to see how much of it actually collapses. Oh, I don't remember what the damage for shatter is. 3d8. It's a million, yeah. I think? I'm just gonna do it here. Uh, it's almost a million, it's 3d8. Yeah, same, same, same. Yeah. So a million. Given all numbers, 3d8 is very close to a million. Exactly. Uh, in the grand 13. scheme of everything, yeah. Sorry, 13, 13 damage? All right, 13 damage isn't a hell of a lot when you're talking like stonework and things, so like a big chunk of it <laughs> falls in from the ceiling. Ah, that's um, all right. It'll hamper them. Th at this point, yeah, at this point you'd, you'd notice that that wouldn't stop somebody, but it would slow them down and hamper them for sure. I mean, I can do it again. Could do it again if you want. 
Do it again, bro. Let's, 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 let's block this path, yo. Object AC and HP, I've got a table The unfortunate thing is the fight with Blade could have been badass. Yeah. yeah. But <laughs> His name's Blade. His name's Blade. Uh, Still mine. Another, another, another 12. Another 12. All right, yeah, big chunk chunk more falls down at this point it would stop him but then it would it would well it's still slowing down because he can eventually move, move up yeah, but it would yeah, take yeah. a long time give us time okay so, okay good happy to and have by the way just in, just with blade in mind actually, i'm just confirming i've illuminated my lantern of revealing and so just in case he sneaks up all oh you know, was he the cloaky dude yeah, he's, he's, the, the he's invisible, invisible. He's the invisible so one. i do have the lantern of re revealing okay. okay so you have <laughs> blocked yourself in the uh, torchlight from this lantern great so we go Is what <laughs> Definitely, if that's the exit, we're f***ed. Good. Oh, I can dimension you were like, I you can dimension you myself and one other person out. <laughs> you yeah, were already, I only remember that. You were already in an underground, underground, underground club that was like, so, we, don't, we, we don't know how to Cross get. Cross your fingers, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Could you just do that? 500 feet up, let's go. Yep, then you can just go 500 feet up and hope that you're less than 500 feet underground. And, and hope that you don't teleport inside, like, some inside like a, a rock wall? or something. Yeah. What happens yeah. when that do, what do you... Take damage, yeah. Takes takes a bunch of But then, so you're not moving these things out of the way you'll just be mixed with the dirt. Wall. Yeah, but, it takes a bunch of force damage and then is shunted so to if, the next nearest available space. If you teleport halfway through a wall, would half your body just fall out? <laughs> like, no, no, you, you go, you get magically pushed out of the wall. Oh, yeah. magic, yeah. what a, the magic kind yeah. of goes, this is wrong, gives you a bunch of magic damage it's and then pushes you to a different to, place. Yeah, come on, nice. yeah, yeah. Cool. So, uh, so come on, yeah. All right. Um, so I'm not going to be a prick, and I am going to go, there's a bunch of snake runes mm -hmm. right here, so I feel like that's a trap, so... Bob, that's really big of you to tell us. Do you want oh. to disable the trap? Oh, I wonder, I could be a bat right now. You could be a bat and right I now. And I could fly ahead and check stuff, probably. Look at you, Do you want to disable the snake trap room <laughs> thing first? <laughs> no, probably not. Probably leave that to you guys. Oh, oh I could do you leave them here. <laughs> so I could so you've, actually. You've seen the snake. Fuck you. We, <laughs> being that it's like it looks magical. Is um, well, all right. I can. I, I try and disable it. Um, okay. Can you do well, detect magic you, you would uh, right. make an arcana yeah. check. See how much you know about magic traps. Because this is not a physical trap. Twenty. I know no. everything Stop. about magic. Everything about Stop. magic trap. Wait, wait, right. wait. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a black what? for a second. What I didn't I, even what use his, his, his automatic twenty that he's Rob, got charged up. Sorry, I didn't realize that Ben had a twenty on yeah, his Yeah, I didn't yeah, think yeah. so either. Oh, Trip and point. arcana plus zero, so twenty. <laughs> so twenty. Dirty twenty and a nat twenty. A dirty twenty. Is that, and is that the first time you've rolled that? I'm like, I just don't know. It's a rare book. With twenty arcana, you would know that the runes around around sort of the bodies of each of the snakes on the ground. Mm -hmm. uh, they are important to the trap triggering whatever the trap is um, for some reason as well maybe you, you learned it from one of your brothers or something uh, you also recognize that they are from the evocation school of magic meaning they conjure some sort of dam they're, they're focused on damage so if you right. were to step on them they Go they'll, explode. they'll hurt you or something yeah or something, uh, um, poison maybe so you also know that if the runes are disturbed without the entire trap being disturbed the it screws up with the magic right. essentially it's like like changing the words on an auto, uh, yeah. an auto reader or something like it's just right. not going to work. So there is a danger to doing that if you if you get your thieves tools out and start scratching away at the runes. If you screw up and and do too much too fast, it will trigger the trap. Okay. So you can disable it by scratching the runes, but but surely you you've risk got it awesome off. thieves tools roll. You can do that easily. Yeah, I don't. Want also, you would be. know that uh, most of these sorts of traps are. Uh, proximity related so like if you step over them and you give it enough distance it might not trigger yeah right but if it's if it's not like direct pressure related and it's instead um, yeah, like, it's like just anywhere feet. close I reckon just you surely as a rogue you'll be able to easily disarm it let's find out <laughs> I try and disarm it alright thieves tools check uh, because you are proficient in both sleight of hand and thieves tools right yeah um, you get uh, advantage on the roll so you can make a, a sleight of hand check with advantage <laughs> bruh with a 12. 21. 21. One, All right. Oh, and that, was a, that was a 12. And advantage. <laughs> oh, okay. I read it backwards. <laughs> <laughs> and a 4. So 12 plus 12, 24. 24. 24 is even better then. Uh, to disarm it. Ooh, okay. Um, hmm. Hmm. That's his 
he succeeded <laughs> noise. <laughs> that, that's my, the DC was 25, um, but uh, I'll allow it because you were on, you were one off. So I'll give you some, sure. da- some triggers, but not as much. Uh, you managed to scratch through the majority of the snakes. Yeah. Um, but on that last one, you get in a bit cocky, <laughs> and you just kind of this. over. Oh, <laughs> and you Stop just kind looking of at us. It. <laughs> to, to, to Look, I can do it behind my back. <laughs> <laughs> this last snake, there's like four into 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 wingled, intertwined, That's, intertwined, <laughs> mingled and intertwined snakes. <laughs> intertwingled. Yeah. Um, and you've gotten three of them out. So the last one uh, triggers for just one point of poison damage. Uh, right. To you and anyone within 10 feet of the rune, which I think is just you because everybody else would have been smart enough to stay back. Mm-hmm. Bullshit. So just one point of poison damage. Uh, you're not focused on anything, any concentration spells, so not a big deal. Okay. All right, stay back, stay back. I'm going to try and disarm this trap. Wish me luck. Oh, okay, okay. One rune down. <sighs> Second one. Nailed that one, that one was even easier. All right, third one. Man, I am so good at this. Watch this, I'm gonna do the fourth one without even looking at it. Just watch. Oh, what was that? Ah! Ow, ow, it's right in my eyes. It's in my eyes, it's a poison trap. It's in my eyes. Ow. Um, cool, the the runes are still, the the, um, snakes are still on the ground, but it seems like you've etched the runes away. What do you guys want to do? Um, Continue. Well, onwards. if you're confident, you should be the first to step across it and just double check that, you know. Are you sure you disarmed it? Like, go. But I don't fucking know. It's magic I'll, snake I'm, I'll, shit. I'll, I'll follow I you. scratched it. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're confident, I'll, you go And first. then keep wandering down the hallway looking for traps. Yeah, yeah there is a part of me, because I can fly. Well, it's pretty narrow, right? Uh, it's about, oh yeah, it's an average of about eight feet wide, this corridor. Because mm, um, I could turn to a bat. Yeah. Which, yeah. yeah, f*** it, I'll turn into turn a bat. To a bat. Oh, but once, then if I have to disable, disable yeah, then if I have to disable okay. any traps, I have to return. Because I've got my cloak, I can You can, can just fly, fly as you, but you have to be doing this. Yeah, exactly, in eight feet, and trying not to sit off <laughs> traps and stuff. So I'll just, I'll just walk. carefully walk. Carefully over. walking instead, all right. So walking nice and slowly and stealthily around the corner. And still checking for traps. Still checking for traps, yep. And we follow. The next thing you notice is that there is a another alcove with a torch in it. This is more well illuminated and a little bit more well looked after, maintained, uh, because in the ground is a circle of runes. Um, with yeah. your net 20 from Arcana, I'll bring that over because you're never going to get another net 20 again, so I might as well milk it. <laughs> milk it for as much as possible. Um, it would be weird to go, I know everything about Arcana. Wait, I've forgotten <laughs> I don't know, about Arcana. I don't know anything about this particular <laughs> rune here. Um, these ones don't strike you as evocation. Um, these ones don't strike you as something you would have, you'd know the school of magic about. Um, but. Actually, you're an uh, uh, um, arcane trickster, so you have mm. studied magic in some way, by which we meant sure. you ate some, you ate some <laughs> mushrooms ate some from mushrooms Al- Alfie and, and got given magic. hearts and stuff. <laughs> uh, so I'll say that yes, you do recognise these ones as uh, from the school of conjuration. Usually means uh, the, the displacement of one thing to another place. So either right. conjuring something to hit this plane or teleportation. Any of those sorts of things are right. the school of conjuration. This is a potentially teleportation circle in the ground. All right. Um, is there any value to getting Baradun to check them out? Because he might know. More. Baradun would probably know more than you. Baradun. What? Fucking runes. And? <laughs> do you want to give me a do hand? Do you want to D&D? Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'm sorry, when someone just says runes, I'm like, yeah, there were runes in the ground and the snakes that you were dealing with? Yeah, well, there's ru- there's another rune trap. Do you know exactly what it is? Oh, it I looks think like it looks a teleport- like teleportation. It looks like a teleportation circle. Let's see how much more I know about that. <laughs> uh, 12 plus, what am I doing? Arcana. Arcana, Arcana yeah. Six, 18. 18. And I'm uh, proficient in it. You, you, do, you do recognize that as a teleportation circle, it's also a relatively small one and um, a not very... Uh, Can I well tell if it's ingoing or outgoing? Uh, it's an outgoing one. Uh, it's, a, it's actually both. Right. Um, but it's, you can tell that it, the size and uh, detail of it wouldn't be able to teleport you far. Like it would be a localized teleportation circle. Back to the club. Um, can can <coughs> you put things on a teleportation circle and send it off? Like uh, if I put an apple on it, you can, but they have to be act, like they would have to be active to actually work. This is a a 
Oh, it's, 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 yeah, like it's looking at a, it's like looking at a telephone. It's not currently ringing. It's like okay. it's it's there, and you can use it if you know how to turn it on and activate it. But right. it's not. Currently can we like tell if it's being used <laughs> recently? Uh, there's nothing. There's no residue that's left behind of that kind of thing. Okay. Any, uh, yeah. <laughs> gut, gut <laughs> Recent feel, magic. Gut, gut <laughs> feeling is it's a, a, a way out for small things or a way in for the enemies, basically. Yeah. Well, Trindon could have used it to get out, right? He said it's not big enough for oh, us. Oh, not big enough for everyone. No, no, I didn't say that. Oh, what? You said it was small. Probably I not. said it's a sm smaller than usual. Teleportation circles are usually like 10 feet wide. This one's like so a... So it's for individuals, maybe. Five foot wide at most, like four, oh, yeah, about yeah. four foot wide so circle. potentially bring something in. Um, so I guess I try and disable it. Or no, that's how... That might be our way. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, what you said is that you wouldn't teleport far. Is that yes, what you, you wouldn't teleport far. Yeah. Wait, you could we teleport back up to the localized. Sweet, that's there. Moving on. Yeah. Yeah. We well, let's do that. It's good to know. <laughs> well, it's good. <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, like, in theory, but uh, if we can get past it. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's just a door. Just picture it as a door. I see a whole place yeah, yeah yeah i think we just yeah but i was th i was thinking if it's like the snake thing like if we it, 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 it might it, trigger it, it could be a it. way in for other people but it could also be a way out i, I don't want to i think yeah. we just clock it go okay, great that's there cool. yeah, yeah. Um, i think I onwards after right i was under yeah. the assumption that it was a trap that we had all right, to all right no i think it's just past yeah cool. uh, let's so you, had, you walk first. It. <laughs> so, I mean, do, do, no, do, I'm like, I don't know. I, so you, you, you've investigated that, and your investigation has revealed that it's probably not a trap? Is it, it's, it's probably it a trap? It doesn't seem to have okay, any vocation I, I magic, also look around to see the, if there's the a, danger magic. You should also do this. I say, Bob, maybe there's a trigger plate that brings something in if we trigger. Guidance. <laughs> nice, well done. Uh, 19 plus 4, 9, plus what, what am I, I doing? doing? Yeah, what am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> you just roll it. Default, default. <laughs> and that's great, yeah. Like Investigation, yeah, yeah, I guess. Any, anytime someone does uh, it, would, it would be plenty enough to know that um, there's, no, there's no seeming trigger around this particular teleportation circle. It seems like, yes, it's probably used by the Selwyns or uh, the Trinton or whatever to okay. get either onwards from here or back up to the club. Okay, okay, sweet. All right. I feel like Cause yeah, I was just worried that we we're going to step on it and then go yeah, yeah, yeah. to a jail cell. It doesn't seem something. like anything around here. The stonework of the circle itself is all one piece. It doesn't seem like it's a pressure plate or okay, has any okay. plates. So there's definitely nothing press an arm. around. So you step onto it. I need a dexterity. No, I'm And roll for initiative. And roll for initiative. You step onto it and you all die end of campaign. <laughs> Why didn't you check for... <laughs> <laughs> you continue around the corner and you see a closed wooden door. Um, um, maybe the way your, past the door. What are your investigation checks? Uh, your investigation modifiers, sorry. Two. Uh, plus I have plus... Oh, my no, mod. Uh, the investigation one. modifier, what would it be? Uh, yeah, plus four. Negative plus one. Four, negative one. Plus one. <laughs> uh, so, Budger, you notice <laughs> that the walls are pretty. Um, that's with a, nice a plus four and a two. a two. So, it's just that you notice with your passive investigation as you walk past. Something changes a little bit past the teleportation circle. Like, the, it's not as well maintained around this corner. The, the door is kind of rotting a little bit. and. Um, it's it's clear that like mm. they don't keep this plot as the, the, it doesn't have as frequent traffic and this they don't look the after it as much. The teleportation circle is potentially um... yeah. All right, so there's a door, but do you but want to just go open the door and have a look beyond? The I'm door. like, I'm yeah, like the I'm thing is, if they if they have like a teleportation thing in and out of this place, they're definitely using it for something. This could be some evidence we use against like the. the we we might as well just as have a quick yeah. browse. Yeah, and just I'm going to investigate the door. Make an investigation check. You can check that it's not f***ing trapped or whatever. Three. Three. He's back, baby. Plus four. Yes, four. Plus four. Um, seven. I'm gonna land. I just walk up. Like this is a door. <laughs> That's the um, door. The door. Door. Wooden door. Oh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Let me investigate this. Just find out what's going on. Oh, yep. Just okay, so we don't make up. any rash okay, decisions. Good, good, right? good, 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 good idea. Yep. Okay. All right. So we got. Okay. Yep. That's up there. We got that done there, of course. Ah! ah. What, okay. what, what do you found, Bob? Okay. Bob, what do you found? Ah. All right. It's a door. My okay. Man, so. Okay, what else? What, what have you learned? Yeah, what, what, what else? It's obviously a what door. What more do Bob. you want? I mean, it's a door. door. I want to know if there's traps on it or what? if it's locked at the very most. How am I meant to know that? Sorry, sorry did you just walk up to it and go like, mm. uh, ah, mm. ah. It's a door? You exactly. F***ing idiot. I knew there burned. was a door. Yeah, but you know, maybe, maybe you'd get more information from it if you just whacked your f***ing head against it. He's, okay. He's confirmed. Uh, he doesn't really... Ah, uh, he did it. Ah. That it's a door. 
Yeah, that didn't help me at all, Baradun, you idiot. I'm going back to the portal. I'm going back to the portal. All right. I, I, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome, Thank Dodger. you. Because you didn't know there was a door, oh, well, did you? Couldn't be 100% certain. No, exactly. Now, now you are. I'm 100% certain. Exactly. exactly. Door. Yeah, did you really need... You Confirmed. Need... Thank you. Door. Wow. Yeah. A lantern of revealing. Yeah. Walk up to it. Mm. Uh, looks like this door would be locked, but it would not be an easy. It would, wouldn't not be a hard lock to pick. Like as I say, it hasn't been maintained. They wouldn't put a lot of effort into this kind of a thing. You'd, you'd imagine you have a little look through it, and you're like, yeah, this is an easy tumbler to, to unlock pick. it, Bob. Um, you don't see any obvious signs of traps on it or around it. Oh, wait, I'm standing right next to it. Unlock it, Bob. Right here. Um, Echoes through the stone yeah, pine right, I try and unlock. It. I've got that key that I can try. Yeah. You have. Oh, you've got thieves' tools, and I've just yeah. told you it's a very easy thing, and you've got like yeah. a plus twelve. But to I've thieves got a tools. new key. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt that the random person and you got a key succeeds, from. And if it succeeds, that key that's amazing oh, disappears that, yeah. forever. Does Bob? it? Yeah, I think it does. So oh. one, it's a it's yeah. a one successful oh, use oh, item. Right, because I can thought use I it multiple remembered. times, yeah, but only it, if it's right. failing. Does the chance first time it actually worked, it crumbles. Does the chance of success increase every time? Okay. Right, I thought it was just a use. It has a five percent chance. Okay, sweet. Well, I try and pick it with my thieves' tools. All right. Five plus twelve. <laughs> it Seventeen. Is it is enough. Um, you, oh yeah, an advantage. You whatever. easily get in within within. It's Easy, like, mate. It's like the locksmith lawyer of Zinaka, where he yeah. takes oh, yeah. the piss out every, of various every, locks. Like, and every lock in the every world. Every single sucks. lock. Yeah, basically. Yeah, pretty much. He gets in this amazing lock. He's like, yeah, amazing stuff. <laughs> and he, <laughs> <laughs> the, my, my favorite ones are when he goes, "This is a so and so lock. It can be opened with a so and so lock," and he just smashes them two, two <laughs> smashes the two of them together, and it just opens. It's kind of like that situation. You yeah. go in and you're like. Oh, this is just, you just put one okay. one thing in and just kind of move oh. it about and just wiggle it and it goes click. I just get a The rust over. kind of disintegrates. You, uh, you, you have unlocked the door, it seems, yes. I guess we just look through I guess down we the just, hallway. Yeah, have yeah. A what, are we saying? what do we see down there? All right. Hey, hey, stop moving me. Hey, hey, oh, hey. You, know know. Then? You, <laughs> just, you just said you were next I, to him. I'll be next to him with my lantern of revealing All right, appearing next down. next to him with the lantern of revealing. And Bodger, what are you doing? You're, I'm just, uh, one, I'll one. follow. I'm just, I'm just having this. I've just I've got this little fantasy in my mind where a world where you, you go through the door and then we and Rob's organised this whole path and we go down and we go for like half an hour and there's just nothing. I just keep improvising. It, we, more. we just keep improvising just, and eventually Rob's like, I start describing nothing. like no a mine shaft. And you keep going and, yeah, and then you look at the wall and there's like a little marking but it's nothing. And then, <laughs> and then, and then, and then like a, a whole campaign later, you go, yeah, there's nothing down there. <laughs> sure. You're like, we really should have taken yeah, that shot. Sure. <laughs> I keep the whole time I'm like indicating, yeah. like, yeah, you get the impression nothing... nobody has been. In terms of years. just storytelling and stuff, they wouldn't, they, they wouldn't be. I know. Was... I, just, I just love the idea. I've come much, just like... I just, uh, I'm like, I'm super committed to like yeah. Yeah. very, sim very similar to you. I'm like, no, the world would have to continue because yeah. it's a mind shaft. It wouldn't end yeah. here, so I have to continue. I mean, you could, yeah, yeah, an actually. hour into the game, it's like you reach a dead end. Yeah. Yeah. You, uh, you. you Open the door and immediately regret your decision as oh, a fireball is triggered behind off. the door. I checked. You did. Unfortunately, the trigger was on the other side of the door, which means oh. it was a DC 20 something to actually see. I'm so, not a, not I'm a so, seven. <laughs> I'm so glad I said I don't walk forward with you. <laughs> so you walked forward and said, hey, unlock the door, and then stepped all the way back, <laughs> which is very bad. <laughs> which is very bad to do. <laughs> so so that is the three of you. The three of you need to make dexterity saving throws. <laughs> Danger sense applies. Mm -hmm. 19. Uh, nice. Five. Plus one. Uh, ah, damn it. Uh, right. Seven plus one. Eight. Five plus eight. Thirteen. Even with advantage. Oh, do I? Yeah. Uh, do I get advantage as well? Uh, no, but you have the evasion thing of if you make it, you right. take no okay. damage, and if you fail, you only take half. Okay. Well, uh, I got a, a thirteen. Thirteen is. Let me check. The da -da 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 -da, flame trap is a fourteen saving throw. So you just miss. Uh, you succeed, you miss. So the two of you, uh, you take full damage, you take half because of evasion, you take half because you made the save. Okay. Um, so as you as you click it, you're like, that was easy. And you <laughs> you open the door and then something tells you, it's, you just kind of feel a little bit of tension on it. Like there's yeah. like a wire attached to the other side of the door that is pulling out of a, like a pin out of yeah. something. And you're like, oh no. <laughs> and as you're like, like, easy, away, mate. Like, you're like oh god, alone. and you just kind of yeah. like naturally with your evasion, just kind of like you you let your knees, knees just buckle so that you go down to <laughs> the ground. <laughs> you just fall to the ground and whoosh. and Bodger standing behind you gets the full. Ah! Bod Bodger's like <laughs> danger sense. Just <laughs> yeah, danger sense to no effect. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like that end shot of like the end of Snatch, where you just go, danger! Uh. <laughs> uh, that is 17 points of fire damage to you, halved and rounded up to Three. nine to you, <laughs> and nine to you. Nine. And because I'm not raging, I can't. You can't. It uh, wouldn't matter, uh, wouldn't matter anyway. Fire damage. It's fire damage. All right, I'm gonna pick the lock. Nice. All right. Aha! Success! Here we go! That was a bit of a lucky slip. Oh, you... Yeah. You copped the brunt of that, didn't you? Yeah. You all right? Yeah, all right. A little bit charred? A little bit charred. Yeah, a little bit. Sorry. Yep. Press on. And I um, lean forward with a cigarette, just ever so slightly <laughs> lean forward. Just, just on the... <laughs> like oh, guys, what happened? <laughs> uh, you all walked forward, did I'll you, to the what, door? I'll tell you what happened, we disarmed a trap. You, oh, good. <laughs> so now, now, oh, you yeah. disarmed it's Are you disarmed sure it's now? disarmed? Yeah, sure it's disarmed. Well, 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 are we sure about that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so it's disarmed, is it, Bodger? Maybe. That use of it was. <laughs> With his arm, <laughs> eyebrows. You know, smoking. yeah. You, you get to your feet again, um, and you can see that there is essentially like a um, an artificer's flame uh, flamethrower kind of a, a looking thing. You've seen a similar thing attached to Poppy. Yeah. Um, it's a flamethrower that's just kind of like jerry rigged to the ceiling right behind the door. Easy enough to avoid around, but you do see some runes on the side that are starting to charge, charge up again. Up like again. it'll so take time, but it I will feel like this is a moment right now where it could like we could just be going down a corridor of endless traps. Maybe, we just but why would they? Why would they trap it if they don't like? Yeah. Okay. If they if it like if this if there's still traps, it feels like we're going the right way. <laughs> as long as we're getting damaged. <laughs> well, they're trying the right to protect way. it. You know, like it's it's a sign that someone's saying. No, you're right. You're right. It's like they're protecting something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm like, hey, those runes are charging up. Maybe we <laughs> skedaddle. Yeah. Carefully. Do you wanna, like, <laughs> skedaddle carefully. <laughs> is, is this the time to just bat bob it? Scout, like fly down and see what's at the end of this thing rather than us he just could slowly maybe, going through. But I can still set off traps as a bad I'll say he could, yes. Yeah. And I'll say that with your passive perception, now that you're like properly wired for like looking for traps, with your passive perception, it's enough to see that there is a, a horizontal slit in this wall here. Okay. But the, that's fine. It indicates to you that there's probably something going to come out of that. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel, I feel yeah, okay. Um, disarm it. <laughs> <laughs> we are okay. in this now. I want to see where this goes. <laughs> Alright, so I push past the runes. Oh, no, we'll fucking watch out for that. You go past the, and the then I'm like, there's a horizontal it. slit and I investigate that. Yeah, looking into the, the, the slit. Uh, Amazing plus investigation. 15 plus 4, 19. And now you disarm you see it. That, uh, you see that there would be a blade that comes out and swings past you <laughs> from the yeah. wall. Um, if you stand on a pressure plate that is pretty much taking the entirety of the the region in front of it. Okay, sweet. And now I'm fucking do yeah, it. I try and undo the pressure plate. All right. Out of curiosity, oh, the pe the people who yeah. actually use this path, yep, who n apparently know a way past things, mm. yeah. how do they get past it? Well, do, do we just do we good, just crawl? Very good question. Too. How do they get <laughs> past it? <laughs> Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. It's a good, well, it is a good they, question. Though, to go like through they, this to, this is more I did actually write in. You didn't see it because you, none of your passive perceptions enough. But there is a disarming uh, trigger for ah. this one, and then they just avoid that one. They just jump over it. Oh, okay. um, but then these ones they avoid by taking that to wherever they're going. Right. That's the clue right there. Of they avoid there's that whole yeah. way completely. Not so much a clue. They, they just toss. avoid those by <laughs> that. Not necessarily. Yeah, I, I, I do wander back and just. What was your disarm? Uh, it was 8 plus 12, so 20. Oh, yeah. You easily managed to disarm it, not the pressure plate, but you Easy, managed to find mate. a... Uh, you managed <laughs> to realise that there's a... Yeah, there's like a... This thing's triggering on like a hinged, um, uh, an axle situation. And if you just stuff something into that, that the, the, um, the slit operate. in the wall, it'll, it'll stop the thing um, with enough force. I, uh, so you pick up some stones and you jam them in and make sure that they're properly jammed uh, in. Uh, take uh, the butt, uh, of, uh, butt of your blade and just kind of whack it into... Slightly metagamed here, but... I got a clue that that and this lead to the same place. Yeah, yeah. And so this I'm, is an I'm easy going way to back, literally just seeing if I can if I can get the teleportation circle going. Do you know the spell teleportation? I do not. Then you cannot. Damn it. I know, um, the, I know the spell dimension door. Job. You know the spell dimension door, which is a type of teleportation. teleportation. So um, and with that, I used to know the spell like you, teleport. Yeah, like this, if you knew how to, this could. Um, heighten your dimension door. 
So we don't um, have I, I think really, really fucking hard <laughs> about uh, when I used to know the spell teleportation. <laughs> Um, I, I will say, that. what are you, so, so tell me what I'm going to try and hope. use that to fly at one point. Tell me, I just want to fly. You, you can, can fly. fly. <laughs> yeah, great example. As, I was like, think of something impossible, fly. But you know, I, I will you use tell it me to what teleport you, or you something. You tell me what you intended <laughs> okay, to have so gone. What I'm intending to do is I'm going, I know Dimension Door. It's, it's a type of freaking conjuration as well. I, I must be able to recall how I used to fucking teleport. And so I look at the runes and... <laughs> and you, what, do you, what are you hoping? You're hoping to achieve I'm the spell teleport? <laughs> I'm a, either hope... S like six, seven levels before you're able to get it? Or what, what, is, what are you hoping to get out? I, I'm hoping to activate the... Okay. The, the... I will say that uh, you, can, you can retract this if you want, but with your hero to token, I will allow you to be able to use this teleportation circle with Dimension Door to heighten it as an escape route. Like you, you now, you, you study it and you work on it yes. and you go, okay, if I cast Dimension Door in this circle, I can, I can get it's us out anywhere within a mile, let's say, instead of 500 feet. But you won't just be able to activate it to go where the last guy the, used it to go, because you don't the, know the, where the last the guy used it that, to go. The fact is that that's a mechanism and Dimension Door is just, regardless of it's that... A, yeah, the teleportation totally circle on the, on the floor is just a tool that they use yeah, to yeah. teleport uh, themselves to I'm, where they want I'm, to go. I'm, I will retract it then, thank you. Because but, what, what I'm getting is that's a... That's a... What would you call it? Like a one... It's not a it's, it's, it's not it's not it's, it's, not, it's not a doorway a to a single yeah, yeah, yeah. single place. Sorry. They can it's a tool that they can use to teleport themselves where Anywhere they want to go. They and yeah, they yeah, want yeah, 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 and yeah, if yeah. they want to go to the end of this yeah, corridor. Sorry. I, I, I was I was do. I was thinking there's a door like a over here. Right. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Okay guys, I, I'm pretty sure that I can get this portal working, okay? Right. Figure out where it goes, Do where it comes from. I mean I am magic, so I can figure out I can I can figure out magic. Okay, here we go. Alright, go. What's happening to your face right? I can't see it. What's happening to you? Ah! Oh. Ah! Are you speaking in tongues? Is that a different kind of magic? Ah! Oh, he doesn't look good. He doesn't look good. Ah! It works. Did you, did you get what you needed? Portal doesn't work. It doesn't work. It doesn't work? No. Let's walk down. Let's go, Paul. Let's go this way. Then this way. Then this way. All right. I think he shit himself. It is Check not for a ledger. Is there a ledger where they like they, they record like <laughs> oh, this right is where I'm going? Library card. Library card. These are the coordinates. These are the yeah, coordinates. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, here's, I was, here's a, here's a, here's a, here's a handy shit? compass, and it is in the exact <laughs> north by northwest direction by 502 feet. Yeah, yeah I, I, I didn't realize there was a difference between a teleport, the spell teleport, right, and gotcha, a tele yeah, I thought yeah. a teleportation circle went Just to a cast. particular place. Uh, it it does when you cast the spell teleportation circle. Okay. Um, right. But there's, yeah, the actual object or inscription, a circle that is a teleportation circle, is different. To okay. The if we need to, I, I might, I might take you back up on that if we need a yes, quick escape. But out. for now, you can let's hear a point to get out of here. Right. Um, so you've disabled the blade trap, and yeah. now that you've gone through them, I will point out something that I'm sure a lot of people in the comments have been screaming at you: spike, snake, flame, and blade. With the name of the four bouncers in order of the uh, club that you've been that you've gone through. Classic. Made a point of telling you their names every time, and you I was did. like, "This is weird that I'm telling you their names. I'm sure. I, I wonder if any of them will pick up on the fact that I'm making a point." <laughs> Absolutely of not. Their names. Right. I, I, I did. I, I, did pick up on, I did pick up on the fact you're telling us, and they're all very specific yeah. one-word <laughs> names. Same. I had that moment where I was like, "Oh, he's doing a thing." <laughs> <laughs> but I just thought it was just like they've all got. And well, pretty kept, cool names. And then, and then you kept like triggering them, and I was like, right, the spike trap has triggered, the the, the snake trap has dealt remember, with. I don't remember. Now I remember snake. I don't remember. Spike was the first bouncer. Spike was the right? first yeah, guy yeah. you gave the name to to get into the casino. Who snake. was Flame? It was the one who who uh, sent you down the tube into um, the mm. subterrain. Oh, right. Oh, right. After the dance party. There it is. Well, uh, so, so there's only four of them. And no <laughs> more traps. No, no more ahead. traps. Go. <laughs> <laughs> that was the only four bouncers. <laughs> Uh, let's there are only four bouncers we saw. <laughs> and then there was a fifth bouncer, Boulder. <laughs> <laughs> and the sixth bouncer, Nuke. This is a, this is a, you meet a new bouncer, he's called Acid, Acid Pit. <laughs> that's um, that's all a right. weird name, but carry on. <laughs> press right. on carefully. I press on carefully. Pressing on carefully, it's, it's not too much longer. It's like another five minutes of walking. 
before you guys realize that uh, the mine shaft has kind of come to an end. The abandoned um, nature, in. the ab abandoned nature of uh, the mine shaft has gotten to such a, a level of deterioration that it ends in just a single mine shaft, like an actual shaft, a vertical shaft downwards right. into darkness. Um, and that seems to lead deeper into the ground. Badger, just jump it. <laughs> <laughs> just jump. They <laughs> 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 going down <laughs> to jump. <laughs> you'll, you'll be it's saved. You'll, you'll be right, saved right, by a bird. Yeah. A bird man. <laughs> oh, I have to fight that. So. <laughs> 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 That was, that was so confused. That was the down. I literally up. went. <laughs> all these memories came flooding back to me. I was like, oh, he's learning. That was so. That was such a strange oh, thing. You I, just went, I oh. pick up a. I pick up a stone and let it go all over right. the shaft and listen. I was going to say I can see in um, what's down, down there. there I have. I have previously. It will surprise no one uh, to learn, as a nerd that I am. I have previously made a table called. Distance by falling. <laughs> um, it's for exactly this circumstance, which doesn't come up all that often. <laughs> it, it falls, <laughs> fall, <gasps> you time it, and it falls until you hear it t uh, tap on the ground about three, three and a half seconds later. That's, weird. That's only three seconds of falling. Yeah. Okay, so I made it. I made it. There's a really strong, a really yeah. strong yeah. You, know what, you, know what the, you know what the speed of gravity is, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, but, me, so yeah. do the math do the math really quickly for me. No, it's about three seconds. About, 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 about a minute. Seven sounds, meters. I, I, yeah, sounds good. Yeah, because it's nine point something. Nine point something, right? Yeah. Yeah. Nine point eight meters. Yeah. Nine point eight meters. So it's per about twenty seven meters. That's that easy, mate. Well, somebody's yeah. gonna work it out in the comments and we're, we're all gonna be way acceleration? off. Acceleration? I'm gonna yeah, be faster. Probably with the speed. acceleration, it's probably about twenty five or something. <laughs> twenty four. How close are we getting, Rob? Mind you, this is his homebrew rules, not no, real no, life. This is this is using oh, this is using real, real world gravity of okay. nine point eight meters per second per second. All right. So yeah, send what's it down. It's too far to jump. Yeah, I can. I mean, I can also fly down. You can fly. You do the fly thing. We've been, we've been talking about it. <laughs> you've been edging you about flying for a long actually, time. Actually, really quickly, I shoot a firebolt down. Firebolt. Bolt. Are you sure? What's the range of firebolt? Bolt. Ah. Oh. What's the uh, range of firebolt? Uh, 120, Even but so. because Even I'm so. because <laughs> I'm <laughs> smell sniper, sniper at yeah. 240. Um, it does hit the ground. Then you lean over and <laughs> fire off this this firebolt, and it goes down deep into the shaft. And as it illuminates the shaft, I'm looking for like traps. What, um, what do we see down there? It seems like it's a relatively smooth stone shaft all the way down. There's a couple of a uh, couple of alcoves that come off of like maybe different oh, levels course. to the. Um, uh, the mine shaft at, at, uh, earlier, when it was still in use as a mine shaft, um, but eventually it hits the ground. Uh, you'd gather that it. Mm, make an intelligence check. See if you can kind of judge that distance. Uh, nine and three, uh, twelve. Um, over a hundred feet, I'll say. With a twelve, you can tell right. it's over a hundred feet, less than two hundred. Deep. Feet. That like. It's between one hundred and two hundred okay. feet deep. deep. Okay, I've got fifty feet of rope. It's, yeah, I think it's, we all um, do. It's uh, the the. I would say I think I described it as smooth. I didn't mean smooth. It's like a a rough hewn. Stone brick. It's it's yeah. It's 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 stonework down um, mm -hmm. down from here. So you would be able to climb it. It's like climbable with handholds and stuff. But think like, what is it? Dark Knight Rises or something? Where he's, there's that thing that they yeah. can, right. can technically get out of, but it's when he pretty hard. His back it's just by working out. <laughs> That's how it works, right? Yeah. As somebody who's constantly f***ing yourself yeah, up. Yeah, bro. So broken back's easy. Just f sit ups and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just flex. <laughs> Someone got something that allowed them to fly yesterday. <clears throat> what was it? Nope, he got a jump spell. Oh, jump, sorry, jump. He got That's a jump it. spell that can triple his jump distance. He can right. fly. Yeah, I can fly. Well, head on down, baby. <laughs> do it, do it. Stop talking about it. <laughs> head, head, on, up. head on down and tell us where uh, we should could, go to. So your dimension door that you've got. I could dimension door two of us down. Uh, and then again, uh, uh, like, oh, uh, can, can you go, hold up, hold up, blah, 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 Multiple castings, yeah. And get us down there? And then we'll have a long rest down there. Okay, so that's he can, that, he can that. cast a mention door, uh, and it's a one-way thing, so, so he can go down. I reckon one splitting up's the smartest thing to do at this point. <clears throat> so he could go down with one person. Ben could fly down. Up, and he could go down with another casting of it, and then come down a third. So well, he has three he castings of dimension door. He can get all of you down. Does he have to go down and then another casting? Another casting to get back up. And, and then, then another, another cast three. I can only cast it three times. So, so he could cast it three times. And then with three, with three no. wild surges, he could fly down. And then my, he's out of my those, feeling that is spell slot. You've got the best athletics. You climb down. I'll teleport the two of us down. And you fly down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, let's do I'm that. down for that. Let's do it. All right. 
Well, let's go down there first. Is a, another <laughs> option is we could like just make a rope, like like combine all our ropes and that and tie it up, and then one big rope down. We'd still down. we'd still need to make, I would imagine, an athletics check of some description. Oh, you're not. Uh, if it's yeah, okay. so if you <laughs> minus if you, cl- <laughs> if you tie if you tie together three ropes, you'd imagine yeah, that I'm would probably normal. be enough. Uh, but if you uh, you'd have an athletics check to climb down the rope, it would just be a lower DC than climbing down the side of the rock yeah. face. <laughs> if you uh, if you knot the ropes like every 10 feet or whatever, oh, then you have advantage on the athletics check. Right, I'm going to send um, What's It down just on a yeah. scouting mission first. Yeah, all right, all right. Um, so I send What's It down. Yeah, what's it. Yeah, what right. killing? G'day, mate. G'day, Hello? sunshine. Well, um, can I get you to go and have a wee scout around down this deep, dark hole? Please. Just takes off. <laughs> Drops yeah, and as, I he, walk and as, he, as he drops out of uh, just out of sight, you kind of see that his body shifts and these wings just like <laughs> burst out of his back. This one of them looks a bit like leathery, kind of a bat wing, and the other one looks like a dragonfly wing. <laughs> yeah. Sets off down the. Wait, um, he, oh wow! I don't know you can do that. Yep. Cool. He can do anything. He can transform into a lot of things. Awesome! What is it? Anything at all except attack. Yeah. <laughs> well, he can attack. He just doesn't. <laughs> Uh, he flies down, you walk into his, his head, you can see as it goes down, sure enough, there are like a couple of other mine shafts that, are, that were once in use and have been blocked off, like ca- either caved in seemingly yeah. naturally or blocked off with like stonework and stuff. Um, he gets down to the bottom and it's like wet and damp down here. There's a bit of um, the beginnings of something that was a, a, probably the last mine shaft that they were actually working on before they realized that this mine's kind of tapped. Um, and it just continues on into this dark, damp cavern um, with like mushrooms wa- on the walls and kind of glowing fungi. Um, yeah. it, there's sounds ahead of um, make a perception check through what's its perceptions. Oh, 18. Not sure. bad, not bad. What's um, it? What is what's its perception? It did well last You wait till we get into combat. It did well. Yeah, no <laughs> way. It did well yeah, in yeah, the last session as well with the. Oh, he's got a passive perception of 10, so 28. Nice. 20. He's got a passive perception of 10. He hears exactly yeah. every yeah. single word that happens <laughs> down the mine shaft. Um, ba, 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 ba. Yeah, which means his perception is. Okay. Um, so, yeah, still pretty good. He. So, yeah, I got an 18 on. Can, yeah, 18 plus his perception, because that's his passive, not his um, active. He right. can hear. Um, he can hear that there's like gurgling sounds and water rushing sounds down there. Um, and. That'd be pretty hard. Uh, going to the your what's it stats? That's, that is, that oh, that's, it. Yep. is this what's it? Yeah. What's his um, what's his wisdom there? Well, it's a ten, so plus zero. Okay. Yeah. Unfortunately, even with that higher roll, he can't hear any further than like the next chamber or so, the next like natural cavern. I mean, he could go further, but then I'm running. I'm running out of warg, aren't I? Mm-hmm. I'm running out of war. Yeah. Well, it's safe at the bottom of that. Yeah. You could fly is, down it and is safe send down the him further. Damp and wet and. All right. I, if if you fly down, send him <laughs> further. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like yeah. I, I, float, I float down. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite but as gracefully as that. Dark night. Just yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, that, yeah. Oh, yeah awesome. Yeah, like yeah. the silent superhero landing. And I think it's more like Batman landing on that car roof. <laughs> oh, <Yeah. boat. laughs> on top of what's it? What's on top it? Of what's <laughs> yeah, and then what's it? And then he's going to Oh yeah, I'm going down, I get halfway down, my wing catches I'm like, oh boom, Come into retract, come into retract, come into retract, come into retract. Look at me fly, guys! I'm so nimble! <laughs> oh, I love flying, it's so much fun! <laughs> it's going so well! <laughs> oh no, oh shit! Oh no, no, no! Ah! You, uh, okay. you land, I land sound, quietly and I give Watson a quick pat and I go, well done. Well done. Send him off ahead. Uh, he heads down into the next uh, cavern and, and it sees that it opens up into this like... Um, I'm, I send him specific instructions to be stealthy as yeah. well. It opens up into this, this um, go cavern Go invisible of, then. This, this cavern yeah, he goes of, invisible. Uh, <laughs> My man. There we go. I'll give me this one then. This is what he's going to see. Oh, the perfect arena for a fight, it would appear. <laughs> so, um, which way do you want that, <laughs> John? Like there? Where's my what's it? I forgot about that. Where's my where, what's where, it? Where, is the, yeah. uh, where are we landing? Where is the there, yeah, yeah, probably, but probably. maybe not. I think it's at your mum's house. Uh, that's highly Up offensive. Top. Got him. Got him. Just a, got him, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't believe you would have said that. Probably have him in here somewhere. We'll just use this little, little orb. What the f***? 
This is a little odd for now because uh, I don't remember where Or we could get the What's It puppet. Who knows where <laughs> it is? <laughs> Boof! If only we could find it! If only, Can if only you? We knew, if only we knew where the What's It puppet was. Uh, he One e idiot? Enters, uh, enters along Sorry. this little corridor. I can move the chair. Which it probably is better yep. to keep it like that. <laughs> That's why I was moving him. I like this. He's Oh, he has moved. Enters into this little corridor he uh, and he sees this um, sort of. Uh, underground aquifer, kind of a, a natural stag stagnant-ish water lake uh, down here. Um, some of more of the glowing fungus and stuff. Uh, and there's a frog, a uh, frogman, a bullywug, um, sitting on on the rock, uh, on the rock, eating something like a, a fish of some kind. Got one. Bullywugs are the ones that you fought back in episode uh, one. Level one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. Um, <coughs> yeah, you see the, episode two, I think it was. Uh, yeah, you, um, you, you. He sees just a single one, just alone. Doesn't seem to have uh, weapons on him other than like a small dagger for killing fish. Okay. Talk all right, all right. Well, it seems relatively safe. There's definitely you don't see any worked uh, signs of like worked stone, and they wouldn't have trapped anything down here. It seems. Okay. <coughs> all right. Well. It seems relatively safe, so I... <coughs> is it, am I too far away to message into his head? Um, what's the range of message? 100 to 150, I think it is, something like that, right? No? Oh, message. Message, message. Yeah. I mean, I need to message to oh, him. Oh, for your, 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 you don't cast message, you, uh, yours is the um, oh, great old one ability. Yeah. I well, I, it has to be within like 30 I mean, we've been up here for a wee while now, I messaged out to him. Well, I've got 120 yeah. feet double. Yeah, Bob, right, so. you kind of point down the hall. Bob! Bob, what the, what the, what's going on? <laughs> It looks, it looks alright, there's a bollywog down here, but that's all I can see for now. No guarantees, but it looks fine. That sounds incredibly suspicious, but uh, <laughs> I suspicious. guess we'll come down because we don't have many other options, yeah, to be honest. Yeah, exactly. I like, I, it's not Rob's, instant Rob's death made a map for it, so you must expect yeah. us to come down here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, it's just a bollywog, forget it. Back, <laughs> let's go back up. Um, okay, uh, I dimension door Greg and I down. Uh, thank you, let's go. Grabs you, portal away. You head through this. Sorry, sorry, Bodger, you're gonna have to find right time. Right Bye. Next Bye. Time. Oh, that is deep. That's a that's a long drop. Oh my god, Bob just flew down there. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Luckily, you can fly it, eh? Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Okay, don't worry. I've got a plan. Great. Radio, here we go. So I I have a plan. Okay. Portal away. Come on, great, brilliant. Let's go. What? What about me? Hello? Hello? What about me? Baradun, what about me? Oh, fuck you, Baradun. <laughs> uh, I guess I'm climbing then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna, can I say, follow? Well, uh, bef Stop before I, before I dimension door out, I assume I have a rope as well. I give it to Bodger. Well, no, I just I, had I, to bring that up. I, I think, was like, I, they I, just I leave think for, for Bodger being, I've got good athletics you and do. I'm tough. If, like you, literally if, you going, just climbed if you go into a rage, you get advantage on athletics as well. Oh. But it does drop after six seconds if you haven't attacked or taken damage. So you need to get down in six seconds. Get halfway I, down we just and give jump off. our ropes to you before we go. Okay, I just thought we'd I'm assuming those ropes are then gone. T tied up there for, for when you come well, back, maybe, and then you maybe, can. Uh, it may, may be helpful, maybe. actually. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Get out. Rope, 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 rope. Oh, oh, the oh, 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 wait, oh shit, yeah, yeah no, probably, it's probably as good. Yeah. Great. Yeah, 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 wait a moment. And I go, not, 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 all the way down. Not. All right, uh, that's going to take some time, which oh. I'm accounting for, but it's fine. We can yeah. skip over that time that it takes. <laughs> it just tells me how Gre much time is passing for... Gre Greg Portal. and I sit at the bottom of the... <laughs> yeah, you pull down there. Yeah, yeah, get up there! Bodger is taking a wee while. God. Done. Yeah, all right. Make, <laughs> me, <laughs> make, me, make me a make me an intelligence-based sleight of hand check, which is usually my call for knots and things. So you uh, are not proficient in sleight of hand. Uh, sleight of hand, no. So it's just no, straight plus intelligence. One. Plus one. Be not proficient. In uh, not oh, proficient. Okay. Not yeah, got a dot here. I'll make it survive. You're, you're proficient in survival, so I'll still okay. give you a proficiency bonus. Intelligence plus proficiency. Your intelligence is negative one. So this and this and add two. Add two. Yeah. Uh, one. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> That's not his athletics check, that's his ability to tie knots. Okay, so, that's still pretty bad. So <laughs> I will have you make a... <laughs> so I guess he's, he's make an, himself make now. It, make an intelligence saving throw now. Which is uh, one negative one, I think it'll be. Yeah, uh, 
Saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so wait till we get to combat. You, <laughs> you knot these things together. You knot three ropes together. <laughs> you guys are waiting down the bottom. You just like just wrap them around you're not, each other. You're enough. not the, you're not the the rope to yeah. something strong up here. Yeah. <laughs> and then you and then you toss the coil of ropes down there. <laughs> Uh, the people down the bottom. He just, he just gets the three ropes yeah. and just chucks them into the hole. <laughs> Don't them down there. Go. <laughs> oh, and, <laughs> oh, he just he sees a rock to tie it around. And just like loosely like tie like just place, just lays place it on the ground. ground. Lays it around the rock. Like, no, no, that's what Chad did. This is this is when you were trying to cross the chasm and you did the same. Yeah. You were just like just Done. and tuck that through there, and, that's it. and then a strong wind came through and took it off you, and you were like, oh god. <laughs> I hope I don't need that. Well, hopefully no strong wind down here. You should be, you should be good. All right, so you uh, you tie the three knots together. You spend a good half an hour like knotting every ten oh feet. Oh my god! On wow! Wow! Oh man, I wish it was close. You you tied it around a rock and then you threw the rest of the ropes down. Uh, the people down the bottom see two of the ropes just go. Down to the <laughs> <laughs> so you've so got we just, like, we just look at each other. Like, rock. Oh, oh no! Um, and you think it's pretty secure. <laughs> okay. I, 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 at this, at this point, we, we see the there. we see the ropes hit the ground and you I message do. into his head and go. Oh, uh, Bodger, I don't think you did a very good job. Hi, how you doing, Bodger? Oh, oh that's oh, not good. Oh, no, that's not good. That's not good. He's gonna kill himself. Yeah, this is... Uh-oh. Bodger, you know you dropped the rope? He must know. You know, he actually, he, he might, he might oh, not God, know. Oh, God, he's an idiot. Um, I'm gonna message into his head. Yeah, that's a good idea. Bodger. Bodger, you dropped the rope. You're a f***ing idiot, you dropped the rope! As you're, climb, as you're sort of lowering yourself over the edge to grab your rope, you get the message from him saying, I don't think you did a good job. We we just saw the other two ropes hit the ground, so you've not done a good job. You've got 50 <laughs> feet of rope, and then you're climbing. I love the idea that you've, you tied, you've tied the rope your, around yourself your, and you've thrown the other end down in the hole. With your dick. Yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah. What's good that? safety ropes What's attached? That? <laughs> safety ropes attached. What's that Indonesian, <laughs> that Indonesian <laughs> style of bungee jumping? Oh, yeah. You know, the Indonesian style of bungee jumping? Where they jumping? jump 100 feet with a 100 foot rope? Yeah, and they go. <laughs> okay, uh, come to, uh, get down your, get down your hole, dude. Right, so put the, around you, like that, very good. Here we are. Good. And, uh, um, yeah. Oh. What now? Have you ever yeah. seen, there's, in, like, I think it's Indonesia, um, where they literally, yeah, or Fiji, maybe what he said is they tie a hundred feet of rope and they do a hundred and two feet jump. And like, for all intents and purposes- Is of suicide? <laughs> for all intents and purposes, it looks like they slam into it's the ground. It's just what happens when I think you it's live a, in a jungle yeah, and yeah. you need f***ing something right. to entertain you. Like, f***ing chuck ourselves off a massive thing. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's not what Budger does. Comedy <clears throat> retract. It might as well be though, because you get you get the message in your head just as you're like grabbing the rope to lower yourself down, and you, I'm gonna say with a nut, uh, with a, a dirty one on your in intelligence yeah. save, you yeah. you convinced yourself that these are strong knots. Oh yeah, good so knots. For him to be like, <laughs> no, good knots. I don't think that's that sways you in this moment. Oh, yeah, um, why? I don't think. I love that you're standing at the edge and you're like, test how tight it is. Uh, like, yeah, that's tight. All, all of my persuasion check is 19 yeah, with, yeah, with uh, plus nine. <laughs> He's got a 28. He's he's pretty pers he's, he's enough to make you take a pause. Oh, what? As okay, you're what, hanging what, off what, the edge. Bodger, Bodger. Literally, what? the two ropes. I'm putting it back into my bag. The two ropes that we I'll gave mine you. Well. Literally, just hit the. Pull your rope up right uh, now. <sighs> you see, it's only one rope. As you're pulling yeah. it up, all of the knots uh, that you put into it as well are just like <laughs> coming loose. Uh, yeah. Just, uh, just uh, idiot, Bodger. Uh, so just climb. Let's climb. Like we're just wasting a lot down. of time. Just, just climb, climb down. down. You know, screw it. I'm I'm getting bored now. And so I'm just, screw the rope, I'm just going to climb yeah. down. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you raging? Yes uh, no? I will rage. But, he, he right. quite yeah. angry. but that means you need to climb down in six seconds. Or he just rages again after he can, he can rage four times in a day. But then super exhaustion? No, that's a... No, no, that's no. If he frenzy uh, rages. Uh, okay, okay. Ah, right, right. Isn't that also... Is rage do you think it's raging in the last six seconds? So even if he recasts it four times, it's just If like he doesn't get seconds. hurt. So oh. he could grab a rock and go... Oh. That's a weird thing. That's just like, I'm not feeling very very angry anymore. Just gets to the bottom, just like I'm angry again. I feel like six seconds in D and D time is probably enough. You can do quite a lot in that time. All right, make me an athletics check because you're raging at its advantage. Actually, I guess yeah, six seconds. You could go six times three. 
180 feet. Oh, god damn, my rolls. Uh, that's a seven plus uh, athletics. Uh, oh, eight. No, no, no. Oh, right, plus eight. Yeah, 15. Yeah. Uh, uh, please, yeah. I thought you meant oh. Oh, plus athletics, it's an eight. And I yeah. was like, you've got more than a plus one in athletics. Uh, so, 15. 15. 15 is pretty good. Not quite good enough, but it is pretty good. You, uh, you, you start to feel yourself slipping with dexterity, uh, with your danger sense. That's enough to allow yourself to try and <laughs> oh, yeah. grab back on <laughs> as you start to slip. Um, uh, danger sense, advantage, dexterity, saving throw. Them. Like, oh, no. Uh, 13 and 13. So I'll 13, choose 13. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> and your dexterity saving throw. Uh, dex uh, plus one. So plus 14. one. Fourteen. Fourteen is enough that you you slip and you you your fingers like go down. You take. Oh shit! Oh, you take damage. Very good. Huh. Uh, you oh. take. Yep. Yeah, you take five five points. Good. Of, good idea. Good idea. idea. You take good five idea. points of damage yeah. as you slip and slide and bump across Aye. a couple of things before you manage to grab a hold. Nice good work. Um, you were raging, so it's halved, rounded up, three points of damage. Oh, uh, well, Don't worry, you'll take yeah. more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you're, you're, you're maybe halfway down-ish now. Yeah. Uh, you took damage, game. so you yeah. continue raging. Uh, oh. Athletics check. I'm just playing oh, man. Nothing. Eight. Plus. Um, What's happened here? Plus yeah, eight. It's the mixing of it's maybe, yeah. maybe you're going to start rolling really well, and it's actually it's the a, position at the table. Oh, it is athletic. Well. It's athletic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So eight at sixteen. Sixteen. Sixteen is better than fifteen. So still not quite enough for the climbing down this thing. So another dexterity saving throw. I just tested at twenty. Yeah, I think it's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's the position. Yeah. Uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, plus plus one. Sixteen. Plus it's plus enough 15. again to take a little damage as you I'm fall. Doing but I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You take three uh, raging half round up, two points of damage, which is the two that you took from. Yeah, it's actually. It's not that you roll. Good or bad, as you roll what you what need. You need to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you guys yeah. can hear him. <laughs> go, boom! It's making Homer Simpson falling down there. Homer Simpson falling down the cliff. Oh, yeah. There's, like, there's a few <laughs> rocks are hitting the ground beside you as well. Um, uh, nearly there. I've got one more check to get to the. Oh, yeah. Uh, 16 plus, plus 8. Uh, that beats 24. the DC. You've managed to now, with fingers bleeding and a couple of fingers broken from. Jamming them the into things. Fingers, Jesus. You, you get down to the, the bottom and you just kind of. So I, I get just, push, just, push just before we get to the bottom, there's that, you know, in the dark night, there's that big, the big jump. Mm -hmm. okay, mm -hmm. gotta get, it's that big moment where I'm like, ah, 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 da, 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 da. <laughs> Run down the. <laughs> Run down the water side of the wall and jump. But I was only a meter off. He, 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 he <laughs> jumps off the bottom onto the bottom. And, uh, it's oh, that oh, thing nice. when you're in the dark and you think there's an extra yeah, step yeah. and you're like, hey, oh, oh, oh. Ow. Yeah. Yeah. Epic jump on three, two, one. Epic jump! Oh. Hey, Bodger. Oh. Hey. Was I just. You were really close to the ground. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd say something. Well, mm. you seemed like you wanted to jump, so. Didn't want to ruin it for you. Yeah. Honestly, I thought that I was going to be jumping like 20 feet. Yeah, no, 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 no. Just two? Uh, mo one. One, maybe. Yeah. It was kind of cool still. Yeah. Oh, damn it, where's my helmet? Oh, is it up top? Um, you right. have been waiting for him for about 40 minutes now. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. Very good. Me and Watson are just like playing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> but we're just hanging out, I guess, just watching the show of him descend. Like, like we're, we're, playing, we're playing cards with this and just pulling. No, I'm just. <laughs> 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 code. Just the dragon is playing cards with you. Every time you play a card, there's somebody else joins yeah. the table. All right. You're all down here now. You move on around the corner to see what you what the um, see the guys, what we can see. see and now the see. Bollywog is a black dragon. <laughs> yeah. hey, in the in the time that he's been waiting, yeah, he's just kind of sitting there eating his eating his lunch. He's finished up his, his you fish now, he had and no you can weapons, see and he clearly has a sword and shield. Snap that off the mini. Yes, don't, I don't have an unarmed Bullywog mini with a fish in hand. What is the can somebody send me oh, all of the, the minis I need, please? I need I mean, some. What is the point? Right, right, this, is the every, point? I want every possible combination <laughs> that you could oh. ever imagine. Yeah. All right. What order are you in around the corner there? I'm Let's put me in the front. Bodger um, in the front. The me in the middle. Behind what? Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be see. behind Bodger with stealth on my mind. All right. Um, what do you want to do? It seems oh, like I, I, he hasn't well, noticed you. He's organizing the he's organizing the fish scales by size. Oh, so I, I, I said, hey, ask if he knows hey, King Kong. Hey, 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 what's going on? No, no. And he what's retreats into hey, the water uh, a little bit. And I, I, Kira, whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I'm like kind of like oh, virtually. I don't know. Animal handling would work. Yeah, animal handling would work. I'm very really good with animal handling. Very simple minds. They aren't with animal handling. I'm very good with animal handling. I'm plus four. Make an animal handling check for me. Wonderful. Wonderful. Not advantage. 
Uh, Fatou. Man. Whoa, hey, something's Whoa, right. Right. coming around. I need to give you uh, some of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, There's a six total. Uh, six. So, so what does a six look like when uh, you try? Hey! I don't. Don't cut. Yeah, yeah. It's all good. You're good. Calm down. Calm down. I love it. Wanna so, go? Wanna go? Wanna go? Wanna go? We've been so stealthy and careful, and we're like, right, big massive Kevin. I reckon just go for it, Bodger. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, oh! Wanna go? Wanna go? Wanna go? He retreats him right down into the water and across to the other side of the lake. I, pu I push past him and I try and communicate. I push past Bodger. Bodger, shut up! <laughs> And I use animal handling. All right. <laughs> hey, buddy. 16 plus 420. Oh, look at that. Dude, it's, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. You're okay. Hey. Hey, I can't already got this. Hey, no. You, shush. You, st you stand behind me. Yeah. Be calm, calm, calm. Wanna go? Hey, 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 hey. Calm it down, buddy. Trust me. What, go I, on, I, I don't think this is going hey, to... Hey, 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 hey! Don't be frightened, don't be frightened! Don't be frightened! That's enough, that's enough, Dad. I'll, I'll take it from here, okay? Back up! <laughs> All right, calm him down. <clears throat> hey, buddy, hey, how are you? Huh? What are you, what are you doing? Wanna go! No, back off! I'll just kill him, I'll Back off, no! I'll just kill him. Ow. Yeah, that's a sword. Yeah, I ow! I got this. Hey, buddy, hey, what's your name? <laughs> Comes out of the water. Glob glob. Glob glob. Glob hey, glob. Glob glob. Is that. Sorry, your name or is this like just. Is that a racial slur? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm well, pretty I sure see, that's his name. This just hey, really racist. Hey, glob glob. I'm, I'm Greg. Uh, these are my friends. We, we come in peace. Yeah. Why, why are you here? Wow. We're telling him we're looking who we're looking for. He we, might know. He might have seen him. We are looking for. There was a, a, an elf that passed through here recently. With a cow looking a small white dog. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know if that's. Yeah, I guess we're going to make any for that. I, got to, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, got, I got named Trenton, uh, an elf with. And he was. Uh, if he was following a human. And he had a. And he, and he had a black cloak over his head. Quite difficult to see. Have you, have you seen oh, him? Oh, yeah. Uh, Doc Tolfork. Yeah. Mm. Tolfork on um, fur. And he kind of gestures around the corner here. Ah, well, thank you so much. Was, was there a human with him? Was he alone? You see, you see like a thought pass over his eyes, and then he goes, I'll uh, blah tell you more for, for, for toys. But to oh. Ah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, right, right. We got, we got toys. We got, yeah. We got toys? Yeah, yeah we got two toys. toys for you, right? Yeah, no, no, <laughs> put them away. <laughs> put them away. Well, we mean you no harm. <laughs> um, well, what do you like, Glob Glob? The elite. What do you like? Mm -hmm. uh, what magic. Got? Magic. We can show you a trick, a magic trick, maybe. Glub Glub won't take toys for a lot of eyes. Lord of Oh, that is Lord of Lord of what? what? Lord of Eyes. That doesn't sound good. That looks like something that would sound who, like something Who's your Lord of Eyes? Yeah. What's yeah. his name? Yeah. Lord of Eyes. Glub Glub oh. take two Lord of Eyes. Does he have another name? No. Oh, okay. Was the was the the dark man that passed here, was he your lord of eyes Give or is that, that someone mask. else? <laughs> Tall, tall <laughs> folk don't come here. Tall folk don't come here. Tall folk don't come this way. Lord of eyes is somebody else. Well. Wow. Do you know, I have something that's pretty magical. It's the Balin's Route screenplay. <laughs> 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 you do legit have that. You do? <laughs> I forgot It's yeah. very, very magical. You that's a good over? time for the whole family. <laughs> you want to hand Got it half over? an hour to kill? It's not actually magical, so. Yeah, but you, if but you, you want to hand it over, you might give you something for it. Um, okay, so I, I well, not, no comedy retract. I, I wander forward and I go just over to kind of where Greg is. I go, come here, buddy. Um, I have a magical little forward. story about a fisherman. You like yeah. fish, don't you? Yeah. Um, yeah. This is a story about a fisherman who saves the world. Hand over the screenplay. Hand over the screenplay. You might want to laminate this or don't go into the water with it. <laughs> yeah. <It's magical. laughs> and hopefully you can read. Hey, little guy. Hey. Yeah, I've, I've got a present for you. Yeah. It's. The Balin's Route screenplay. Oh, wow. Yeah, do you want it's even signed by the creators? Yeah. Ooh, I've heard that's yeah. real good. It's a real yeah. good read and yeah. a great movie. Great writer. Yeah, yeah. I'll give that awesome to you. Writer. But it's paper, so don't put it in the water. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. there you go. Okay, don't put that in the. In fact, laminate that. Yeah. Laminate. Oh no! Oh oh! oh, 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 oh I put it in the water. Uh, I made it in the water. I mean, what did you expect? Well, I thought he was going to put it in the water because I told him not to. Idiot! E <laughs> lot of eyes like this. Uh, nice. Tall folk, they do glowy ring. 
uh, next door. They do sharp pointy to new person mm. and right. feed, feed red inside water to glory ring. Oh, goodness. Uh, sharp pointy. Sharp pointy, they, they kill, they they kill, kill someone people and a, pull uh, their blood into a glowing ring. Does, does the glowing ring have anything to do with Lord of Eyes? Um, Basically, mechanically speaking, I've got a table here. The rarer the item that you give him, like if you give him magic items, that I, ca I counted that one as a common magic item. So he gave you the common information. Maybe I've, I've got if that. If you give him an uncommon item, he gives you uncommon information. I've and got so that um, cleansing stone. We could give him cleansing that. Cleansing stones are considered common, so two commons. I'll, I'll give you the uncommon thing for it. But if you uh, if you give him, for instance, I don't anticipate you actually would do. But if you gave him a legendary item, he would tell you pretty much everything that's going on next door. <laughs> I mean, what we've we got we a got? small gem from the dragon. To be honest, board? what we've got, the information we've got already oh, is no, that's pretty worth valuable. Five thousand gold pieces. I'm not going to give him that. <laughs> the, what? the what? What is? <laughs> What's worth five thousand gold pieces? <laughs> I have something worth 5,000 as well. Small gem from a dragon horde. I was like reading the in the description of it. I was like, what's this? Transparent blue, white, canary, pink, brown, blue gem. So it could be worth uh, worth 5,000 gold pieces, no? <laughs> no, that one. Emerald. I'm going to sell that at some point. Well, how? Well, what else, what else do you have anything worth? That's one that? of the drawbacks of D&D Beyond. I can't keep those sorts of things as secret as easily. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. Because if I put them in your inventory, then and you Because it was just. Them. Yeah, because before uh, it was just small gems that I was going to have to get appraised like, or whatever. When he gets appraised, he'll be like. I definitely would have given him that gem to him. I don't give a f about a gem. I've already got like 500 gold. <laughs> Well, I would give any other because I've got an emerald, but that's that's worth a thousand. But I'd also have a diamond. Which but that's not necessarily a. Le Where do you see the value? What would you consider that? It's as? just it's just no, in the description. Legendary items. And the, I'm talking magic rarity. Yeah, so yeah, if you yeah, give yeah, them okay. Magic items. Basically, this is an uh, an opportunity for me to try and cipher okay. off any magic okay. items that you guys don't want. Right. Yeah, I don't yeah. have any um, real magic items that I. If you don't have any want. magic items you don't want, you can no, give it to this guy, and no, he gives you more information um, about what's going on. I could give him that mystery key, maybe. Oh, it's a common as well. I've got a I got a chrysoberyl. Which is a transparent yellow green to pale green gemstone a worth a hundred gold. But it's not a magic. Not magic at all. Um, I'm gonna. Uh, he will. So he will take shinies, and that I'll account for that. Like enough. Enough mundane items will account okay. for like. Well, a I, I I am gonna get rid of this because I have never used it, and we also got rid of the prop. Uh, I'm gonna give him the displacer scarf. Okay. No. Right. Thank f I hate, the, I hate that item. I used to love the displacer cloak just in general because it was so because they're like, oh, it's such a cool thing. It gives you disadvantage, but I always forget to use it in the first first I, attack every round. Literally, apart from well, last session, I have always forgotten to use it. <laughs> and now that I've found out, I can only choose three <laughs> items. I'm eventually going to need to get rid yep. of one anyway. All right, so, what rarity uh, is what it? Is, what it's, rarity is it? It says a wondrous item. Uh, yeah, wondrous item is the type of item. Oh. Like, is it, um, is it a weapon? Blue. Is it? Uh, it's what does that blue. Mean? Just click on it. It'll say rarity at some point. Oh, it it doesn't. Doesn't. It'll say common, uncommon, rare, very rare, or legendary. Oh, rare, rare, rare. rare. Excellent. So it'll give you all of the rare information and less. Um, so you take off your displacer clock, uh, scarf, and you see uh, Baradun's sh uh, shimmering um, appearance goes back into one. Thank God, that was giving me a <laughs> migraine the whole time. <laughs> Takes off this thing, you explain what it does and hand it over. He's very excited to take that. Blah, 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 blah. He tells you, um, after after tall fork do sharp pointy, feed meaty bits go to Lord of Eyes. Oof. Lord Lord stay away from glowy ring. Glowy ring, can you elaborate on glowy ring? Is that like a ring of like water or no ring in in uh, in um ring in ring in um wall? Wall. Wall, ring and wall. Oh, I thought he meant like a ring. Oh, is it like a? It's, yeah, a, yeah. it's either like a, port, a dimension it's either a portal or, or a. Normally, top. normally, <coughs> um, rib, 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 rib of them. So fit rib. one, two, three of them. One, two, so three, feed, four of them. feed, rib, feed, uh, bits of flesh to what? Lord of eyes. To Lord of eyes. Have, Did you, you, have say, you seen this Lord of eyes? Lord of eyes. Lord of eyes. Did you say rib, 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 rib? Rib, 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 rib. Four people. Yeah. Uh, dark for uh, when when ring glory. And so when one glory. one one of them called Triton. Triton. Oh Triton. yeah, right. Tri so Trinton, I've, got, I've got a feeling that you know how earlier there was uh, people who've been there was someone stumbling down the down the path. Yeah, Randy, Randy, like, yeah. Oh, these people that get sacrificed, they're, they're there to feed to the Lord of Eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so we. So I guess you win we, a we, dance competition. We want to. We want to. My, my gut eyes. feeling. Yeah. Oh, I'm going to say something. My gut feeling is this Lord of Eyes is probably Dave, the um, the uh, yeah, the true. what do you call him? The uh, Dark, Dark Lord. Dark Lord. Yeah, right. 
Uh, and, sorry, I just got to say, I really quite, I just hope there's another Step Up movie where this is like the prize, like Channing Tatum. <laughs> like, <laughs> step up to the Eldritch Horrors. <laughs> we win, what do we win? Yeah, come on down here. Channing Tatum's like, yeah, I'm Channing Tatum. <laughs> oh my God. I'm Channing Tatum. I'm a hot young girl. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> I and turn, feet into turns the from a dance movie into a, <laughs> this, into a horror. Can you imagine like the transition between Step Up and then like an intense <laughs> fantasy horror? Cthulhu-esque horror. Though. Yeah, um, yeah so I assume, I assume Lord of Eyes is dead. Dave. Big yeah, considering yeah. Trenton assumption. made a deal with Dave. Um, Trenton made a deal. When was that again? Sorry. The I found it on the, the flashback. flashback. Yeah. Oh, but he was just mentioned as like you, you, you. We could introduce we, we will introduce you, you to as, Dave. As a, as a thing, I was just thinking because he's telling us this, we will have the memory of this. If we go back to it's fucking what's his face and Rita. Told. No, but if we have, yeah, yeah, I guess, it is. I it guess. is possible, but then they'd be like, we need to you know, see on a witness stand, they'd be like, you're just in the word of a, you're just in the broken English of a. Of if a we walk, I know, I know. Don't get me wrong, it's gonna be fucking dangerous, but I like that plan for walk in, see everything, stabby stabs. So this is what I'm wondering. Stabby stabs. But stabby stabs. What um uh Bollywog was saying is, it sounds like Trenton has already killed. This person no, he's saying that's what will happen sometimes. Oh. The, the, these sacrifices happen all the time to go through the portal. So Is ideally, portal we can talk. Oh. So it took you forty minutes to come down. So, I want, but I want. Do do we think that we can maybe catch him in the act and remember this? And don't, then, may, maybe it's probably already happened. I don't know a lot about sacrifices, on, but I think they take Club a while. When did when did Trenton last come through? Like how long ago? The glory ring glowing now. It's going now. now. Oh, okay. We oh. should get we should get going. Cool. Let's get going. Around. Let's go and check for traps and <laughs> and, go. and lantern of revealing as uh, we. All right. All perfect. Um, uh, so nobody's giving him very rare or legendary items. Yeah. I wouldn't necessarily have expected How you to do, do so. I'll do it later. Uh, have you, have you sorry, really quickly? Have you been through the portal? Have you have you stepped into no, the portal? No, no. Uh, you just got to stay away from room when tall fork there. Does Trenton ever step through the portal? The uh, whole Triton. Triton. Do, do, Triton do, do, never stepped through the portal. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you know where, oh, it goes? Do you know where the, portal. the portal goes? No. To the Lord to of the Lord Eyes. What is the portal? No, oh. it's a hole in the wall. Glory ring. ring. Glory oh, ring. Yes. Triton, you know, wa- Triton walk into glory ring. Do you know where, and do you know where the, the, the glory, glory ring. ring goes to? No. <laughs> Talking to him like a child. To monster. To monster. To a Lord of Eyes. Um, excellent. So you you move around around these guys and out. That way. So the uh, Bullywug takes your items very happily um, and then he just disappears into the water with them, including the Bale and Scream. Oh, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. God damn it. I it's like that it. raccoon who tries yeah. to wash the, um, <laughs> the candy floss. The candy floss. Oh, it's so good. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Raccoons always try seen... to wash their food before they eat it. So you can give a ca- raccoon candy floss, they'll take it to a puddle and like wash it and then it disappears and you see him like scrambling no. and be like, no, where's it gone? I've never seen that before. It's it's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. <laughs> it really is. Because it's one of those. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, it's you like that. It disappears thought. into the water, disappears out of sight. Um, you continue on round, uh, guiding your way by this, this luminous fungus and mushrooms and stuff that are growing around the place. You arrive at a table. And you arrive at a table. It's like there's this wood grain. Wood grain. <laughs> um, you, uh, you start to hear sounds of um, chanting. Like a, no. a distant chanting, like a... Gobble, gobble, one of us. <laughs> yeah. I'm starting to think these Selwyns are really... <laughs> a real son, son of a bitch. It's a real son of a bitch. <laughs> a real son of a bitch. <laughs> Wait, shut up. What are they chanting? <laughs> shut up! You can't make it out. It's okay. a, just sound of chanting. Um, you get to a point of this, this ca- cave that looks very rickety, and sure enough, at the end of the cave seems like a man-made wall that's just been kind of... It's just blocked up this entrance that you're in, um, except for the fact that it is deteriorated and hole, uh, there's a hole in the wall that's just kind of, like, fallen apart through disuse. Uh, d- so you, can get, you can get through the hole? You can get through the oh, hole. Can we just go... D- by default, it's just like, we move forward, check, 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 Yeah, track, yeah, yeah. Check, I'm, I'm, default, uh, you're, check, I'm using your, your active... Uh, your, um, Active. Active perception, yeah. essentially, instead of your, your passive perceptions at this point. Um, you are assumed to be rolling perception checks every six seconds, sure. so I'm taking the average of what you would be getting. Cool. A million. Which for you would be about a 20. So, no. um, Very close, close. So you're... And Bob's at the front. Yeah, you're, you're leading the way. No traps, but you are listening out. You are able to pick up as you get closer. Uh, you're on like a corridor, essentially. I'll put you some... Why are we using old Bob? Uh, we have Bat Bob up here. Yeah. I'm oh. Bat Bob. Good Bat Bob. I'm not really flying right now. I guess it's because you're not flying. Um, we'll, we'll give you like a an on ramp, as it were. You're all kind of leading into 
what you're seeing. Can here. we remove the bet bob now? Because it's actually frustrating me now. <laughs> I'm sorry. This one or this sorry. one? Which no, one do I don't want the bet bob on. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Get I'm sorry. rid I'm sorry. of bat bob from I'm the sorry. board. Thank you. He's not bat and he's not bloody. I'm still here. <laughs> but you know who is here? <laughs> Jeff! Hey! hey! What's up, Jeff? Jeff? I attack Jeff him with everything I've got. <laughs> yeah, I immediately just. <laughs> and I Balin. forgo all my cleric. Balin turns up. Hey. Hey. I heard you gave out my, my route, my screenplay. He How dare you? It's also text. He's like, he's like, morning. Morning. Fish, you need it. Nice day for fish. I didn't do it. That's okay. I just want to make that canon now. For a moment, he just goes, morning. Nice day for fish, you need it. And we're like, what's he doing today? He was the Balin, he was, you, are you in there, with the Lord of Eyes? <laughs> Morning. <laughs> <laughs> and he leaves. And he leaves, okay. All right. Um, you, what the fuck? Who was that? You take the time to come to terms with what, what the hell was that about? Um, <laughs> so, so Balin's just, I mean, I, I guess the end of Balin's right, he can go wherever he wants, so here he is. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, little guy, I told you not to do that. Ah, Why would you do that? Morning. Nice to be fishing, ain't it? Balin! Oh, Balin! Funnily enough, we hey. just, uh... Oh. Morning. Oh. No, nice day for fishing, ain't it? What? Well, no, Balin, it's not. morning. Balin, Balin oh, I told him not to. Balin, I told him not to. We still like the film. I didn't Balin. give it to him, it was Barry News. He's, he's a bit passive I, aggressive, isn't he? I told wow. him not to put it in the water. Balin, come back. Oh, man, we broke Balin's little heart. Oh. Chrissy little bitch. Huh? Yeah. He was on some other adventure. He was on some other adventure, <laughs> wacky adventure. And somehow, all-knowing Balin knew that we gave away the script yeah. to Balin's route, the yep. movie. Yep. Canon. <laughs> <laughs> Canon. Uh, no. You approach yes. the whole No comedy locked in. <laughs> comedy irretractable. irretractable. Um, you approach the door, you can hear chanting from this like big cavernous room on the other side of the wall. Yeah. What do you want to do? Uh, I send what's it in invisible to scout. All right, what's it stuff? Look at us actually DD. &D. Yeah, <laughs> we walk in. Yeah, I dance in. Hey now, hey now. Don't dream what's over. This looks like a. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I had the same direction. Direction. Oh, I, I thought it felt like fluffy. I thought it was going to be fluffy. Oh, a bit, a bit disappointed. Just, just nothing, not fluffy. We'll leave that here because it's going to be longer. It's going to be longer. Okay, sweet. You. Once it comes in, you walk into his brain, yep. and you see this huge chamber. A couple now of this looks sconces, like a place for a fight. A couple of torch sconces burning away, braziers. A um, uh, few braziers. A few braziers, yeah. Um, and a large room. Yeah, oh, here we go. Sure. Okay, okay now, now we're getting into a fight. <laughs> a large room. Where hey, a few I think we can probably talk it out. Let's, talk, let's put on a play for them. <laughs> yeah. Where <there> is <laughs> Are you cursed? <laughs> Are you cursed? What is happening? Oh no, th that's definitely an altar of sacrifice. Yep. Yeah, yeah. With blood on it. Yeah. There are a few. Where the hell's the, the fourth guy? Wait, it, wait, sorry, wait, I keep forgetting to completely set it up and then go. Right, guys, should we go back? <laughs> should we leave? Um, and Once it looks in, it looks thoroughly dangerous. We decide to go home to Honeywood. Um, you know, I'm, like if Blade was following us, he would have had. Ample time to be right behind us right now. Yep, you've yep. got your torch. I do, I do, but he keeps around the corner. Because of the, the rope problem? The rope problem. I mean, no, the rope problem, but also the. Didn't it take 40 minutes for me to oh, get yeah, actually yeah. the rope problem? <laughs> but even but just the did. delays That's of going through the different kept, traps and stuff. That is a, that is a good point. Thing. Like, if, if, he had, if he had been following we you, we should he set up another trap behind us. He would have come behind you. So, either you can infer from that that he can get through there, or that he is and he's sneaking. He bore me. He's so boring. I don't All care right. about Blade. <laughs> you don't care about Blade? I don't care about So him. an invisible what's it, it pops around the corner. You see all of this uh, illuminated in front of you. Uh, burying the lead a little bit, you oh, also wow. you also mm. see that right behind this sort of, uh, this altar, as it were, is... Rowan's mama. A glowing <laughs> ring portal. There it is. Oh, and it, was, it was actually <laughs> Rowan's mum. <It> <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Oh. I thought he was kidding, but Let's then go. look, the tentacles and everything. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> 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 That's fing <laughs> cool. That's dope. Yeah. That is Again, dope. also borrowed Man. from cutting That's words. Awesome. Thank you to Brad for the, for wow. the loaner of all Thank the amazing Brad. stuff. And, and Rowan's mum for lending her. <laughs> <own>. <laughs> Thank you to Rowan. <laughs> we, we, we've seen, well, I know what's it seen it. We've seen this. Is Randy okay? Uh, you see a dead Randy. Oh, yeah. oh, <laughs> Randy. You see a dead Randy. You see a dead Randy uh, completely devoid of blood on the t on the altar as oh. these tentacles are kind of lathering oh, over Randy. the top and then 
you can see the blood being drawn from the oh. wounds. And can we, can we rename him Shanning Tatum? Oh. <laughs> Channing, Channing, yeah. You see Channing on the on the altar. Tanning, Tanning. He's Tanning. He's Tanning. Tanning Chatham. Tanning Chatham. Tanning Chatham is not okay. He, he, he stepped up to the streets too hard, guys. <laughs> 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 this is all you get. He stepped up to the okay, ultra right, so yeah, yeah, First thing, I'm, I'm, already, Channing Tatum's not in, I'm already thinking I got the wrong end of the stick here. You're thinking here I am much. thinking you make a sacrifice to be able allowed to go through here. But one. who the fuck wants to go through there? They are, so, the, the tentacles are drawing the blood from the wounds and these guys are chanting, Madura Sigara. So, uh, what's it? You can recognise Trenton is standing here with his hood down now. Okay, so you've told us all this information, I assume? Yeah. I mean, so... Yeah, I mean, we made a joke before, but if we look in there and see this <laughs> and, then, and go like, well, that's in my memory forever, holy f***. <laughs> that's some dirt, right? Yeah, we just, then we just go back to Ricky. I do on really want to fight them. I want to get a close up, so we should walk out and get close. I, I really want to fight them too. I really want to, I've got my, 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 oh, my, yes. my, my, my fight, my fight tingles are tingling. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm just like, <laughs> oh, I just want, oh, God, it's too <laughs> interesting looking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, all right. Uh, Rob's putting all his prep. So what's <laughs> it? Yeah, so turn around and leave. Yeah, so let's what's leave. Let's it? Go. Goes back and then he comes when I was back. When I was talking to Brad and I was around at his place and I was putting all this stuff together, and he was like bringing out even more stuff and he's like do you want to borrow, borrow some of this and my, my brain was like yes I want this one and I'm <laughs> yes. going to make him fight this and, I'm gonna, and then I had to be like no 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 it's going to get too busy yeah. and, <laughs> and then eventually I put it all together and mm -hmm. I went What's to stop them getting okay. to the hole in the wall and then going, nope, and turning around? And he's like, and then we sort of brainstormed some things and I was like, okay. Right. Yeah. Okay, they're, so they're, okay. Going, they're going into that room. <laughs> right, okay, so what's it comes back, walks back, and even what's it is just a bit like, holy f <laughs> yeah. Um, Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. What's, 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 what's like, it's from a different yeah. plane? What's yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. from that plane. Yeah, so, so, you, like, it's, like, it's, I get, so you've seen everything so through what's it's eyes. So you would just kind of turn around to us and be like, Yeah, me and what's it both just go like, well, and we're just standing there like, well, hey, what did you and, see? The, the Bob, three of what, us are just like, so what did you see? Bob, what did you see? What's going on? How was that? Yeah. Holy shit. What do you see? Is it good? Yeah. Just, um, just easy, easy, easy elves? We're good just killing, stuff. killing elves. Elves. Good killing stuff. elves. Yeah, um... Fish lush. Fish lush? Is there fish lush down there? Definitely no fish lush. More bullywogs. Another casino? Um, look, I think best, I think it's best maybe you guys just take a look. It's kind of... Another casino? Is hard to describe. Uh, okay. Okay. Kind of nightmarish. Yeah, that's, that's, terrifying. Uh, uh, Cthulhu. Uh, uh, Cthulhu. Uh, uh, Cthulhu what? Okay. Let's have a look. Yeah, you, you, you guys go ahead. I'm just gonna sit here and try and comprehend what I just saw. Did it turn you on? A little bit. Is everything okay? The cell ones are dirty. Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> and how did you know? Did you see them like? Are they are they, are they blackmailing people or something? Are they I think maybe people? it's best you guys just. It's kind of hard. So to we describe. do that thing where we all go. We go yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> so first we go. Oh. Bob, it can't be that bad. <laughs> Come and the on, three, like, just the three for real. Go. go. Oh. Oh, my oh, God. That's horrible. Huh? Oh, that's the worst. There's tentacles and things. It reminds me of a fantasy I once had. What? A what? Uh -huh. A nightmare I once had. A nightmare. Oh. Yeah, totally. Oh. The tentacles were doing things to me. Huh? It was real nice. Huh? What? What? Oh. One head and bubble. Yeah, and then back. Then back. I, want, I want a stealth check from each of you, please. Okay. Oh, damn it. Can we have advantage? Because we definitely. You, we were you, just you, all you were quiet. So and they're these guys are just glowing this way. They're all facing that way. Yeah. All facing that way. Oh, oh is that one. me as well? Even though uh, I didn't. No, you weren't there. Uh, uh, what's it? Uh, I don't know. I, mean, I, I, would, I would pass a stealth check anyway. Stealth. But. Oh, um, there's an actual one. So, sorry, do we, do we have advantage? Plus one. Yes. 16. 18. And I got 16 as well. Give me those again in a second. Uh, I just forgot one crucial thing. Oh, f***. Oh, oh very cool. A cool light that I can oh, use from behind, cool. which I think, if I look at how, to, how it works, on. Do I need to I press the on button? You're I right. did imagine, do this. I'm I did imagining practice. them there doing go. this too. The yeah. They're trying to set up. A, hang on, I got a, hang on. I've got a really cool light thing. Honestly, it's going to make it look even cooler. We're going to be f dope f run people. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, I didn't see this from this. Point Brad was like, "Do you want to borrow a fog machine?" I was like, "Yes." No, oh, no. I'm getting too much ahead of myself. That's cool. Um, cool. That's cool. Amazing. Okay, um, so we're all glowing. What'd you get? 16, 16, 18. Oh, nice. Yeah, you're all good. Um, the, their passive perception is currently on okay. this. So we, we picked out and we come back and we're like, okay. Oh. Oh. Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 
I mean, this is only stuff that I've seen in my dream nightmares. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Paradise like it's kind of hot. <laughs> so, um, for, like, what what is okay? So quick, what, quick we need, what, what we need what is can we, oh, what, no, what no. is to be gained from going around this corner? Well, as I was saying, mm, really, mm. we need. I don't fight. There. I run out. <laughs> yeah. It's like really, we need evidence that they're dirty, and using Rita in a weird spitting foam magic, we could record these memories, and that's pretty solid evidence. Of They've all Trenton. got their heads back to us. We, you, kind we of can tell that's Trenton. However, I also just want to get in there. I mean, let's get in the there. Steps. There will be some magic <laughs> items and stuff. It'll be great. The chanting starts to slow down while you're standing here talking. Okay, um, I um I. Oh, they, they might be wrapping up. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna fucking I'm gonna get shit underway. Maybe and I'm not gonna tell the guys wait, what I'm doing. Maybe we, may, uh, oh okay, my god. You, maybe we let them wrap uh, up. I, so I start those. casting a spell. All right, Baradun. <laughs> so we're from all like, right, what, what should we do? Should we just okay? Let's collectively come together and come up with the plan. Baradun. Okay, there's some pretty high level shit in there. Some tentacles and portals. We need to we need to think about this. We need to come up with a plan. Yes, yes, Like a group plan together. I've got a plan. Okay, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Okay, so what is it? What's, what's the plan? plan? What did you just do? I've done it. I've done the plan. What? What's the plan? I've I've done it. I thought you were going to tell us your plan. Why would I tell you the plan? Shut up. Who is that? I cast um, major image as a it's 120 feet, and I yeah. counted it out. I can do it over here. <laughs> oh shit! Do we nice. not want to wait until the tentacles nope. are finished? <laughs> no, no, I don't. Want, do want to find out? I mean, he's, do, do, he's already the, dead. So we're not, we're not, we're not, the, the, the time to save someone has passed. You know what it looks like. Now we can just see. What, I want to see what's going on here. Um, popping out from behind uh, the uh, altar. Uh, so uh, yeah, or from behind it's there. Coming out of the oh, he could come out of the portal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, and he jumps onto the top of the altar and goes, Crikey, what's going on here? Oh no, you oh, ruined no. it. <laughs> you ruined no, you ru everything. Crikey. This is going to be such a cool fight. And he, he, he no goes, chefs here. Crikey, all of you bloody Selwyn family members. I didn't realise you I genuinely got it about I didn't realise you were bloody dirty. <laughs> I genuinely got it. Jeff's back, baby. Yes, that's who we all wanted to. Oi. You bloody Selwyns! You're the evil bunch, aren't you? Hey, all your Selwyns, look at me! Look at me! <laughs> hey, I'm Jeff! Jeff 2.0! Everyone's best friend! Everyone loves Jeff! So you're an illusion then? Is that, is that, is what? So no, I'm not an illusion! Look at me! I, I'm the most bloody powerful adventurer on the land! This I'm probably, Jeff! This has probably worked for you before, I'm hasn't? Jeff! Like Super powerful! Stupid monsters and things? Well, of co well, stupid monsters that I kill! Yeah. Everyone look here! Don't and look over in that direction! It, it did work to <laughs> hey. dis distraction for stupid monsters. He thought it would work against a very and intelligent cultist. stupid, cultists. evil yeah. cultists! Gotcha. Because I'm Jeff! Right. Two I'm point gonna ignore you for a bit, uh, and focus fire on the guy who's casting you, I think, if I could see him. <laughs> Alrighty! So, uh, we will get into... <laughs> To an initiative because they're certainly going to start uh, hostile actions. You've started something. Right. We're definitely uh. going to get into a turn-based situation. Crikey! Amazing this looks new like some bloody modifies. dark magic. <laughs> what? So as, as can I just turn to Baradun and go, "What was the f point of that?" <laughs> what are you talking about? What the? F is I the feel point like of that? what happened. Yeah. What happened? <laughs> we, we can't comedy. Re it's too, too late to comedy retract. Eh? <laughs> what happened? We, no, definitely not comedy retract. All right. I, I think you know what. I need, you brought Jeff into this. Okay. I, need an yes, Jeff. Well, I need an initiative from each of you. You two have advantage for various right, reasons. Uh, 12. 15 plus it's my dick. So uh, 15. Uh, uh, oh, plus 4. I, I get 19. I get advantage. 19 uh, for Bob. 13. So he's going to be up here. Did you go with advantage because you're a weapon of warning? Uh, yeah, that's it. That is oh, right, right? I do 15 plus my dexterity modifier. Yeah, dexterity yeah, yeah, modifier, yeah, which is yeah. it's, got, it's on there as an initiative. So was it roll again? Cool. Yeah, advantage. Okay, so 18. Again. 18 think, for you, 19 uh, for Bob. And I get plus one. 16. 16 I, I, I get Baradun. advantage and I get plus one. Um, yeah, advantage and then plus one from your decks. Your initiative bonus is up here. Oh, yeah, there it is. Uh, so, so 16. 16 as well. Both 16s. Right, cool. You two are acting simultaneously, meaning if you want to do any sort of cool, like one two punch or anything. Because Bodger and Baradun, well known for fighting together. Teamwork. Right? <laughs> Teamwork. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They'll, they'll be next to each other. The whole uh, time. If you want to do something, I'll give you a cool bonus for it. Um, otherwise, you can just act, you can just decide who goes first. Uh, this is the odd review. Let's go with uh, bad guys. Um, well, we've got surprise on them, right? You do, yeah. What? I just need to get the. <laughs> we, we will fucking. <laughs> Oh, uh, I should have thought. Uh, yeah, I forgot about how the initiative thing was going to work, and I didn't bring like duplicates of all of those. So I'll use the uh, hags to represent them. Oh, very nice. Because they're all bad guys. Oh, why is this going broken? I'm not. 
I don't know. Some, Why is this one broken? Ben? Some guy knocked him off. Some guy was here earlier. Jeff, I think I was. Uh, he um, knocked it off. Snapped Zybill and his legs off. Yeah. Do you reckon the Arch Faye will remember this? <laughs> no. <laughs> we will go with these guys. Uh, and I do have an order of like the. So I'll go in the same order. So Trenton is this one. Uh, and then this one, this one, and this one. All right. And let's roll for them. Initiatives. Bum, ba, bum, bum, ba. Not good. Very good. Fucking baritone. Not good at all. What's, what is what is the plan? What's the plan? <laughs> like, like, what, distraction. Is all right, distraction. Kind of yeah, it's a great distraction. Except for Boom. this one. Like it's fire. I'm assuming that, that they haven't noticed us yet because I've only noticed Jeff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's but it's but we it's have definitely the, twig that there's the surprise something happening. Yeah, we, like we could have snuck out. We and have a surprise round. We get to have all have a turn before they get to have a turn. My man. Right. So, um, Baradun did the thing which triggers off like the you guys all scrabble for me like, oh shit, what are we doing? Um, Trenton. That's the thing. We're surprised too, though. <laughs> well, no, because I said I'm going to do a thing, you, but I'm not telling which you. Which of you speak <laughs> Elvish? Just you two, right? Okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. From where you are, make a perception check. There's a chance you won't hear it. All, sorry, all of us? No, just these two. Uh, uh, speak 16, 26. 15. Cool. Uh, Bob. You are the oh, only 16, one, sorry. You're the only one who hears this um, as the chanting, well, you all hear the chanting stop quite abruptly as <laughs> Jeff comes through the portal and they all stop. And then there's a moment and then you hear Trinton say relatively quietly, it just kind of carries through the echoes and stuff. He says in Elvish, it seems it's now. Um, then it's your turn. It seems it's now. It seems it's now. <laughs> Okay. Um, fucking hell. I. Oh god, there's not many places to hide or anything, is there? The braziers. They're pretty big. Yeah, but can I even get to them? Yeah, I guess. All right, I I run it. I quickly dart in here and I hide behind the brazier. All right. One, Are you gonna two, take a shot? Three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can get into behind the brazier um, and drag this one off. Like we we can pretty be. <clears throat> How do we know these guys are bad? <laughs> <laughs> You've made big assumptions. <laughs> There's some very We haven't had any that's words a, that's a, with that's, them. That's a traumatic flashback to the Yaris Goldhorn <laughs> fight right there. <laughs> How do we know that they're evil? Uh, the human sacrifice? Look, you're making an assumption. The, the giant tentacles that are like oh, coming oh. out of the portal that like... Okay, so you're, but you're judging a book by its cover. I'm judging a book by the human sacrifice and the tentacles coming out of the the, gi the giant portal. If something has a tentacle, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's evil. Why do you keep skipping past the human sacrifice? That's a minor detail. And don't they? Come on, look at oh, look at them. Look I at know, them. Okay, I don't okay, want to be a dick, okay, but look okay. at them. So does that mean that a squid is, by its very inherent nature, evil? Uh, by if the squid, squid is doing a human sacrifice. And I'm, then, I'm, yeah, yeah. You're getting lost in the details, <laughs> yeah, mate. No, a, a squid on its own. And then, a squid the, doing human sacrifice. How do you know it's a sacrifice? How do you know they're not massaging him? <laughs> I guess I don't. Okay, I rest my case. Let's give uh, him the benefit of the doubt in this one. <laughs> uh, are you cursed? <laughs> like sacrificing? Maybe we can help you. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I, I'm I mean, pretty sure we we. So that was your movement. Attacking. You've still got your bonus and your action. Uh. Yeah, I guess I do just fucking start Look, attacking. By, by right? the time you attack and if we they need turn to move, we notice. need to move. This is yeah. going to be a big fight, so we All need right. to be making All right. decisions. I, I, um, they're distracted, so I'm going to try and shoot them. Um, All right. I stealthing will, first or stealthing after? I will hide afterwards. Hide after, cool. Yeah. Uh, so as you run in, you take a shot. Who are you taking a shot at? There's three of them and this guy. Jeff's in I'll trouble, take. so if you could help him. Fuck Jeff. Jeff. Yep. That's aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're all distracted, so I guess sneak attack on any of them, right? Uh, you had have, have advantage on any of them, yes, which gives you sneak attack if you hit. Yeah. Yeah, great. Okay. Um, I'll go for Trenton. All right. All right, straight for Trenton. <laughs> yeah, let's let's take advantage Trenton on the attack. Although, do we want to? I mean, we've got to attack them. At I'll, some I'll... point, do, sorry, I should have asked this earlier. Do, do the others have hoods up? They all have their hoods down. They all are uh -huh. wearing hood, oh. hooded robes. Okay, brilliant. Right is Trenton the one we'd want to hypothetically as as keep alive? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm t well, I'm actually trying to figure out what is we'll the goal. Make a decision. Here. We're in the middle of a fight. What's the goal? Who's he, 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 oh, he can do that. I, I think the goal 16. is to see their faces. Um, is the best goal. With, with advantage. With, to see oh, their yeah, faces next to a fucking do four dark lord. <laughs> okay, so 16, 16 plus modifier. Plus, uh, Which we've eight almost done. For my short bow. So that's 24. 
24. 24 hits, roll damage. Great. Sneak attack. And then kill him. Kill him. Uh, it's been a while since I've used sneak attack. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. How many th how many things do I roll now? That's uh, who your level of rogue. You're level seven rogue, so I think it's I don't four. Think about what you're doing next time. Four, and then your <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. And your, I've, I've uh, got four, four d six plus your bow, which is a d six, I think. Let's do so it. So oh, I think it's five d six total. Oh yeah yeah four d six so. Uh, so. Uh, mm, right. So I need five. Can I get a D6 from someone? Uh, yes. <coughs> sure. Like a D6. Like a D6. Like a, like a D6. All right. Shit. Five, ten, sixteen. Plus six. Twenty-two. Twenty-two damage. Holy moly. Two damage. All right. And then um, I hide. How? What did you? What did you do? I shot an arrow. Oh, at my man. Uh, cool. Make oh, me a stealth check. Trinan's not the one. I think uh, Trinan's the one him. out here. Yeah, yeah. Do, I, I think we want to keep him. Sorry, you're done. So oh, we can I think keep, we'll, he's, I'm pretty sure he's got more than 22 health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sure. It's 12 plus so 12, I think it is. Stealth. 12, so 20. But th th this is what I mean. I kind of want. What is the goal? The I, just I, I, I want to keep um, Trinan alive. You, so we can as you him. shoot, it seems to hit him. It seems that Which is his, possible after his a bunch of dark damage. robes that he's wearing sort of have this like very purplish sheen, similar sort of quality mm -hmm. as the lights that's coming through here. It has this sh shimmering quality. It seems to strike him, but maybe it's uh, negating some of that and uh, that damage. Okay. Um, you right, know, I wanted to have a chat about that, but then this fucking guy. What are you doing? Uh, I'm Jeff. casting. You see, uh, you see, he starts to cast a spell. You start to hear Jeff come. Well, I can't. Go, oh, I kind of go, oh, Barrett, get hell, fucking hell, Barrett, and then I take two. What happened, Greg? What happened, Greg? Barrett, in fucking hell. Did something happen, Greg? Aura of purity. Oh, nice. Cast aura of purity. What's that? What's that? What's that? Um, purifying energy radiates within a 30 foot radius Use it, uh, uh, until the spell ends. Uh, it's centered on me. Each non hostile creature in the aura, including radius, me, 30, 30 foot radius. Um, That's the radius around you for if you ever need to check. Each non hull star creature within a 30 foot radius of me can't become deceased. His resistance oh. to poison damage has an advantage in saving throws against, the uh, against effects that cause deceased. any of the following conditions. Oh. Blinded, charmed, deafened, frightened, paralyzed, poisoned and stunned. Right. Got. Thank, you it. Thank you very Buffing much, Greg. You can't, can't be but diseased. Lots of stuff. You have to remind cool me of what, what yeah, those have to just, saying, yeah, but yeah. And as Greg's doing, I'm going, whoa, what happened, Greg? So, so stand well, Greg, and I just, Greg, what I happened? Just, I just ignore him. I just, so ah, I, I tap you on the shoulder, Greg. That was a, a, your action, yes? Yeah. Um, bonus and movement. Uh, I'll just move to the Agent Peer. Peerin. All right. Uh, that is you. It's the two of you up now. Um, oh, can I just ask a question? Sorry about concentration. So it's, um, up to ten minutes, but concentration does that mean up to ten minutes? So you can, if you concentrate on it, the spell will last ten minutes. So I can still do other actions and stuff. You obviously can do other well. actions. If you cast anything else that is also a concentration spell, that first one drops. Ah, oh, right. But if you okay. cast any spells that aren't concentration, that's fine. Okay, Roger. Or if you take damage, you, you might drop the concentration. If you do anything like, if you're in an earthquake, you might drop to make a concentration check. Okay. Can you give me? I never know what distance, distance in this. Like, like what's six? Feet. Each square is each, five feet. Each square is five, so 60 feet is 12 squares. I think uh, I have my. Oh, I didn't bring my ruler. Five, Damn it. Ten, um, yeah, I forgot to bring my ruler. 30, 30, 30. Um, so uh, I, I usually just like if I don't have my ruler. I can I have my turn real quick. Mine's pretty easy. Um, okay, yeah, what do you do? Um, chuck on my uh, blink ring and uh, hopefully, dis well, I'll figure out if I disappear later. Um, so action to activate the blink ring. You uh, cast and, blink on yourself. And then I um, and then I'm going to quicken so I can cast a spell and I cast shatter centered on here. Excellent. What's the range of shatter again? Uh, 120. Damn. 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 Um, Damn. And then I uh, I cast shatter and as I cast shatter I have uh, Jeff just as a bit of flavor goes. Uh, What's he gonna say? He's gonna go. God, this looks bloody mighty suspicious, and he kind of just goes and just slams like onto the ground. So it looks like he's doing the shadow. It looks like he's doing the shadow, and he goes. It emanates from him. I'm not only one of the strongest rangers in the world. I'm also the most powerful sorcerer in the world. Baradun has nothing on me, baby. Yeah, take that, Selwyn. You crazy cultists! <laughs> oh, 
All right, make me so the uh, roll me the, the, the damage for it. Uh, so there's a chance that so far they could think everything's happening just from death. Yeah, that's the plan. Potentially, like they pr like okay. Rob didn't say, but I got a pretty good hide, so he probably didn't know where my arrow came from. Yeah. Uh, it does 16 damage. Uh, 16 damage to all of them that fails their saves. On four D20s, I got two net ones. A four and a six. Oh, great. Nice. So the cell ones are going to be a you, great me? fight. Um, <laughs> oh, technically 5d20 because there's the tentacle geezers. Tentacle geezers. The Lord of Eyes, I feel, is... Um, or oh, tentacles. Oh, oh. Like. <laughs> uh, oh, another nut one. That's great. <laughs> That's Ooh. great. It's going well. Yeah, go Ben. It's going no, well. It's going to be a great epic. It's going to be a great epic fight. <laughs> I just set up all of this thing. <laughs> and everyone just died. <laughs> I was just thinking that, like, if we come out, we just surprise <laughs> them. Sorry, what was the damage? Shut up. Was 11, 11. It's a crack. 16. Oh, oh. Mission accomplished. Um, I don't wild search. It was class though. Um, and oh. I disappear. You do disappear. Also. I do disappear. Oh, it was right. literally one from uh, wild searching, which would nice. have sucked. Which now means it's gone up again. What was your What was your wild search at? Um, it is now a six. Now a six to wild search, Ooh, all right. Well, actually, uh, check, I check like that. One, two, three, four. Win. No, sorry, it's a five. It's a five now. After the, uh, so you did two shatters to come down here, a shatter now, you did a magic, a major image, um, and it was just so, those four. So it is now yeah, a five. So it's now a five, yeah. yeah. Uh, cool. So you are concentrating on Jeff. Jeff makes it look like it, it was him. Oh, uh, smash. did Jeff. it. Smash. smash. Shatter. What's the radius of shatter? Ten foot. Uh, uh, ten foot, yeah. Ten foot. Uh, so actually he wouldn't have taken any because he wouldn't have been in it. So it's just... So yeah. you can have uh, these three are in a line. So you really can you can pick two of these essentially. Oh, is it ten, 10 foot radius or 10 foot square? I think it's 10 foot... 10 foot radius. 10 foot, yeah, 10 10 foot, foot radius? Cool. Yeah. So you can get all these three in. Okay. So I'll take back the damage that Trenton took. Cool. Um, <laughs> that is everything for your turn. Yep, what done. are you doing? I want to... Yes, he runs in. Um, so 60 feet roughly. Yeah, 60 feet... Yeah, about here ish. About, about, I'm gonna, uh, so Frenzy, well, I gotta take damage before my next turn. Before or your next turn, take or make or an receive. attack. Make take, an attack or, yeah. uh, or, or take damage. Or take damage. Um, I flick your ear as you run past me. <laughs> <laughs> and a point of damage. Yeah, you use your reaction to flick his ear. Yeah, can, yeah. can I? You can take an attack of opportunity out of him. Can I? Can I do you want one? Do, yeah. <laughs> do you want one? Greg's just so, so frightened. He's like, I think Bodger's <laughs> like, Hurt me, Craig! I'm like frenzied rage. Just give me one dagger. Give me, give me one dagger. Right, I get, my, I get out my little dagger because I've got a dagger of yes, warning. You got a staff? Yeah. Just knock him. I, I don't have a staff. I've got a, oh, um, got a dagger, dagger nice. of warning. Yeah. So, so I just, I just got to a little dagger as he comes first, making a tech roll. Might be more than one. Just poke him in the eye. Oh, sorry. What's that dagger warning? I should check this. Just the attack roll is always a d20 plus your dexterity or strength. Fourteen. Plus. Dexterity for you is better. That's one. That's fifteen. What's your armor class? Uh, 14. 14. So you hit, roll d4 plus uh, your dexterity of 1. Oh, it sounds like he's mess. Uh, 1. <laughs> 1, 2. So, so he's done two, da 2 damage, halved, rounded up. Oh, one. perfect. So that's 1 point of damage. Hey! Oh, so you do, you do a nick of 1 point of damage like, to him as he runs past. Uh, the, this moment <laughs> is, is over uh, us. Hurt me, Greg! And hurt me. I just go. Greg, stop it! Yeah. Ah, thank you! Welcome! Ah, blah, 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 okay, run forward. That's uh, the shit, that's what I love. Yeah. <laughs> So the instinctive pounce, uh, just to get it started. Cool. Oh yeah, and instinctive pounce is an extra. Oh, that was forty plus so twenty. Your, yeah, so that's why sixty. So that's sixty. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, Rushes into the room, raging. Is that where we think sixty is? Yeah, but, just okay. kind of. Yeah, sorry. Um, and th uh, that's one. That's your. Uh, that's just your movement. That's You've my now got movement. your action left. You bonus bonus to go into a rage. Bonus movement. to go into rage. So I've still got action. action. So. So if you want to get closer, you can use an action to dash, or you can throw at this point. I might as well give it a the old uh, throwing hammer. Yeah, the old vibe. college throw. Hiya! Cheat sheet. Cool. He is <laughs> outside of your throne. Oh, uh, uh, yes, outside of your throne range, so your short range. Is so it? it would be at disadvantage just... at this range. <laughs> 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 you can hit Cut him. America. You can hit him with your uh, with disadvantage on the attack. Uh, on the long range. Yeah, because he's um, in your long range at this stage. Okay, long range uh, disadvantage. Uh, 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 to, to hit is plus 10. Yep. So, so roll, th this roll with disadvantage. Uh, so it's going to be the 8 plus 10, so 18. Eight 18 to hit. is, I think. Oh, oh shit, sorry. It's all good. 
18 is enough to... Yeah, 18 is enough to hit, so roll the damage. I mean, uh, Follow the handy dandy uh, flowchart. Here we go, here we go. So Are you in melee? Hell. No. So melee, no. Uh, Are you throwing it as a giant? Is it a giant? No, so it's 1d8 so plus 1d... 8 plus 1d6 plus, one plus 6. Everyone think of that your next turn, so we can make the... That one and... and see how fast we can do uh, battle. And then 6. Uh, that's 7. Uh, seven, oh, plus seven, six. seven plus six. That's thirteen points of damage to Trenton, and as as the hammer strikes him, boosh, and is re with uh, now they know we're here. Uh, yeah. Definitely yeah. knows yeah. what's going on now. Well, Trenton does. And again, the uh, the shimmering cloak around him seems to absorb some of that damage. Okay, what's up, Trenton? Um, cool. That was your first attack. You have two. Oh, you have three because uh, you're frenzied, raging. Uh, oh, and you're frenzied. So let me put you a raging. Hang on, I'm getting confused because one of them was just getting it. one. My bonus. Oh, action. sorry. Yes, yeah. your bonus. Action. Yeah. So well, I've remember, got one. One more. Pulled me up uh, on some rules, everybody. Hey, hey. Um, you, don't get your, you don't get your third attack because this round you use your bonus action yeah. to go into the rage in the first place. Uh, but next, all future subsequent turns, you'll get a third action. So you've got two attacks. So instead what, of three. What, uh, one, one more to go. Yep. Uh, at disadvantage if I want to throw it. Same, same again. Uh, yes, that's correct. Um, um, so the lower of that is Greg five. is concentrating. You can hold that little concentration. Five now. plus oh, ten. Yeah. So fifteen to hit. Uh, fifteen unfortunately misses. Okay. So now that he knows you're there, turns around and, and sort of puts his hand up in this kind of almost uh, shimmering effect. <laughs> Knocks it to the side a little bit. You Captain Whoa. America Whoa. back to you. Oh. That's not me. Captain America. Oh. <laughs> No, Captain I thought it was too cool for you. Captain yeah. America! Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> that's, that's, is, I believe, everything you can do. That's everything I can which do means for, for it's now. now the other three's turn. Uh, just for ease of argument's sake, uh, it is uh, Daipon, uh, Fivella, and uh, Raluan. Um, in that order, but they are, have the surprise condition, so they see you come in, they're ready for things. That it seems like, when, with him saying, it seems like it's now. Um, they're not surprised to see you run in. Right. Um, but they are, they're not ready for it, so they don't get to act. Okay. Back to top of the round with Trenton. Trenton is now ready for this thing and he turns towards you, Bodger. And he says, let's see. Yeah, he is going to cast. He's going to try the thing that failed on you before. Wisdom saving throw, please. Hold person. Um, <laughs> Just kind of reaches out and tries to grab you. 18. Oh, nice. 18 plus your wisdom modifier. Uh, it's not actually that bad. Oh, no, wisdom zero. So just 18. <laughs> he reaches out to try and grab you and goes. Even you, what the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> we're all smart, we're all from, from the ethereal really, plane. I'm out, of, I'm, out of, I'm out of practice, it seems. The kid gloves are coming off! <sighs> damn it! God damn it! Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it! I'm meant to be better at this! I mean, look around, I'm meant to be the boss! I just... None of my spells work. Can you just come over here, please? I, to pretend, just pretend it worked. Uh, come on, uh, please, I need this. I'm, I'm in combat take the, now. Take the roll. body, feed it to the frog. Um, uh, I've got feed this one. The frog. Oh. Uh, that is his action. Oh, his bonus nice. action is to command one of them to do what he just told them to. So Daipon is going to grab the body of Randy, ignoring uh, Jeff, and she's going to start dragging him this Why way. Why is she ignoring Jeff? He's a threat. <laughs> 15, yeah. 20. Have some respect. Have some respect for Jeff. All right, she's just, just dragging. She's just got Randy by the neck, and she's just dragging him with surprising strength for her lithe, uh, elven form. Uh, you can see she is a drow. She's a dark, darker skin, white haired <coughs> um, lady, really well dressed, but underneath the dark robes with the hood. Um, so if she's a drow. She's not a Selwyn family member. Mm. So she's grabbing the the, um, uh, the 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 body, and it's a lot lighter now that it's bereft of its blood. And she's dragging it towards uh, towards Bodger, it seems. All right, uh, that was his bonus action. Command her to do something. Action to try you. That's it. Uh, we're up to Bob. All and right. then Big Cleric baby. is on deck, Greg. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, Bob? You are currently uh, hidden as far as any of them are concerned. Yeah. Um, hey, you gonna f it up, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> this is weirding me out. <laughs> yeah, that's weird. Yeah, that's he's just cute. like, uh, ignore them, just take the body away. That's yeah, weird. That's, that's rather, rather weird. <laughs> Very is that going to be a bit of a misty step puff shortly? Or? Yeah, I don't know. I don't. Is that, I don't are know. they so powerful that they're just kind of ignoring us? Like, is that the vibe? Like, they're Maybe. just like, oh god. Maybe. I don't know. Just um, do what you're going to do anyway, I guess. Yeah. I mean, I feel like. What are you going to do, Ben? Yeah, Ben. Yep. Okay, I fire another arrow at Trenton. Pop out. You've got advantage. Yeah. Make an attack. Ten. Eight, so ten, plus my short bow was eight, so eighteen. Eighteen is enough to hit. Sure. Uh, he now knows where you are, um, and he sees it coming. He's not got, you've not got the um, surprised condition on him anymore. 
Although he's, he, you know, as you pop out to take a shot, you have the advantage, but he's going to cast shield. So the sh slight shimmer that you saw from Bodger's, uh, where he kind of deflected Bodger's hammer, mm -hmm. uh, just for flavor, because it didn't hit his armor class. But now it is going to hit his armor class. He just does that same thing again, but more powerful. It solidifies itself into more of a wall. He casts shield on himself, which means that he adds five to his armor class for the rest of the round and turns that hit into a miss. Here's what I'm thinking is going to happen. She's taking this body to here to sacrifice the body here to a big another big boss that will be revealed if the if she reaches this spot. What did the what did the frog tell you? Uh, what are you going to do with your bonus section? No, uh, I hide again. D All right, you cannot hide in the same place after you've just revealed yourself because it's because he knows I'm where so you are. So stealthy, Rob. You can try, but he knows where you are, <laughs> and he'll be keeping an eye out, and you won't get advantage. Giving four, so you need to four move meat, around. Four meat to meet to the four. Mm. To the ribbit, 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 ribbit. So there's another big, oh. big dude. Although there's four here. No, he said there was four people. Uh, okay. Four people went to the ring. What are you doing with your bonus action? Um, I am... And your movement, you can move and dash. Okay, I run over here and hide behind this pillar. All right. Jesus. Very far away. 20, 20, 20, 30. You can't Where'd quite you get all the way there. You can get right behind Baradun. Or you can get back into the hole in the wall. I get back in the hole. All right, you, oh, get, hey you, get, <laughs> you get next to Greg, um, <laughs> and then you're going to make a stealth check. 14 plus <laughs> Runs 12. in there, <laughs> runs out again. <laughs> yeah. F*** it! <laughs> I'm out! Um, he disappears, so and he knows, obviously, where you went, but he thinks maybe you ran. Your, <coughs> your stealth was like, oh god, I can't do this! Or something. That's all part of the stealth, the deception. All right, Cleric, you're up. All right, uh, I'm going to... You also run into his aura of purity for what that means. Oh yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna run to where Bob was and just uh, and then um, cast. Just FYI, I'm pretty sure his armor class is a 19 now. Yeah. Uh, which means he's pretty hard to hit. Yeah. Yeah. What makes you think 19? Did I did I miss him when I got 15? Uh, yes, you missed it. And then you added four. Nope, I added five from the the shield. Oh, for, oh so it's at least 19 for one round. Mm -hmm. For for yeah. So he's, he's hard to, like, he's, he's hard to... If you, if you missed on a 15, now. it means his armor class he's was at least a 16. At least 16. So his armor class is at least 20. No, could be, could be, oh, count. 16 plus the four. If you, plus five. five oh, plus five. You added five plus so, five, sorry. Yeah. So if you, if, if you missed on a 15, his armor class is at least a 16 to begin with. Yeah. You have been hitting on an 18. So you know that it's 16, 17, or 18. Okay. Then and he then. added five to it for the rest of this round. Yeah. The rest of the round. I guess Guardian of the Faith. Right. All right, Guardian Faith. Woo! Glad I brought him this time. Where are you putting him? Woo -woo. Uh, I, th I guess as far I, I want to stop her getting to there. I imagine the same as like the the same guy, Irios. Same, yeah, the yeah. <laughs> same guy, same guy. So we're um, so about thirty. Where's thirty feet? Uh, um, oh yeah, thirty feet from you. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So you can put him I all could, the way I put to him here. more centered here. Put him like here. Yeah, yeah, right centered here. there. Oh, oh. Just slams hey, down right next to uh, right next to Bodger. Um, <laughs> just as just oh, as Bodger's hammer comes back, shoo, yeah, this pillar of light slams down right Goodness. in front of you, Bodger. Cool. I gotta remember to use what's it as well. He's here. Oh, yeah, what's it's also here. <laughs> oh, hey, what's it? Also, what's it? Uh, that's All my right. turn. Uh, that's your turn. That was uh, your movement, your action. Anything for your bonus action? Uh, just, just I go. Yeah, you've, it's also, a you've also got your aura of purity, which the is Bodger's now including Bodger cool. as well. Hey, yeah, yeah, no, no, no bonus man. action my for me. Man. All right, both of you two together. What are you doing? Who wants to go first? Um, you got anything cool you want to do? I do. Oh, I might get in close. Uh, maybe you, no, no. I want to be near Greg. Run. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep throwing my hammer for now. All right. Uh, yeah. I, ha, although if I want, if I want to not be at disadvantage. Yeah, uh, so you need to be within twenty. I'd or be within twenty or thirty. I can't you remember. You could what get I up to the dragon lady. I reckon you charge dragon lady. Let's take her out. Or just wait. It's, 20, it's either twenty or thirty feet. Um, uh, I think I increased well, the it. Normal range of twenty feet, but normal uh, range of twenty. I think I'm increasing it as so you as you go. So 30? I think it's thirty at the moment. Thirty. So uh, I would like to get close enough to be able to use that. Yep. Uh, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Yeah, you know, you know, close just from where you were. You're close enough to, oh, her. to her. If you want to go for him, um, yeah, you have to be a, another square forward. I was thinking it makes more sense to just do one at a time. Like get them, yeah, if you, them. Who so, are you go for Trenton. Uh, Trenton. So, cool. so you step toward to there. Oh, where were that? You rush forward. Rush past the guardian. Okay, and now, uh, and now um, I can throw that shit. You can. Uh, and I got three goes at that. You, you, you can. Yes. Right. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. if you want to go reckless, now, I get advantage. If you want to go reckless, you get advantage. Oh no! So, so now it's just oh, sorry, you wouldn't get advantage even with reckless because that's only on melee attacks. Okay. Uh, so four plus ten misses. Misses. <laughs> Hits his shield. Okay. Shimmers off. Uh, ten plus ten. Twenty, ten, not tw quite. 20 is unfortunately not enough. Not with his shield currently. 
And 4 damage plus 10. So, 40 so, plus so 10 tw is 24. 24 is enough. So, it, so the first one hit, uh, hits his shield. The second one hits his shield. You, you aim a little better on that last one and throw it two-handed and <laughs> over the top of each other. <laughs> it breaks through the, the magical shield and hits him. Uh, five, six, seven, plus six. Uh, 13. 13. 13 points of damage. His cloak seems to absorb half of that. Oh. He's still doing. Oh, the, says the says the barbarian who's having all damage. <laughs> no, it sucks when they can do things I can do. It's true though. It does suck when they can do things. All right. So as he runs forward and does this, cheating. Thing. I go cheating. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Jeff now starts rising up, and he goes. St well, first he goes. Stone the flame and crows. You guys look like a bunch of evil jokers, and now I've got my mates here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're, go we're gonna bloody take you down. And he oh, starts so him. uncool. <laughs> <laughs> it's the worst. It's the worst. This epic fight I'm with so tentacles. glad it is here. <laughs> you, you guys, you guys are gonna hear the story of Jeff. And he raises up, and his eyes go green. And he raises his hands up, and as he raises his hands up, exploding from him is acid as I do around the corner of the Tropic Sphere. Nice. Um, you just hear a loud groan from the end. <laughs> <laughs> and your stealth breaks. Very good. <laughs> uh, a and stealthy I do, loud groan. I do 10d4 damage. Uh, 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 it doesn't look ten, great. 10d4 will be an average of about 25. 23. Exactly. 23, so just under. There's a, so still pretty, a lot still of very ones good. in there. All so right, there. 23 points of acid damage, and it's a what radius sphere? A uh, 20 foot radius. 20 radius, which is not quite this. Oh no, this is a 20 foot radius. So you're aiming it to get all four of them in, but not Bodger. Uh, yes, correct. And the tentacles oh, too. Um, and so then they all make a they all make a save to see if they take more damage on their next turn. All right. So the four of them so far is going to be a save from Trinton, a save from Dipon. What's your DC again? Nineteen? Uh, sorry, sixteen? Seventeen? Seventeen. Seventeen. Cool. So that's save from those two, a fail from the others, and then the tentacles. The tentacles. Uh, tentacles get a nat 1, a nat 2, and a nat 20. They are rolling s individually. Oh. Um, so that's how much? So, 23 damage. So it's 23 to the ones damage, that and then do you want me to roll it now for what? Their. Uh, no, because they might get rid of it by before yeah, then. The wild surge. Oh, they might get it before. Yeah, so uh, what is it? 5 now. I have 12 onto that. I don't wild surge, and it's now 6. And I disappear. Oh, nice. Uh, We've got, I, I brought a little invisible one for him this time. Hey, Look. Invisible Baradun. Hey. You're giving me so much shit about it. <laughs> <laughs> invisible Baradun is right next to Watson. Perfect. In the blink, in the blink dimension, the ethereal plane. Uh, I believe, and so that was everything you can do. Jeff explodes looking like, like <laughs> he's, still, he's still hovering there and he goes, and take that! Come at me! Can I'm I just quickly say, last turn I moved what's it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He's invisible, so it's weird. Um, all right. Uh, what should have come before you two? I forgot to actually add it to the initiative order. I don't want to spoil things by adding it in the surprise round, but whoosh, the tentacles. Oh. <laughs> the, the, the tentacles then have a turn. Uh, one of the ones uh, lashes out to grab at, um, at Jeff. Is Jeff. And is going to... Let's see if we Jeff. can... Jeff. Fucking did Jeff first. Did you well, it, the D is silent, isn't it? Uh, that is a, a 24 to hit, so whoosh, it goes right through his space. Um, and with that, very clearly, it's an illusion. Oh, you think you can grab me? Not that easy. <laughs> Not that easy, love. <laughs> the second one oh, is going you to... You think I'm an illusion? Well, there's something more going on. The <laughs> second one is going to... Uh, second tentacle is going My to game. use an action to... What if we all... We all just start attacking Jeff. Like we all just <laughs> <laughs> forget about. Work it. together. <laughs> Selmans, I have a deal. We all kind of look at, look at it, look at the Selmans, and like, should we? You guys we... know some weird unorthodox magics. Have you got anything that can make him real, so that we can then murder him and feed him to the lot of look, ice? Can we all just put a pause on this <laughs> yeah. and deal with that? Yeah, and then we'll figure this out. This guy uses an action to <laughs> summon cracks into the walls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, goes down the sides into the pond, and then. <laughs> Oh, tentacle bullshit. bursts out, oh. and then the third tentacle oh. does the same over here. Oh, bullshit! Bullshit! That's bullshit. All right. Okay, okay. here we go. Yeah, we got. Whoa! 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 Oh! 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 Fuck! That's bullshit. Oh! Fuck! Fuck! Fucking! Fuck! Fucking shit! Fuck! 
Ah, ah, fuck. Fucking dad. Fuck, 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 fuck. Dad, fucking damn it, fuck. <laughs> uh, that was its turns. Uh, it is now down to them and they are no longer surprised. One of them sees Bodger, sees this guy, sees the Guardian. What are they going to do? Definitely. And sees Jeff. And, and Jeff, yeah, they, they definitely, yeah. <laughs> definitely know is, is real. Um, takes a bunch of acid damage. Uh, start of her turn, she takes more acid damage, right? Start of her turn. Uh, yes. Uh, so did she? She failed. Uh, she was the one who succeeded. Uh, she was one of the ones who succeeded. Acid oh, so doesn't not take for her. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just the these again. two that take more. More than. On a failed save. Uh, they take damage at the end of their next turn. End of the next turn, gotcha. And no damage, and I've successful save no damage at the end of the next turn, yep. So they, they take the immediate damage, yep. yep. And then again, they take some more damage later. If yes. they failed. Acid oh. burns on them. And then is it, is it only a once repeat, right. or do they She's going to walk up to you, Bodger, like right up into your face as you're, as you're flinging hammers. And then she's going <laughs> to. That's kind aggressive. Of, she's going to get real close and then turn into mist and step past you. 30, over to here. Which is out of the range of my that's that's in range. Everything off. Uh, oh, and that broke. That is technically within oh, ten no, feet of, of your range. Point. So yes, you um you cool. uh, well re broke then. Yeah. Um we've got any of the face. Another one that re broke. Yeah. 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 Damn it. Okay, any creature hostile to to you that moves in the space within ten feet of the guardian for the first time on a turn must succeed a de dexterity saving throw. The all creature right. takes 20 radiant damage on a fell Oh, that's a two. That's not going to do it. So she steps past you all cocky-like. <laughs> and because Randy's body ta technically counts as like a vessel now and not, and not a person, she can just take it with him, take it with her. So she misty steps past you, but unfortunately for her, doesn't quite calculate it right. Lands in the Guardian of Faith. Irios, just like standing there waiting, just immediately feels her and just <laughs> yeah, slams that's into her. Um, for 20 points of radiant 20 damage. Radiant damage. Oh, that's man. not Randy, by the way. That's um, Kalish. Do, do I also so I don't get... know what happened to Randy. <laughs> Well, no, I, it's not Randy. Attacking opportunity Channing, as she goes past me. Uh, no, because she misty steps out of your range. She doesn't. Uh, she doesn't leave your range. Okay, I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, that's okay. I'll, I'll allow it this once. Uh, you're not concentrating or anything at the moment, are you? Do you want, do you want to actually move Is these? Link of concentration. I can't remember. Over a little bit so you can I'm, lean, I'm lean over. Idea. I'm. Yeah, I'm in. A blink's not concentration, but I'm in the ethereal realm. Yeah, just for sake of putting on anything, I need to be. Oh, sorry. Yes, I am. Con I'm con of course, I, I'm concentrating on Jeff. Oh yeah, Jeff. Of course. Concentrating. But you're, you don't need any tokens, any, any rings. You're not well, concentrating on anything, you're not bloody. All right, so. Uh, so that was her um, bonus action movement. Her action is to take the dash action. She's going to move even further. She moves forwards and <laughs> just launches his body yeah, unceremoniously into the water. <laughs> um, and as she does, you see this tentacle come out of the water. Mm -hmm. It does not look like the rest of the tentacles. Mm -hmm. oh. It. Looks like a dark green rubbery sort of te tentacle. I knew it. Uh, Punches I knew up and grabs and then <laughs> starts to bring it back in. So be and careful of the water. And what the frog, he, uh, the, the froggy guy, the, the bullywug told you was that they do the stabby stab, the pointy stab, and then feed the red inside water to the, t the glowy yeah. ring. And then they take the meaty part and, throw, and feed mm. it to the water of eyes. Oh, the water oh, of so eyes that's not there. Oh, f that's what he told oh, you. Yeah. Shit. I assumed, <laughs> I was, I I assumed, I assumed they fed it to the Lord yeah, of Yeah, yeah right. I've got it. a feeling this battle's going to get a bit harder. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting there going like, huh, I wonder if we're going to die. No. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, bro. These guys look very baby. fucking powerful and there's Bar tentacles Bar everywhere. Right, so now the Lord of Eyes joins the initiative at 17, which I think puts him... I think you was. I think you got a... Oh, you guys got 16. Oh, he's just a Bollywood. So no, I think no, he's there. there. <laughs> is an old mate from before? It's just, it's just the same guy, the same guy. Yeah, well. And so we just go, stab. <laughs> <laughs> really good, I'm not really not good nice. screenplay. I just had a skim read. Really. <laughs> I'm on board with you guys. The ending pissed me off, so I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> uh, so she does that on her turn. Then it is uh, Fivella. Fivella is this one here. Jeff goes, hey, love. Wait. It's oh, going oh, to yeah. activate uh, Shadowlands Stride. Mm -mm -mm. And she's going to start moving towards you, uh, Rowan. Bring it! Let's go! <laughs> All right. The billowing Ooh, flames of a dragon blast from her feet. You can kind of see them on the mini there. Whoosh! It's like her, her, her shoes set on fire. Whoosh! Kind of like uh, Hermes' uh, footwear, but with um, fire instead of wings. Uh, she, get, she gets explosive speed, and for the duration, her speed increases by 20 feet. It doesn't, her movement doesn't provoke opportunity attacks. When you move within five feet of a creature or an object that isn't being worn or carried, it takes fire damage. Oh. 
So she whoosh, rushes towards you with explosive, yeah, whoosh, explosive um, speed. Rushes past you whoosh, just to make sure that you take the fire damage from it. But so out of action. Take you see in my the, the person's in my radius. Or oh yeah, oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, shame. Oh shame. Yeah. Oh shame. Uh, six points of damage. I'll just give her an intel check to see if she ding, would ding. notice that. She doesn't. Maybe that's what so she doesn't know that it's happening relatively simultaneously. Just as she disappears. Arias goes yeah, just yeah. twice oh, in yeah. a row. But, but also, am I am I yeah. in your yeah. uh, am I in your range of protection? Another two on no, the deck no. save. So they both get two on the deck saves against the Guardian. I'll come closer to you. The Guardian does yeah, another maybe, 20 maybe points action. of damage to uh, Favela. 20 points, nice. Oh, shit. He's done 40 points of damage. That good is good. On 60, on 60. You've After done he's amazing. dealt 60, he disappears. That's... Um, oh, is that what? I know. Oh, I didn't realize it. Yeah, he's got a limited number of attacks in him. Uh, you I've done enough. So you take six points of fire damage. Yeah, um, passing you. We could use a lot more help. You could have stayed. <laughs> you were here for ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what happened to the fucking eight hours? What, you're tired? But you're gone. You know, I've only got three attacks in me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a nap. You can only do three, att- <laughs> only do three attacks every eight hours. Um, what was I asking you for? No, I just gave you fire damage, that's it. Yep, take it up. Uh, then she is going to attack you, let's see. Oh. She's going to attack you, she brings out a dagger. It's got a curved sort of a, a hilt to it. Let's go, let's go. What's up? Uh, that, yeah, that's going to be a 21 to hit. Okay, You didn't go that's reckless fine. or anything. Yeah, so that's going to hit you. Where's the damage? That's what I always ask. <laughs> it's the damage. It's the damage. Don't forget, Shut savage attacker as well. I'm going to calm emotions in everybody after this. <laughs> Just everybody. Everybody chill. Uh, 15 points of damage. Um, it, is, um, it is yes. piercing damage, so it's halved, rounded up. 8 points of damage. And then I need a constitution saving throw, please. Uh, the constitution. Uh, 11 plus con. Oh, 7. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, oh, I so uh, yeah, cool. <laughs> it seems like something has been like placed, like something is um, endowing the the blade of the stagger. So it was like maybe venom or something, uh, and it is trying to course into your body. You can feel from the wound; it wasn't just the slash; it was something else. Uh, but your body fights it off. You big tough, over over hundred tough. I'll take a moment um, just to go. <laughs> <laughs> just flexed, flex. Yeah, that yeah. was her, and then we finally got uh, the last one, which is uh, Ralwan. Raluan is down here, has seen that Jeff is an illusion from the tentacle, is going to... There's something more going on. <laughs> There's there something is, more there going on. There is nothing more going on. I just, take, I just take a moment also just to kind of try yeah. and keep this al- the, 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 that he's real alive. I yeah. just go... Um, You're doing great, Jeff. You d- uh, what, um, Jeff, watch out for yourself. I, I worry about you. <laughs> Don't, no need to worry. I'm so powerful. I have a thing where okay. magical tentacles pop yeah, okay. through me. Oh, no, Jeff. Are you okay, Jeff? Oh no! Ah, oh, how how are you doing, Jeff? Cause yeah, cause you, you know you're real, so you must have, you must be feeling real pain. Keep going. Just keep going. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jeff. Oh man, I care about you and your feelings. Oh, you've got the ears and the ability. <laughs> and for some reason, I dropped my I Australian accent. A, <laughs> now I'm I'll, I'll have right you make a wisdom saving throw. Eight. All right. Uh, plus zero. Um, the this this one turns to you and shouts, uh, "Hey meathead, auto disarm," um, and casts dis, uh, casts command where she can give you a single uh, word as a command. You failed the save, so you know how to auto disarm, meaning disarm is yourself. Auto disarm a yeah. single word. Drop your word. Auto disarm. Auto is a prefix that you can add to yeah. a word to mean do it now, to yourself. Now, just checking that min- minus rage doesn't count- counteract. Oh oh oh! Uh, I think it might. Because, okay. uh, because... Oh, D&D. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. Ding. This guy! Be well done for a <laughs> Thank moment. Thank you! I'll just look up the spell. <laughs> 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 I'm intelligent, see? He, he tries to kiss himself on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> he impresses us with our smarts and he goes, Yeah, I'm so tough and I'm so smart and tries to kiss his brain and we go, Ah, there it is. There it is. <laughs> D and D God, the best D and D player. I wouldn't say D and D God. I'm pretty much there. I'm pretty much a god. I'm pretty much the best person on the planet. I'm pretty fucking amazing. 
<laughs> so if, it, okay. if I could kiss my own brain, I would. Yeah. 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 If I could kiss my canoe, we can kiss my brain. No, kiss no, my brain. I love you. I love you. I love you. It was fun. Oh man. You ruined it. <laughs> I'll get it one day. <laughs> but look at what happens when we get the chance to play regular. Yeah, look at this. D and D in. Getting it done. Uh, I love that. Like I love that you were doing all of that like self congratulatory well, before I'd actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about whether it was the case or not. But he thought about it. <laughs> he yeah, did think so about I, it, I which, is the, which is the thing to congratulate. Charmed or frightened? You cannot be charmed or frightened. Mm, I yeah. unfortunately those are conditions that this spell doesn't Im inflict. So it's okay. command. So oh, it is right, it's, it's, it's commanding you to take a single action on your next turn. Um, so on your next turn you have to disarm yourself. I just get my hand out. <laughs> Don't know why you did. We like Budger, what the fuck are you doing? Um, and she said yeah, she said disarm rather than like just drop. So you need to be like whew, like throw it away. Oh. Alright, um and it's a, never get it's a what, what, what's she those? holding? Yeah. Uh, this one? <clears throat> Uh, the one that just did that to Bodger. Uh, a small uh, wand of sorts okay. and a dagger by her hip that she hasn't drawn out yet. Uh, by his hip, sorry. Rather one's a dude. Oh, All right, that is the three of them. We're back to the top of the round with Trenton. Trenton now knows where Greg... Was Trenton Bodger, looking at her? Uh, not particularly. Oh. <laughs> Trenton knows where th two of the three of them are. Yeah, I think we die here. Knows, oh, what's it? You can see what's it as well. What's this invisible? Yeah, because there's also What's something it? else right. about to happen. Yeah, it's something, the, a big thing. Yeah. Don't worry, oh, Jeff's here. Jeff! I, I, that does give me comfort. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. Jeff's can I imagine Jeff right now is like uh, Galadriel and Hobbit, like all the green and. Yeah, she's yeah. going, oh, but I am no queen! <laughs> Whatever she <laughs> yes. Yeah. I would become a queen of the dark! <laughs> Whatever it is. <laughs> I'm Jeff! Hey, come over here. Make a wisdom saving throw. Who's uh, that? To me. Trenton. To me. Yep. Now ball. Uh, five. Oh, yeah, ball. Oh, good. Um, good cleric, so he's good wisdom saves. Not that good, I would imagine. Can I, um, what did you say, wisdom? So what, what's wisdom? a nine? Uh, eight. Eight plus eight. Oh, plus, plus eight wisdom. Wait, what? Oh, plus eight. Saving throws. Oh, eight. Yeah, thank you. Uh, Thirteen. 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 Very good save from a five. Not enough, unfortunately. Um, cool. So you feel, as he makes that suggestion to you, yep. you think, yeah, that's, that's a good suggestion. <laughs> so on your next turn, you are compelled to... So I'm just, so to I'm just going to go, whip him down, and you're just going to start going... <laughs> you're going to walk over to them. You're like, yes, yeah, you know what? Yeah. yeah cool. Out of interest of both of those concentration things that he's... Uh, the, he, those are just commanding. He, oh, one just, of them was a command, not oh, concentration. Oh, sorry, he's just different effect. people doing it. He's done, yeah, Trenton's done it to Greg. Um, I don't now, does my... I hate asking this. Does my concentration drop now? No. Oh, it doesn't look okay. good. Um, but Trenton uses his bonus action to then tell uh, tell uh, Favela to make another attack. So she is going to take another strike with the dagger. Turns out. As a bonus action. Yeah, he's, he's can... the leader of the oh, Sons okay. and therefore he can command them as it's a I'll feature I'll I gave I'll him. I'll allow it. Thank you, I appreciate your good. generosity. Just as one is for yeah. flavor, we'll allow we'll it allow this it. once. <coughs> Uh, so that's going to be 15 points of uh, piercing damage. You're raging, so half round up. Uh, that's eight points of piercing damage. Uh, by the way, real quick question. I I've done both thunder and acid damage now. Yep. Have I noticed if either of them are doing more or less damage? Uh, both of them seem to do as much damage as you, as you would have expected. Great. Uh, that was the damage from the bonus section from him. He's going to use his movement. Does he use his movement? Um, you run towards him trying to throw things at him so I think he's just going to take a position of power like right here with his back to Jeff Fucking bad decision bro <laughs> Suck off You're fucked, you're fucked, you're up. fucked up Jeff, Jeff, fucking Now I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to stay for this fight away from people yeah. as much so yeah. that your splash damage doesn't get me as much <laughs> Good call. What are you doing? Me? Yep um, Okay Greg you're next Yeah. I want to I want to check whether I can do something basically. Yes. I can can I instruct using my awakened mind to uh, get what's it to help me on this turn? Uh, yes. Yep, you can take the he can give the help action Great. which gives you advantage on something. Great. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come out of here to like there and I'm going to sick what's it on this woman's legs nice, or something yeah. and I'm going to mm -hmm. use Eldritch Blast to try and knock her into the water. Awesome. Good idea. So she, he starts there and yeah. she's like, what the hell is this? And she's looking yeah. down at her feet, <laughs> distracted from you. You're going to try and go. <laughs> Eldritch Blast. <laughs> repelling, repelling Blast, right? Yeah. Why does everything keep falling off? It's because um, it's a lady. You're knocking it. 
That's probably what it is. <laughs> uh, I mean, if I had to take an educated guess. <laughs> it's a combination of gravity and force. And physics and shit, physics you know. Physics and shit. Maths. Yeah, maths. Make an attack roll. 16. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, and then my Eldritch Blight. It's been a while. You have... So we had a big debate about this recently because it was like we were trying to Plus put five. you into D&D Beyond and we were trying to decide which two invocations you took because in our chats in the past we've talked about... Um, uh, Devil Sight, I think it's called, where you can see through magical darkness, which you definitely have because we've seen you use that when you cast darkness on yourself. Yeah. We also definitely mentioned Repelling, bla repelling Blast, which is anytime you hit with an Eldritch Blast, yeah. you can push them five feet. But I don't think we've u seen you use it before. No, I, I definitely have he used, has used it. used it. I'm you have used sure. it? Used and then there was before. another one that you've used as well that was something else. Some yeah, see, I don't... Rec like... <clears throat> Yeah, I don't remember what happened because I because I've definitely never had a card or ability for Devil's Sight. So the times that you've been casting darkness, you've just been blinding yourself. <laughs> well, I feel like maybe you were just being nice because I was failing so many rolls. You were like, maybe. okay, you've got dark vision and you've give, your warlock, extra eldritch, your warlock eldritch old eldritch. eldritch thing allows you to see right. through that. Darkness so we will now retcon and say you don't have eldritch sight anymore. So you, so when you're in darkness, you can't see through magical darkness. You still have dark vision as an elf. Or was it something to do with damage. the darkness spell? The person who cast the darkness nope. spell can see through it? Nope. Oh, well, you just Whatever. don't have that thing anymore. Whatever. So <laughs> you have Repelling Blast is what we're going to say. And so if you hit with Eldritch Blast, you're going to cause damage. That's definitely going to hit. Uh, actually, modifier on top of that. Uh, 16 plus 5, I think. Yeah, so 21, 21. So even if she shields, not. Nah. Uh, so she's not going to... She sees... She, oh, and you had advantage. Oh, and there's, and there's two beams as well. And you took what's it to give you advantage? And you didn't yeah. roll the advantage, did you? Fourteen, so, so sixteen. So sixteen still. So that one, that first one's going to hit. Uh, you redirect in the second blast at her as well. They kind of both leave your hands at once. I mean, double blast. So you have to, yeah, double side blast the to try and yeah. <laughs> make sure. So rolling, I try rolling again. Uh, you, this one doesn't have advantage. It's just the next attack that hits. Seven. Yeah. Seven plus your modifier 12. is 12. not going to be enough to hit her armor class. So the first one does though. Whack. Roll the damage for it to D10. And she gets pushed five feet. Into the wall. Um, she gets oh, to make a dexterity saving throw as a that's reaction. That's what I was hoping. Yeah. Uh, where the fuck is that? A D to that's a yeah, Ooh, okay. All that's a down. good good dexterity saving throw. Oh, no, no, so she she makes a dexterity saving throw. So she kind of like gets pushed and like manages to grab onto this uh, sort of step onto the the slippery rock rocks. Bullshit! Instead. Bullshit! 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 How much damage? I uh, actually I six and then sorry, hang on a sec. So it's just is it just six? It's just a straight. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Unless you take unless you take other eldritch invocations to add damage to it. Yeah, right. There. It's a very it, eldritch blast for a warlock is a very highly customizable thing. Uh, yeah. As a base stat, does ten points of damage and it's pretty good. Uh, D ten, and then you can like add things that can push them or pull them or slow them or. Like um, I I, I want to quickly because I never use damage. my reaction to bend luck and oh, okay. see if I can make her fall in. Excellent. All right. So you reduce her uh, dexterity saving throw by a D four, right? Yep. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Uh, that takes it down to a 15 uh, plus a dexterity modifier of two, so 17. So unfortunately, she, whoop, whoop, she slips on the uh, slips on the rocks a little bit. She's not all the way into trying the to trip her. What's, what's it? Untie the laces and tie them together. Yeah. <laughs> sure, with all within a few seconds. She um, doesn't use lace. She's Velcro. She's a Velcro girl. She oh, is yeah. with that with that <laughs> attack though. With that um, attack alone, she is considered oh, bloodied. Oh, we've written. I, yeah. I wonder if I use. Yeah. Can do. Yeah. Yeah, f it. I, I cash in my hero point All right. and get she her in falls the drink. In the, she fall, she's bloody. Yeah, I want to see. It's good information to know what to she can have in there. Yeah. Because yeah. I might use that information. Yeah. Um, yeah, because she wasn't expected to take 20 points of radiant damage that she couldn't have. So, good um, use. Good use. Yeah, so she is. she's considered bloodied. She's less than half health. And she's in the water. And she's now. <laughs> we were seeing. Yeah. What's that? What's going to happen? We all just are we going to huh? immediate gonna happen when we're going to see when it comes to a lot of eyes turn, isn't it? Huh? Uh, but it's first cleric, huh? cleric Greg's turn. Uh, oh, okay, so uh, you are compelled do I to move run and hide. Him? Oh yeah, that's your stuff, right? You that was your action. Uh, was it a bonus action to command? What's it, or does he? Is it just free thing? I don't know. Well, because like I was going to, right? yeah, I I did, that's what I was asking is basically. Yeah, because I. Because um, I can talk to him. I think he has his own. I think he has his own turn, and you can command him for free. I think. Yeah. Not sure. We'll go with we that. We haven't put him in there. We'll go with that. Um, so he, he just goes on your turn, and you can command him for free. He does one action. So Great. he did his action to help. Um, then you've got your movement. You've got a little bit more movement and uh, hide action if you want, or a yeah. bonus action. Um, yeah. Do I have enough movement to get back to the, the door and hide? Uh, Five, 10, 15. You've got about ten left, so you can go. 
five, ten. Yeah, I'll say so. Why not? Why not? Making a hide roll. Um, Greg, you're up. Ten to twenty-two. Twenty-two. Right. You are hidden. Um, Greg, you yeah, are compelled so what, what to move towards do? him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, yeah. So what's um? So you use mo your movement. Can I do other things while I'm walking, or am I just like zombie walking? Uh, you are compelled to to to, com to complete the action he gave you, which was get over here. So until you get five feet from him, you are compelled to do that. So as your action, you're going to take the dash action. This is going really good do, for me. You can do something that's a free action, pre-object interact. You could do a bonus action still. But like you could try until and leave you get the range now. Maybe the, bonus action kill them all. So, so, kill them all. Yeah, not, yeah, yeah. Has the command been completed now? Uh, no, he's still at the bottom of the stairs, so he's still not within his melee range. So I can't, could I, uh, I can't do the spirit guardians thing. You can do a bonus you, you, action if everything's you, a bonus you, action. What you really want to do is get this command done so yeah. that it doesn't keep lasting to, into your next turn. If you've got a bo yeah, if, if you've got a bonus action, you can do that. Um, um, otherwise, so how do I find all my bonus actions here? Sorry. Like, um, under the actions tab, Oops. and then there's a little bonus action. Um, okay, I, if I'm being pulled towards in, I can only do a bonus action. I cast Spiritual Weapon. Oh, nice. I think for you then, you are, um, you're, what's the word? You're, you're, you're justifying it to yourself. You're rationalizing it. Mm -hmm. As you walk forward, you, you find yourself wanting to walk forwards, yeah. but you don't know why, but you're also not aware of the fact you don't know why. Yeah. You're just kind of walking towards, and so you, th you kind of rationalize it and go, oh, I must, be, I must be trying to attack or something, and so yeah. you cast Spiritual Weapon. Yeah. What does your weapon look like? I've got a whole bunch of options. We've got Ooh. Spiritual Ooh. Hammers and Spiritual Bows and Spiritual... Like, they're all mechanically the same. They all just attack somebody uh, next I feel to like them. a hammer is a cool, like... Hex. I think hammer. Can you make it hammer? a uh, the war hammer? Can you make it an X, please, so it doesn't get confusing with my, <laughs> my hammer? I, or we make it a hammer to specifically confuse it. I, yeah, I want it to actually be quite quite a little bit cooler than yours, so you get a little jealous every time. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm kind of lame from my throw up. I'm like, man, it doesn't look as cool as that other one that's putting around. <laughs> oh, I also like that one. The mace. And there's a Maybe I'm a mace man. flaming yeah, sword. You. You know, it's, 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 it is strange how uh, in fantasy stuff that maces are often like holy holy weapons, holy weapons? for some reason. Yeah, yeah. It's a thing, isn't it? Yeah. Do you want to go mace? I'm going to go mace. Mace, all right. Uh, and where this do you want time. to conjure it? Uh, well, I guess it around be, my uh, person, right? Yeah, like, somewhere, somewhere like next to Trenton. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's go there. Cool, so you conjure a mace. So the uh, the guardian just like throws you a, <laughs> throw, throws a mace out yeah. here. And he lands, lands here and then just kind of hovers next to Trenton. Uh, and part of the attack, uh, part of the casting the spell is you can also make an attack with it. Uh, well, I, I do that. Out of interest, does it have HP? Uh, no, it can't okay. be can't be targeted directly. Uh, so it's. But uh, if I did an area of effect, something something. Won't won't, okay. won't be damaged. Can I? Um, what's the difference between? Oh, it doesn't seem to have difference. It doesn't do anything better the more levels I got, so I'll just do level two. It does. It does more damage. Oh, it's just not updating. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I attack. All right, make an attack roll. Um, sorry, D20? Yep, yep. Uh, 17. 17 plus your modifier will be enough. Trenton's had his turn, so the shield's run out. Uh, so, yeah, cool. that'll hit. Cool. Uh, roll your damage for it. Yes, uh, just D8. D8 plus 4. D8 plus 4. Oh, God. Uh, this one. No, oh, that's D10. D8, this one. Two plus six. All right, yeah. six points of force, force damage, radiant damage, something like that, isn't it? Um, da, 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 da. Hopefully, radiant damage. So these guys seem. Oh, they can't stop. Force damage. On the head, take four, takes force damage, recruits. All right, he is not looking wounded yet. <coughs> it hits him from the side. Uh, none of it is absorbed by his cloak. He can't absorb force damage, it seems. Yeah. Um, but he's interested. He's smiling that, like, oh, well done. Clever, clever move. Uh, then it is the uh, Lord of Eyes' turn. The Lord oh, of Eyes. Oh no, here we go. As but the, that's good because we've got as the, yeah, yeah, as the tentacle the comes up and grabs uh, Randy's old body, <coughs> it, she slaps, sl sloshes down into the water and you see <laughs> another tentacle wrap around her. <gasps> and Wait, then, her. Yeah, yeah, and then oh. eye, eyeballs start to erupt from right around here. Mm -hmm. um, on a stalk, there's like three eyes. <laughs> All blink, blink, blinking around, and then followed by the top of a rubberish, greeny uh, skinned head, until emerging from the water is a frog hemoth. Oh, oh geez. frog hemoth! Oh my god! The Lord of Eyes, the one that the um, the, the bullywog in the previous room worships. And because you were friendly to the bullywog in the previous room and didn't just murder him, frog hemoths can be friendly to you. Oh. Yeah, boy. That was part, part, 
the mechanics, I was like, I'm going to put a Bullywug in there, and because they've been attacked by Bullywugs previously, there's a chance they just run in and kill it. I was very <laughs> surprised we didn't. And if you'd have run in and kill it, this guy's now fighting against you as well. But you ran in and traded with him, yeah. and so there's like a points-based system, essentially. The better you are to it, the better it is to you. Oh. Hey! We Unfortunately for you, they have also been feeding him routinely. So he's also kind of friend, like there's there's yeah, a points based. He's kind of a basically. neutral party. He's a neutral party that's kind of just like he'll eat whatever's coming because a body's just splashed down in the water. He thinks it's another one of the sacrifices, and he's Can just going to grab her and eat her. Get in his head and be like. Yeah. So yeah, as probably. he joins the party. Can I animal handling? Probably. Yeah. Here we go. Wallagool, wallagool, wallagool. Uh, the Froghemoth, Lord of the Eyes, is going to take an attack at the uh, at the lady that just fell into the water with a tentacle attack. Actually, it's going to do the tentacle attack. She must yeah, have disadvantage, right? What's Drown that? She must have disadvantage, drowning. She's, she's definitely drowning. He's, he, it's she's his to attack. Even. It's his to attack rather than theirs to defend. Um, uh, um, yep, definitely hits. And then he's going to do quite a lot of damage with the tentacle wrapped around her. Uh, it's 20... 20 points of damage, and she's grappled. 20 points of damage, she's not dead yet, but she's now grappled underwater and drowning, which is not a good place to be, from experience. No, um, I fought a couple of these in my time as well. <laughs> <laughs> He's then going to take his multi-attack to bring her to his mouth and try and eat her with a bite attack. Oh yeah. She's not Go. doing no, great. She's she's probably probably she's, she was acting so smug, and then she got like radiant hitch, and then <laughs> yeah. little little Watson on the fin tripped up and fell. Oh yeah, she's having a bad, bad day. Where's my D10s? There they are. Oh, that's that's no, that's not good for her. That is 26 points of piercing damage, and if she's a medium creature or smaller, she's swallowed. So. Later. So she is a bitch, immediate. Bitch, bitch. So she is. So Dipon <laughs> is killed and eaten. <laughs> Into the gullet with uh, along with Randy. Oof, with Randy as well. No! He shouts out. Um, in reaction, he realizes what's happened. The yes! <laughs> <laughs> and All right. Stuff. Yeah. Uh, that is the frog hemoths. Let's see, he's going to bite, and one of his two attacks, he can do two more. Does he see anybody as food or a threat? These guys have been good to him. You guys have been good to him. He leaves it as is. Once All right. It's just the, uh, then it is Dave's turn. <laughs> Dave is going to make Dave. some attacks now. <laughs> it is Dave! Yay! Dave the tentacle monster. Dave is going to attack with this tentacle at Bodger, this tentacle at Greg, mm -hmm. and these three tentacles at Greg. Oh, Actually, okay. he's just going to go these two at Bodger, these three at Greg. G unit! Alright! <laughs> See how many tentacles, tentacles they use to try and take me? Bodger! I'm really surprised they're not going for uh, Jeff. Yeah, man. <laughs> he did once. Oh, he went true, through him and went. Oh. No. And should have gone, hmm, something more at play here, I better try again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's what, what Dark Lords do, the dumbasses. Exactly. Stupid dumbasses, they, they don't have automatic detecting magic abilities yeah, exactly. or anything like that. Of course they don't. All right, so the attacks are going to be against Bodger. That's going to be a 14 to hit and a 29 to hit. Um, uh, I believe both of those hit from before. Uh, I've got armor class 14. Uh, yeah, hits, meets it, beats it. Oh, so meets it, beats it. I'm going to hit you with beats one attack. Beats it, meets it. Stop beating the meat, please. Don't tell me, that's Bodger beating his meat. Okay. Um, not a heck of a lot. Yet. All right. So you are grappled, Bodger, and you take 11, another 50, that's 16 points of poison damage. Which isn't, isn't hard because it's poison. <coughs> <coughs> the first one hits you, and these like venomous sacks on the tendrils start to <coughs> pierce themselves. Our health into your... is starting to get down a little um, bit. Um, you Ooh. also take from the, heel, from the heel. heel. I would from the but I can't. Uh, from the tentacle smacking into you. You take a further points of two bludgeoning, which is half so one point of oh, bludgeoning. Easy peasy. And then Limit you squeezing. can feel that it's like grappled a hold of you and is not moving. The Ooh. second attack, uh, the second tentacle also reached out and grabbed you. So just to visual reminder that these oh. two are actually both grabbing. Oh, they're both going for them um, now? Yeah. I guess. Uh, so you're going to oh. take that poison Shoot. damage again, which is going to be, I'm rolling well on this, 10 and another 5, so 15 points of poison. Man, poison. Oh, I, wait, wait, I've, I have the whole... Um, oh yeah, am I getting oh, yeah. special what benefits? Your... So, oh yeah, sure. Uh, my you are within be, it. Uh, so aura, so aura you, you have advantage on saving throws against uh, poison. Oh. This is not a saving throw, unfortunately. Does uh. it say anything about resistance to poison damage? 
Purifier, energy, da, 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 each non hostile creature you've been disused. Uh, has resistance to poison damage. Excellent. Yep. So and the poison damage that I gave you before, which I think was 16, yep. was halved to uh, to 8. The yeah. damage that was coming in again, which was 15, also halved I might, to 8. I might just not so include just, this one. Yeah. Just, oh, leave, no. just leave that, this one as is. So you're welcome, but also uh, come and save me. Two of Dave's tentacles have grabbed you from either side of the thing, like one wrapped around this arm, one wrapped around that arm, and they're going to try and pull you apart. Um, these three are going to go for you, Greg. Ah, f <laughs> oh, so good luck concentrating on your aura of purity. It's a good thing for me, for you, that I did it yeah. this way around. Yeah, yeah, cool. <laughs> uh, that is going to definitely hit with no. a twenty-something. Reroll. That is going to be even higher. Reroll. And that is going to be all, that's going to be over thirty. Reroll. I'll just get you to reroll those things. Here, here a point. You can force me to reroll. Yeah, but uh, against, no. good. But against Dave. The, he's got a very high modifier. Even if you re-roll, he's likely to hit. Yeah, no, I'm not so, oh, he oh, rolled a, I think, of four or, or a five. Dark Lord. Uh, uh, exactly. So what am I rolling? Uh, so you get hit with all three tentacles. That's why he told you to come here. Okay, he wants cool. you in range yeah, of those cool. tentacles from the portal. Uh, by, uh, by the way, I wouldn't... Sorry, you continue. Uh, Imagine I, if we I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't then... worry about attacking tentacles. Probably the portal will close once we kill one of these guys. Yeah, imagine if we had mm. waited and they'd finished the ritual and the tentacles might have gone away. Imagine that. That'd have been crazy. That'd have been That'd crazy. That'd have been crazy good. Mm. And then as it happens, they portal away and we weren't able to do anything. Well, maybe. That's a good point. Or maybe we talk to them and find something for We should have. No. Nah. <laughs> At least what would have been good would, would have been a discussion about it. <laughs> like, uh, like, so can mutually come up with a, you know, like a... Well, all four of us were out there. <laughs> you take... Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah you but take, we're a perfect place for a conversation. You take 36 points of poison damage, halved because of your aura of purity. So 18. Uh, to 18. Actually, yep. just have the first one. I shouldn't have added them together. So, t uh, so you take eight points and then make a constitu constitution saving throw. Okay, so I take eight points of damage. Uh, actually make it 11 because it also has bludgeoning damage on the attack. Cool. 11. So 11 points of damage. You may need to make a concentration check. 20. 20. Yeah, Sweet. 20. So okay. then you take the next, which was. Uh, shit, what did I roll? I'll just roll it again. Um, oh. oh no, I remember it. It was a 3, a 2, a 2, and a 1. So that was 8 uh, and the bludgeoning. 8 and 5 is 13. So take out another 13 damage. Yeah. And make another concentration check as the second uh, tentacle hits you. Uh, 5, not as good. Uh, this time the concentration drops on Aura of Purity. So Aura of Purity is gone. Is, oh. yeah. So it's just gone, gone? Now it's okay. gone because okay. you've dropped concentration. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's, it's difficult to concentrate with three massive tentacles. We'll try. I... Oh, ow. What? Hey, where's the killing Aura of Purity? Oh. Wow. Hey, Greg. Huh? Hello. What? Can I have some ha some help, please? Yeah! Can be I right, be right there! Order 35 coming up! The, hello? Huh? Uh, now? Can I can you do can you be useful, please? Yeah, useful! Mm. Yeah, can I have the the healing thing? The, the healing the order thing. Of whatever it is. Uh, 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 I don't know. Nah. Stop being useless, Greg. Ooh. Hello, hello, Greg! Hello, Greg! What? Greg! What? Greg! What? Greg! What? Greg! Greg! Um, sorry, uh, yeah, yeah, never mind. And then, uh, ooh, this one's better. 10, 18, uh, but I give you too much damage just on that one before it should have been halved, so I'll take this off of this one. I'm just going to trust anything you uh, say. Yeah, I was about to take, say, I think. Uh, you take I 14, 14 points of poison sure. damage and another 6, so 20 points now. Well, this, ooh, is, uh, this cool. is not going good for me, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm on. <laughs> Three tentacles yeah. whip out and grab a hold yep, of you. You are fighting a dark lord. Yeah. 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 Cool. All right. Uh, it's a good thing the frog hemat's on your side. I was like, if the, if they fuck up that bullywog, <laughs> thinking like, oh, we just killed a thing. It's gonna be tough. <laughs> it's gonna be, tough. <laughs> it's gonna be a tough. possible tough. TPK. Tough. All right. Um, that tough. is all of the bullywog, uh, the frog hemat, and Dave's turns. And Jeff. Goes. You are no longer concentrating. No, Greg! Oh no, mate, oh, I love you! I don't oh, want you to get even, hurt! Even in this moment, I'm just oh, like, no, shut Greg. up! <laughs> oh, shut Greg. up! No! I'm gonna get it, I'm like, I, I take, even though I'm dying, I'm like, shut up! And then a wry smile comes across his face and he goes, <laughs> you guys thought that you thought that I was an illusion. Oh. I am the powerful Jeffrey! Oh. I am one of the most powerful beings in the land! And he rises up and his Australian laugh starts going, <laughs> <laughs> and he rises up over to here 
turns into a... Nobody's button. watching him. <laughs> like everybody's like, <laughs> 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 everybody's got their own Jeff. Everybody's Jeff's like, Mer! And then Jeff <laughs> morphs into a red dragon that goes oh, boom down. Nice. Now that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, this now is this Spirit, spirit yeah? And he loses uh, the Australian yeah. accent, and, right? Don't hit No, it's a red, no, red, red, dragon. red dragon has an Australian accent. Is it? <laughs> damn it. God damn it. Because <laughs> it is Jeff. So he continues to talk as Jeff. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Oh, well, man. I hate the red dragon now. Um, I hate Jeff so much. <laughs> what well, can I brought? I don't, this, don't think I brought this my red dragon, oh, dragon, dragon? Good dude. What is that? That's my coin that I... Yeah, yeah, he can um, and he. Oh, oh, Jeff, that is the most useless looking dragon I've ever seen. Classic. He Jeff is uh, considered large. Yep, though. that is a large category. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Two by two. Oh, there you go. All it's right. It's not massive, right? Or uh, yeah, it, large, thing. huge. Uh, um, and then he starts. Just real. Then he starts. He starts going at. So he's close enough. I know there's a tentacle in the way, but he's close enough to attack these. He is. Oh, is it, he's no longer an illusion. No, he's, oh, a, he's okay. a real right. dragon now. He drops oh, no, the, okay. I drop yeah. my Jeff. concentration drops the major on Jeff to put a dragon uh, okay. summon Is this that dragon spirit. spell you did the other yeah. Jeff so, is suddenly my um, only chance, and I, 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 he's, he's, <laughs> yeah, he's gone up a notch in my books. No, no, he, does, he does yeah. rend <laughs> twice on the smaller guy. All right. Um, which is 1d6 plus 4 plus the spell's level. So plus nine. One oh. D six plus nine. Oh, you blinked back into the ethereal plane in order for this to work, right? Yeah, so I haven't. I it. haven't blinked. To, this this, this tentacle, by here. the way, is in the radius of the thing of my gutty. It is. So I guess he should. It is take. indeed. Well done. Well, well remembered. Yeah, well remembered. Uh, <laughs> and he actually fails, I think. Let me check the Dave's stats. This is a bit last on the guardian attacks too. Right? Yeah. If he, and, and then once he does some uh, damage, yeah, he actually fails the save. <laughs> Takes twenty points of damage to the tentacle, which is. Not quite. The tentacle is looking bloodied. If that helps. Um, it's bloody not tentacles. Uh, and oh, it's radiant. Is it radiant or force? Radiant. It is radiant. Uh, let me double check. Um, but I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure he said it's twenty radiant damage. Twenty. Oh yeah, guardian. Yeah, it is. It is radiant. I remember. Yeah, twenty radiant damage. Uh, which yeah. means that this actually disappears because it, it's vulnerable to radiant damage because it's You're a welcome. shadowed Save shadow me. creature. <laughs> <laughs> from the, from the, literally from the shadow plane, and radiant damage is light damage, so it does do yeah. double damage. Well, that's the, so as um, Erios sees it, and Erios being a god that was literally designed to battle creatures like Dave, he just takes a takes a big strike at this tentacle as it comes in to hit you. Heck yeah. Um, um, well, that was the last of his damage as well, unfortunately. So I guess uh, he's going to see gone biggers. And he's like, no, he's, he's, like, like whoosh, yeah. he's like, I think you guys have got it from here. <laughs> <laughs> we would really, yep. bro. You're specific. Uh, you were designed like you for are. This. They're weak to you, man. Like, I'm like, yeah. Thank you. Ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Hey. Thank you, Guardian of Faith. Very useful, I must say. I gotta say, with that. Where'd you go? Ah, oh, ah, oh, shit. Um, <laughs> happy days. Okay, so I'm doing two <coughs> rend attacks at the smaller dude. Two the first small. one is uh, 18 to hit. Uh, 18 will hit, so we will shield, so it will miss. Okay, first one misses. Uh, the and the next one is in the way more. 16 plus 9. <laughs> that hits, Shoot. and uh, yeah, that uh, even goes through his armor class. Okay, so I go shield, and then a big one d six plus nine, through. six plus nine, 15 damage Ooh, from we, the rend. 15, and it's a uh, force damage. What type of damage is it? Piercing. Piercing. So he can shift that half of that with his um, with his cloak. Okay. Um, and then he uses his breath weapon, which is a thirty foot cone, which is going to get. Oh, nice. Yes. The three three tentacles as well. Three tentacles and both uh, of them. Dexterities of what? Uh, what dexterity kind of? against my against. It doesn't say against. Oh, my not twenty for Trenton. Damn. Seventeen though. Uh, uh, dexterity. Yeah. Yep. Uh, the other two, ah, oh, sorry, the uh, Ralloan will fail. I forgot I was rolling for the tentacles for the other guy. And it's half, they still takes half on a successful save. Uh, the, this furthest tentacle fails, the other two succeed. Okay, um, but they still take half damage. Cool. Yep. Um, and that damage is 2d6. Uh, fire damage, because I'm doing uh, fire. But f just 2d6? I thought it was more than that. Whatever. Um, four and three, so seven damage. Seven points of fire, yes? Of fire, I chose fire. Fire damage, damn it. It's this one that's, that's resistant to fire damage. 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do not. Um, so Rotherant is now looking uh, bloodied, looking at half health. Uh, we've got four points to Trinton, who's is not it? looking bloodied yet. This guy. Yeah, that guy. Yep. Yeah. And, and, then the, and then seven points shit, to each eight. of the tentacles. What am I up to? Seven, I think. No. Ooh. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, What's six. Okay, so it's it's it was trigger was seven. 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 And seven. you rolled an eight. I rolled an eight. Okay, so now the trigger's an eight. Now the trigger's an eight. Because it was like five when we came in here, then you cast Jeff. Je uh, Jeff was part of the five. Um, yeah, Jeff made it five. He's counting the uh, amount of spell slots that he's cast. This is Wild Surge. Yeah, yeah trying to so see if he wild surges. Getting close. I just um, really want you to wild To search. remind you as well, he's ten inches, uh, five inches taller than he, <laughs> than he was oh, before. Yeah. Uh, and that and will just last. I stay disappeared. Well, okay, I cool. And he blinks back, back into the ethereal plane. Excellent. So they know that you're blinking now. They've Further seen that food. happen. They see you as a dangerous threat. They are spellcasters that, um, that are high level themselves, nobles. So they know what spell you've cast. So they know it's concentration. So they're probably going to try and stop that because this is a dangerous guy. All right, cool. Uh, that is the... Oh, I'm just going to write uh, down uh, the tentacles I am, quick. I am going to quicken three. and message into... Uh, what do you call them? The frolly walk. <laughs> the frolly frog, walk. Frog, frog, frog hemoth. hemoth. Frog hemoth. Um, I'm going to message into his head. Knock off the quicken sorcery points. Um, and uh, I'm going to say to him... Does this count as a spell? No. Cantrip. Uh, it's a cantrip, yeah. Um, uh, f what to say to him? Uh, Can you just? Uh, it'd be quite a simple thing. So it could just be like eat uh, the purple tentacles <laughs> or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, um, those tentacles. Whatever, you. whatever it is you're trying to say. As soon as you try to message into the head, uh, you do the message and you do the the, the, the uh, sorcery points. Mm -hmm. You try and connect to the language center of his brain. Doesn't seem like this. Is, it seems like he's mo much more bestial okay. than. Well, then, never mind. Mind. Okay. He's, he's not a, a. Although the bullywugs worship them, they they're not actually. They're just like they would no. just as easily eat a bullywug. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, else. right, yeah. So I'll use those and then useless. Alrighty, uh, that is the end of Baradun's turn. So Bodger, you're up. Uh, you are still raging. Still, you're going to be exhausted raging. after this. I've put that on there to remind me. Hey. Uh, what are you my, doing? No, my you are and restrained. I've got, so first thing first, I've just got to ungrapple. You don't what? have to. So you are you have the restrained condition. I could put which a thing like, on that. I'm that. assuming disadvantage. Which means, yeah, you can still attack, but you're at disadvantage. Imagine something wrapped uh, yeah, around your upper torso when you're doing I'm, this. I'm having none of that. I don't want that. All right. So I would like just to say you no. need to get I rid just, of the so, so I, 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 I can look at the tentacle and I just go, no, stop. <laughs> Tentacles always have to obey no. consent. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No. I say no. I do not consent to being entangled in your tentacle. You cannot legally entangle me without my consent. So I say no. I do not consent. I do, <laughs> do not consent to being touched in this way, tentacle. Um, uh, you can attack the tentacle to try and reduce its hit points to I think, zero I and think, get I think rid I'll of it. Guess I'll do that. Or you can just try and like pull it off. But it'll, uh, I've learned the lesson before that that just means it goes back on you. I yeah, mean, it yeah. Would, uh, if it's still yeah, existent, yeah. it'll well, attack I remember a doing that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yes, yes I remember the this. Blue Wugs, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it comes back around. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Attack it. Cool. You uh, are attacking is, is, is it. Is slashing damage better against the tentacle, or is it blood? blood uh, it actually is. Yes. Well, I've, I've well, got a real well. big moral dilemma here. And I <laughs> I'm really impressed that he's actually doing things. I've uh, uh, yes, got a big old moral dilemma here, and I don't know. Oh, what, actually, I probably uh, shouldn't say this. Yeah, no, you've this. got. I mean, I've just remembered it as well. I, he needs I to put his weapon, weapon down. down. Oh, you yeah. do have to. You do have to uh, disarm yourself. Yeah. Uh, so I go. I go. But that actually works with the slashing damage because you have to disarm yourself once you've done it. You've command. You've obeyed the command. Oh, so, so, so if I disarm myself by going, so disarming, putting the hammer down? Oh, to disarm. I'm disarmed? Yep. That the, suppose, did the that command take, did has that take finished? an action? No. It? Oh, it's just oh. you throw the, the hammer great. away from yourself and put it to the ground over here. <laughs> um, and and I've, I'm pretty sure I've still got an axe. Do I? Put this here to, yes. Do you have that The old axe? Yeah. Just an old axe. I think you've probably got You've got a hand axe for sure. I know that much. The cursed axe you definitely don't have. That was getting rid of. You've just got your normal axe that you had before the cursed axe. Yeah, it's just like a normal battle axe. Sure, we'll say that. Or is it? You still use the D10. It's just a, sorry, a plus 10 to hit. Uh, and then it's a d10 if you're using two hands. So you throw your weapon aside, just you're meant to. So there's your warhammer just there oh, yeah, for when you need it. It's it's there. There. Thank you for that. Now I've got that available to me. <laughs> now I've got my hammer. Oh, oh. You. You, you do the thing and you, you mm. find yourself throwing it and then once you throw it, you're like, what the fuck was that? You could now Captain America it back to you um, as part of the attack. Or you, but you can also think, oh, actually, Axel probably be like um, that. 
I'm gonna. Like we're doing. I, I'm gonna. I, I'm gonna X this mother. X it a question. Uh, make your attacks then. So the uh, same business with um, raging. Uh, you're, you're restrained, so you have disadvantage. Uh, if you want to cancel out that disadvantage, right. you can go reckless. I don't want to take more. I'm gonna be that. So we're four plus ten. Four plus ten, fourteen on the tentacle. Unfortunately, is not enough to hit the it. Like it's a rubbery. It's literally a demon goddess. So you're not. <laughs> you're not, not going to hit it with a fourteen. So you first attack misses. You got two more attacks. <coughs> Five plus ten plus ten. <laughs> oh, still not enough. Yes. Oh man, you're hitting Come on, Bodger! Yeah. Bodge. Yeah. I'm at disadvantage. Bodge! Uh, uh, 17. Hey! All right. 27. It's about time. <laughs> it's a demon lord. Uh, no, 27 does hit. <laughs> you cause damage and you're getting your raging. Uh, it's not exactly like this, but it's pretty much the same. You are in melee, you are raging. Uh, you're using two hands. 1d10 plus 9. 1d10 plus 9. Get the axe out. <laughs> Eight. Oh, nice. My man. So, 19 to the tentacle. This particular tentacle uh, hasn't taken damage. It is bloodied-ish. It's almost bloodied. Cool. Uh, that, that is your attack. That, 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 it hasn't let you go, but you know, you, you, you're you cutting away at it. So on your next turn, maybe it'll... Maybe it'll I can't. Okay, that's all my attacks. That's cool. Me. Uh, which means it is the God, second one down. Dupont's <laughs> gone. It is Fivella. Like Fivella is the one with the flaming, uh, flaming step here. She is going to, with her sh her stride, run past you so that you can take fire damage from her flaming heels. <clears throat> You're going to take five points of fire damage. All right, five. Then she's going to come around the other side and strike you with her dagger. I'm now on 76 health, which yeah, is the same low amount as me. You will, um, you, you see her as she runs around you. She uses a bonus action to sheath the dagger back into her little sheath at the side and bring it back out and stab you again. So she's replenished. Replenishing the poison. She's replenished the poison mm. thing, which is why she didn't get it on the attack of opportunity, that, uh, the attack that he forced her to do. She okay. can do it once per, well, once it's successfully hit, then she gets okay. her bonus action before oh, it can do I, I, it again. Uh, you didn't reckless, so she doesn't get advantage. That's still a 17 on the dice plus stuff that'll hit. So that is gonna be uh, four and four plus three is 11 points of piercing, half so rounded up to six. So uh, and then I need that constant constitution uh, saving throw again as whatever she's just replenished on her dagger is going to try and infect you again. Wow. Oh, or is, is that nat one? It's a nat one. Nat one, you can, uh, hero, you can hero point to success P if plus. you want, otherwise you've got a plus eight takes uh, you to... I, I, so I, I if you think nine is going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. Uh, if you want but, to just be like, but yeah, I'm also, how, what, 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 what are the effects of this poison? You don't just, know yet. just straight damage. She's put something on her dagger that is going to try and infect you. It might just be poison damage. I will take one, not that, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, You're coming right up. Just for reroll, um, or is no, it? No, no, just you. It's a hero point, so you heroically just like <clears throat> she stabs it at you, and your body just. I just. <laughs> just yeah, tank it off. Just flicks your abs so hard it snaps the blade. <laughs> She's so um, almost impressed. Yeah. She's not succumbing to it, she says. Uh, that is her attack, her movement. She can move now if she wants. Oh, and she doesn't take her tax of opportunity while she's in this state. So she's going to, might as well. She rushes into and out of Greg's space. Are you leaving my uh, range of... She does, but she doesn't take her tax of opportunity while she's oh, got the flaming feed on. Okay, right. So she runs into and out of Greg's space just to give uh, oh. just to give you the extra fire damage. That's you take three bullshit. points of fire damage. Oh, son of, son of a bitch. All right, that's her turn. Uh, then it is the last guy that's alive, which is Raluan. Raluan is here. Uh, does he have to touch you for that spell? Let's have a look. He might be about to inflict some wounds on you, Greg. I no. No, you don't. Just you don't. No. You don't. I say no. Also. <laughs> I also say no. Mm. Um, <laughs> There's got to be some sort of like actual a spell that. Could be uh, flavored to be just saying. Just saying. No. No. Can, can yeah. Consent. Yeah, can can yeah, can just, just called just saying. No. Sorry, no. Sorry, no. Uh, it is a range of touch, so he has to come down towards you. Unfortunately, he has to like sort of push, either push round, climb up onto the altar. He doesn't want to do that. So he pushes past the the dragon instead. Range yeah. reaction. Uh, he's going to stay within the the melee range of the yeah. dragon. He's going to be here. And you're taking me and not the dragon. Uh, yeah, because he knows the dragon is a. Uh, oh, is it only if you leave be... the range? Or yeah. There is a, a feat you can take that, like, you can take an attack opportunity as the end to your range, oh. and it stacks really well with the... There's another feat that allows you to, if you do damage as an attack of opportunity, it reduces their speed to zero. And then if you take that with a pole arm, a 10-foot reach, once they enter your 10-foot range, you stab them for a free a free attack, and if you hit them, they can't move any closer, and then they can't <laughs> do their turn to it, and they're like, 
No, yeah. That's, that <laughs> and I'm stabbed. And then on your turn, you take a step back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then they're like, they move towards you and you're like, nah. <laughs> and you take a step back. What's really good is an evil option for a dungeon master. I stole this straight from, I think, Matt Colville. Um, to just have like a like a Roman line of like a, a V-shaped line of people who all have those feet yeah. and they all stand Ooh. back to side to side like this and you come charging at them and they all just take an attack and huh. then take a step back. It's like the oh, Roman. Wow. Is, it, is there actually yeah. Roman would there be a way for some sort of Roman thing? Basic basic magic, bang! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> at that, at that <laughs> point you just go fireball. Apart, apart <laughs> from from magic, would there be a way hypothetically for Bodger to just get through that? Uh, throw your hammer. If they throw, up yeah, throw a hammer. Yeah, yeah. Or, yeah, or if they miss you. Yeah, if they miss yeah, you with their yeah. opportunity attack, then you can move in. That anyway, is super annoying. That is fun. So he's not doing that though. He's moving into into the dragon's melee range. Staying in the melee range. He's going to attack Greg. Does okay. he go for the dragon? I don't. Even if he maxes the damage, I don't think he's taking out a dragon. Whereas he thinks he might be able to take out Greg. How much right. do you have? Oh. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a. I'll yeah, give it a chance. Wow. See which is he got. You're yep. saying even if I max out, I'm might not take out the dragon that's a lot <laughs> all right uh that is See you, greg greg's going Speed down <laughs> i went Easy. i went odds and evens and he is going for you and i wasted a nat 20 on that evens check um he still needs to make a melee attack against you i'm just sitting out in the door going i could run away <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're still I, don't I don't know these guys that well. oh god oh god tentacles cultists Shit, this is so dangerous. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Wait. I could just leave. I mean, I don't know these guys that well. Oh, that's tempting. Oh, that's tempting. No, no, I'll stay. I'll help. Oh, I was like, this is kind of a shit dice. Where, where did I get this one? It's the one that I made. Oh. <laughs> it's, the, it's the only dice I've ever made. I uh, made it as a thing of. Hey, that's good. We made it. That's good. Uh, and self proclaimed as then, being shit. Yeah. I was, like, <laughs> the, I was like, the paint job on this one's really shit. Oh, I did it. <laughs> that's why. I, like, I haven't actually thought about that. Two, like, half of our team are actually just, just hanging back. Just hanging yep. Yeah, yeah, cool. For now. <clears throat> they, they're aware. Um, Greg. Yeah. Uh, what's your armor class? It's not oh, yeah. twenty something, so why am I asking? Yeah. Are you going to take this 17. damage? He, it's a it's a touch thing. He, he conjures something in his hand and then just touches, reaches out to grab you. Mm -hmm. I say, and I say no. As he as he grabs Rob you goes, oh, without no. consent, no. he's a, he's a bad guy, right? I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm indicating that he's a bad he's guy because he's touching you without your consent. Touches. That is seventeen plus another four is twenty one. Twenty one points of necrotic damage as he saps some of your life from you with a spell called inflict wounds. From the place he touches you. Like anything does that. <laughs> <laughs> a sword. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sword that's got the I same spell. I cast inflict wounds. <laughs> you just stabbed me. Didn't <laughs> From the places he touches you, the, these like blackened veins Ooh. start to oh. pop out to like come to the surface and then cool. um, start to inflict wounds all over your body. All right, dope. Um, how are you looking? Are you wounded? Are you less than half health? Uh, I am. Anybody else less than half health yet? Nope. Uh, I did not take in any damage. No, I'm not quite less than half healthy. All right. Well, uh, I have taken not a single point of damage. Yet. Oh. All right. Oh, oh don't do that. That is their, that is their turn. Uh, back to Trenton. Trenton is back going to, to look there. at you, Greg. He's going to take a couple of steps forward, mm -hmm. um, which technically means you're now within five feet um, of him. Mm -hmm. um, Can I make you doing anything during this, or is it just? Uh, it it just it's, all, it's a bonus action on your right. turn okay. to make it strike. Okay. Um, He's within five feet of you, which uh, fulfills your come here requirement of this suggestion. Okay. So okay, the suggestion cool. so spell ends, so you're a free agent. Leave. I turn and leave. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, on your turn. <laughs> as you walk away. <clears throat> uh, which is why he stepped within five feet. If you mm -hmm. do try and leave, you can now take an attack yeah. opportunity as a reaction. Yeah. Um, but he will, uh, he will trace this sort of rune in the air in front of him, and this blackened kind of uh, anti-space in front of him just kind of hovers there, and he just holds it for a second. Mm -hmm. uh, that is his turn as a bonus action. He's then going to give a command to one of the others to attack again. He's going to tell it to, uh, what's her name, Fivella. Fivella is going to take an attack with her dagger at you. She hasn't been able to uh, replenish the venom on it though. So just that is just gonna anyway. be a regular hit. Ooh, one, a one and one and a two on the d6s. That's four plus three is seven points of uh, damage halved, rounded up to four. All right, so that is his bonus action, his now movement, his action. You can put a red on me now. You're now half, look at that, perfect. You are now exhausted, raging, and bloodied. Should I? 
that is Trinton's turn. Uh, Bob, you're up. Bob. What's up? Save. Save me. I run away. <laughs> I'm like, off down the hall. This yeah. isn't working. <laughs> I, haven't, I didn't know these guys okay. for that long. Okay. All right, and now cool. it's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Um, Comedy retreat? Firewise. Comedy retreat. Okay. You, have to, right. you have to say it. <laughs> right, I enter the fray. Aha. Uh -huh. His held action with the thing that he just cast in front of him. I don't, I don't actually too late. <laughs> Bam! He was exactly waiting for this because he's like, these two are f***ing us up and they're not doing anything. So he was, I'm he, took the, he well, took the, yeah, these two are f***ing us up oh. and they're not taking any damage. They're, not, they're, they're annoying. So on Trinton's turn, when I said he did this thing and nothing seemed to happen from it, it's because he took the ready action mm. to cast a spell and then hold it for the next time that he saw either of you appear. Ah, so then you pop your head Can out. I just pop my armor of Agathas on first? Pop, nope, because <laughs> you said I pop into the thing. <laughs> That's the thing that triggers his reaction, which was held for when he sees one of you. He casts Finger of Death at you at seventh level. That sounds bad. Seventh it level? It is a seventh level necromancy spell. Um, I need oh, you to make, me then. I need you to make a constitution <laughs> saving throw. Oh, you've got a plus one. zero, you've got plus zero constitution. <laughs> 15? That's not bad. 15 is good. It's not good enough for his um, his uh, DC, unfortunately. So you're oh. going to take 7d8 plus 30 necrotic <gasps> damage. Plus oh, 30? You're dead! Do you have your, do you have your little token? Do yeah, I've got all my tokens. No, I don't have my thing, but I've got do the, these. Do the net 20. Um, yeah, I wonder you don't have that... a hero token? But he's got a, your, this your... gives you an automatic nat 20 on an attack. On yeah, an yeah, attack. Or, a, attack. or, a, or a, an attack or an I ability check. I don't even know if 20 would save me on this. <clears throat> All right. But you could use it to get just back to, up. I just need to quickly find all of my <laughs> D8. Do you want to make a roll on... Bruh. Do you want to... Bruh! Need to, just, Bruh. Just, I love just it. You show up for heart. You're like, okay, I'll, I'll now I'll show up. Yeah, I was like, they're all yeah. distracted. My plan was to come and put two, armor back on, equip a blade, seven, ready myself. Four, four, four. I'll just I'll just use one of your D8s. Don't you fucking <laughs> do it. <laughs> do it. <laughs> Don't you dare. How much, how much, <laughs> <use my laughs> how much, how much health do you have? I've got 66. Plus your... Plus oh, 30 if you've got 68. It's 30 plus whatever this is. And as long as I don't roll 36 on 78. Ooh. 78 what's, is what's a the maximum average? of 56. What's the average of it? The average of 78 uh, before I roll them is going to be... Uh, 7 times 4, 20. 3 times 9 is... Uh, 3 times 9 is 27 and another 3.5, so 31-ish. So I'm probably going to go down. I'm probably going to go... If I roll well. I got this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that is a 7 and a 3, that's 10. That's, a, that's another 9 and a 1, so that's another 10, that's 20. And that's a 4, a 5 and a 4 for a 9, 13, so that is tw 33 plus 3. Uh, plus 30 is 63. Oh, you go down. So it's 63 of what? 66? Yeah. Which means, Ooh, which means your aid kept him alive. Your aid and all your temporary hit points. Oh, yeah. Between the two of you. Yeah. Was that Whoa. No, no, because that, no, that, that, that was, was 68 because I have two temporary hit points left. Okay, okay. cool. Well, you take that much in damage in, uh, in, in necrotic damage. The fun thing is, oh, no. this spell, thankfully for you, uh, doesn't take you to zero hit points because the spell flavor text says <laughs> a creature dropped to zero hit points with this spell is immediately killed and rises on the next turn as a zombie under your control. <laughs> so he would have not only killed you, he would have ha then turned you against your party as a zombie. Oh my Jokes god. Jokes on him, I'm actually shit. <laughs> <laughs> so it would, have, it would have backfired. He would have so, accidentally stabbed him. So he holds this, he wow. steps right up to your range and he, he holds this thing in here and then <laughs> lets it loose at you. So what do you do now? You what do you do? I fucking run away. For that much damage. <laughs> yeah. I stick it? my head out, get hit with a finger of death and go, oh, fuck. You take... Oh. All right. Bob's decided to join the fray. Bring it on, you dirty cultists. Oh, dark magic. Oh, necrotic. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, I'm nearly dead. Oh, fuck it. Deal with them yourselves. I'm gonna go cower in the corner. <laughs> you take more than half your hit points in uh, a single turn, which uh, in my games triggers a massive damage potential. So you need to make a constitution saving throw against taking a further effect. Because your system might go into shock from taking all that much damage at once. 13. Plus your constitution saving throw? Zero. Zero is a fail. Oh. So, and I need a d10 from you. Oh, fuck. I'm so sorry. <laughs> you you want to roll high on this one. 
There was no ten amongst us. <laughs> there was a one. There was a one. No, 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 no. no. Is no. this, unless a one's good, that could be the amount of damage no, no, you're taking. No, no, it's, one is very much not good. Seven. Seven. Okay, seven's not too bad. Uh, it means that you cannot take reactions or attack, and you have disadvantage on any ability checks until the end of your next turn. So just do just leave. I think so you should just I, leave. I, I your I system left. goes into shock from taking that much necrotic damage at once. Jesus. <laughs> Good until one day. So what is three HP cocky for like, like three rounds, you hadn't taken any damage, and then he readied what something for the range? next person he he's, saw, he's just quite, he's and it just happened range. to be you oh, rather so than he, Adam. He walked right up to me, yeah. Oh, okay, so he um, is there. Yeah, he is there. Bruh. Then, you can, then you're like, oh, I can't take attacks or action, uh, reactions. Oh, what do you want to do just on your turn? Every time. <laughs> every time. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Because like, you happen to be right after him in the initiative order as well. If Adam had been, then Adam would have blinked back into existence and he would have got it instead. Mm. Wow. wow. By the way, I meant to move on my last turn to there. With your blink? With my movement. Oh, with your movement? Yeah. yeah. Cool. We'll put you there then. Good lord. Okay, so I stick my head around the corner and get blasted with that. <laughs> Do I have any movement or anything left? Uh, yeah, now? that was just five feet of movement. Okay, You've still got the rest of your... Oh, fuck! Oh, God! What's your health now? Five. <laughs> <laughs> Bob! <laughs> From 68. Bob! That's why it's a seventh Bob. level spell, and thankfully yeah, he doesn't finger, have more When than you that. said finger of death, I was like, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> <laughs> seventh level, I was like, but clarify for me, seventh level spell doesn't mean that the character level is the seventh. He's not it means that seven. he would be the equivalent of at least a level 13 character. For example, I only have fifth level spells, and I'm okay. 10. So it's not really Rule of thumb, it's half level. your. Uh, for full casters, oh, okay. it's half your level. Yeah, right. I run to hide behind here and just go, <laughs> <laughs> You've got a few potions, right? Knock back yeah, up yeah, a couple I potions. I do actually. Um, yes. <coughs> but I can't attack until after my next turn, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. For this turn, I and cast reactions or attack, um, and has disadvantage until the end. Okay. End of I cast use... armor of Agathus on myself, just to give myself some temporary hit perfect, points. Perfect. What does it look like? What does it do? It's um, nanobats. <laughs> nanobats fly down. Three, three PNG bats just go. <laughs> three PNG bats. <laughs> yeah, I like that better. And then oh, so a sound effect goes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. Armor of Agathis, engage. Yeah. Yeah, nanobats! Super intricate! Ultimate armor time! Yeah! <laughs> Does it look cool? Huh? Does it look cool? It looks pretty cool, right? I hope they made it look cool. All the nanobats, thousands of them, millions, billions of nanobats, all swarming around me to form an amazing armor. <laughs> Give me this. And we all, we all go like, oh, this. this sucks. I fucking need this, bro. After all of those cool nano backs, you hide to the hide action. I so you didn't know where you are. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Hide is a bonus. 17 <laughs> plus 12. Cool. Uh, cast your armor of Agathis and add yourself the, uh, yes. what level is it? Two, level 2 you're casting as? Uh, yeah. Yeah, so you get 10 temporary hit points. Uh, where am I going? Uh, um, and your stealth trick then was, sorry? A oh, how do I how do I make this do it at second level? Do you know? Um, work it out. Great. Um, it, <laughs> it's on the under second level. You can just cast it second level. Like oh yes, gotcha, level. gotcha, gotcha, cool. gotcha, gotcha. That is everything you can do. It was your movement, your action, your bonus. That's all done with Bob Cleric. You're up, Greg. Don't all know right. It didn't, it didn't, so it didn't Bob. add my. <coughs> it might not. It might not do it. Here's my here's thing. my sitch. Here's my sitch. I'm low HP. Mm -hmm. I can't heal myself if I try and leave. I get, what are you on at the moment? Uh, oh, 31. Um, I I know for a fact if I leave the range, I'm dead. Uh, I can't heal myself enough to protect myself uh, from two more attacks from those guys. So I'm just gonna um, do as much as I can, which is the best thing I think I can do is, is summon Guardian of the Faith again because we just want um, oh, yeah. want him up there. Nice, nice, nice. nice. Who's, who's, was useful. Bring and him back. He's like, I'm on. <laughs> yeah, I'm off. I'm on a break. I'm like, I'm what, do you, what do you want? Come back. Didn't I help you already? Uh, come back. <laughs> Where do you want? And um, land him. Just can I land right on top of one of them? Right, right on top of uh, Trenton. Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> Slams right down here, right next to <laughs> the um, the altar. Right on top. Just crushes him. <laughs> and he's dead. Crushes Trenton's him dead and now. he's dead. 
Um, no, unfortunately not. You can target an uh, unoccupied space, but for flavor, you slam him down right behind. He's not going to take actual I want to be in, in range of both He's these definitely guys. within range, yeah. Oh, both of them? Oh, both of them, yeah. yeah. So he sticks a little close to that, and he's also within range of most of the uh, tentacles, too. Okay. Uh, can, can he attack on the same turn? Uh, the Guardian of Faith? Yeah. Guardian of Faith attacks as, a, as just as a free thing when, when a hostile creature moves to a space within 10 feet of him. But even, oh, if they start within his space, will they? If they start within his space and don't move, then he doesn't attack. If they oh. move out of his, if like because he's within five feet of both of them now, unless they misty step, something crazy like that, then they would have to move to a, uh, a space within ten feet in order to get out. So even if they try and run away, he can strike. Okay, if they, they try to leave, he will attack. As long as they move. As long as they move and don't something okay. like misty step. But if they just stood there, the guardian's just like, look, yep. hey. <laughs> okay. You better not move. You don't you move. <laughs> if they no, move no. to attack me, or if they like, can they? If they, if or they do they use, need physically like? If they move into a space okay. within ten feet of. So well, that doesn't work not, as well as I thought. Not best to put them in the. Uh, if the then, if the tentacles let go of you and attack the dragon, that is them moving to attack the dragon. They, he will attack the tentacles. Okay. I mean, I still feel like it's my best bit right now. He's pretty. He's, he's pretty got protective. that mace there as well. Yeah, I'm this gonna do that for the bonus action. Yeah. By the way, does the Guardian Faith have hit points? Uh, no. I'm just thinking it's about nope. what the dragon's not going to hit him. Nope. Cool. He stays there until he's dealt uh, 60 damage or until a tower is up. Cool. Whichever comes first. Uh, well, okay, I'm going to bonus tech with my mace then. And I think I'm going to go uh, down next turn, but hopefully oh, my guy does some good shit. Um, yeah, mace attack. Excellent. Um, so I have to roll for the attack. Um, 11. Uh, sorry, plus uh, 11 plus your modifier. What's your spell attack modifier? Um, God. <sighs> What's he going to do? Where's that? <laughs> spell <laughs> attack modifier. What's he going to do? Um, spell spells. attack modifier is top of your spells list. So Can spells you know, page. Start spells healing yourself top. or something? Well, I, I just couldn't heal myself enough to this guy. The amount of damage that guy can do at level 13, he'd just, he'd just undo it. Yeah. Uh, so plus four. Yeah. Plus four? For 15. Uh, 15 onto that guy, unfortunately, is not enough. So the, yep. uh, the, the, the mace takes a swing at the back of Trenton's head, uh, back of his head, but he, he moves out of the way. Yep. That is your bonus action, your action. Well, you've got move. Oh, you can't move because you're move. restrained by the, the, um, the tentacles. I'm not uh, restrained by tentacles. I'm, sorry? Just, I'm not restrained by tentacles. You are, the three of you them. Are, yeah. You got hit by all three tentacles and they grabbed you. Oh. Yeah. You took, uh, oh, you took a shit ton of That's why you're on 30 hit points, because all of the Dave's, yeah. ten, Dave's oh, tentacles wrapped around. I didn't realize I was restrained. Okay, cool. Um, <clears throat> the okay. Frog Hemoth's turn. Frog cool. Hemoth's on your side. Doesn't like, the, like you <laughs> doesn't, doesn't know what's just happened to you, but you look in a bad way. Yeah. Uh, who's Frog close? Hemoth, you're our only hope. 35. Uh, da, 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 da. Can he hit that guy from here? I think he can. Let me check. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, yeah, easy. He is going to, he's going to sort of up to the the, um, the side there, and you can see the rest of his body starts to come up now, and he's pretty enormous. He's a big boy. He's considered big size boy. category huge, as an example. Uh, the tongue is going to <laughs> try and whip out at um, at Fivella. I thought they were friendly with him. Uh, they, he's kind of a little bit of both, but because of the amount of stuff, like if you hadn't given him the displacer scarf, he wouldn't be inclined right. to help you out as much as he is. So he's a little, as I said a little before, it's more, kind of a point based system. A little system. bit more on our side yeah. of it. They, they've been giving him meat to eat. They haven't been giving him magic items. Magic items are worth more than yeah, yeah, bodies. Right. So he's more on your side than theirs. Sure. Sure. Uh, Thanks, dude. That is going to be a Ghost just stuff. just enough to hit. Um, so it's going to strike him with this turn. Um, he's going to take some. Oh, he doesn't take damage from it, but he then uh, can make a strength saving throw to try and get off of the tongue. Otherwise, he gets pulled closer. <laughs> so the tongue goes off and reels him in. <laughs> reels her in, sorry. And then Wake he's going to make, the make a bite attack. If, if it, he's leaving. If you're forced to move into, uh, if you're forced to move, it's not attack of opportunity. Oh, okay. It's only if you voluntarily move. Good, good uh, way around that is to use a spell called Dissonant Whispers, which forces them to want to move as their reaction. They use their, their reaction to move, and then they voluntarily move in space. Right, cool. <clears throat> Anything that gets inside of their head and forces them to move like a puppet, then yeah. that still works. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, he's going to make an attack. Why am I rolling this many? Uh, this one. Uh, that is going to hit, and he's going to cause a bite damage on the geezer. That's going to be 3d10 plus 6 bite damage. 
It's a good thing you weren't fighting the frog heap. Man. <laughs> I was like, how am I gonna really drive home to them that they should be nice to this bo this bully? I was very surprised that we <laughs> just ran in there and started talking to the bully. Mm. I was like, oh, we're talking to it. I assumed I that we're I, just gonna attack it. I, 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 I was, I was so, actually always to try and yeah, break yeah, suss the same, situation. Just because we're so friendly with even here, I wanted such suss the situation. Yeah. Well, even, I guess I wasn't surprised that we were talking about. It. Like, I guess I was. I was surprised we didn't like case the joint a bit. We just kind of walked in. We're like, all right, mate. You all right? <laughs> What's up? Uh, what do you want? As, as this one is brought out of your melee range and bitten, you can see that they are um, wounded, but then they whoop, they sucked inside. Oh, oh, gone. Bye bye. Oh, is he? Swallow. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Goodbye. 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 Like, the froggy frog frog has dealt with two. Yeah. Two of them. Oh, shit. Um, Thanks, buddy. Cool. That sure. is the frog hemoths. I still got tentacle attacks. All right. Now it comes down to he's got no bad guys in range, so now he is going to have to make a check to see if he goes for either of you. And the check is based on how how much you gave him magic item wise, and how much you've if you've given him anything extra during this fight and stuff. Uh, is he, on, is, it's is pretty good. Can we give hidden to him? There's a pr does no. give does. Uh. Pushing the bed into the water count as giving him the <laughs> It might, yes. The, I gave the, him a pretty the, high level the chance, meal. The chance that he goes for either of you is very low. Uh, 15. That isn't probably some yeah. high level spell shit on her as well. Yeah. Right. He's still good. He's not interested in either of you God. yet, so he's going to use his move. <laughs> he's going to use his move. It's You're about to see Bob get swallowed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's going to use movement five two. I'm intimidated by that fellow. <laughs> He's gonna ooh tentacle war against the tentacles. Oh, I like it. I just saw his tongue. That might be fun. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I think that's all the frog humans can do. Now it's Dave's turn. All right, Dave. <laughs> Dave. Dave. So Dave. Dave is going to. Uh, now he can't pull you apart. So I think he's just going to <laughs> use the slam that's ability. Good. He can't get pulled apart. That's good. Yeah, that's good. It is good. Okay, he's going to use the slam ability. He's going to pick you up in the air no. and then slam you back down again on the stonework here. <laughs> Rowan said no. <coughs> but just says no. No. <laughs> All right. Please, uh, no. This is Please. because it's Dave. It's there's no save against it. You are already restrained, so he just manages to strike you. Thankfully for you, it's bludgeoning damage. Uh, that is going to be plus five. That is sixteen halved, rounded up eight. Eight points of damage to you as it slams you down. Oh. And these tentacles are all attached to Greg still. Do they just do the slam attack on you? One of them is going to let go of you and go to the, um, the the dragon, who's also now a threat, which means he moves within your guardian of um, guardian of faith's range. Mm -hmm. Don't go, guardian, do the thing. Uh, the tentacle. What's your DC? Sixteen. My DC. Said before, right? um, do, 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 do. Tentacles are rolling pretty crap on their uh, dex saves and stuff. DC. Is that right? I think it's a 16. I'm going to go with that. Well, it's going to, going to fail. His spell DC. Uh, no, his, his spell DC. It's 16. 16, 16. thank you. There's difficulty class on your spell. The same DC is 16. There we go. What does DC stand for? Difficulty class. The, the number that I have to roll in order to oh, okay. succeed against the save. He fails it by one. Um, so the tentacle takes 20 points of radiant damage. And as we saw before... He's gone. It's gone. It's vulnerable to radiant attack. damage. It lets go of you to attack the... Um, we go. And it disintegrates the entire world. <laughs> we are down to two tentacles from the uh, the portal. So because the first one the couldn't, two of them around. Yeah, I guess. first one couldn't attack the dragon, so another one's going to let go of you and attack the dragon, which means it's going to also move within <laughs> the guardian's range. Did it not learn? This time he's going to succeed on the save. Does it do any damage on a save? Uh, I think ten. It just, Apparently does half. I think. It does half. Cool. Recruitly. Which doubles. So now that tentacle is still around but wounded. This one is now going to strike out at the dragon. Uh, ugh, garbage. Uh, oh, is it's that, Dave's attack though, so it's a plus. Is that still moving into the dragon's range? Yep. Just so he gets his uh, attack of opportunity? You don't get an attack of opportunity when you move into a range, as oh, we okay. were talking, oh, we're talking about before, okay. it's when you move away. Um, so it uh, attacks the dragon with a 21 to hit. I believe it hits yep. at this level you cast it yeah, at. Yeah. Uh, it's going to strike you. Uh, the dragon is going to take a bunch of. Is he immune, immune or resistant to poison? Um, one dog, then then fire. And the fire one. Oh, oh wait. Still, oh. No, he's still resistant. But to he'll still be resistant to a bunch of things, considering that's the one I chose. Um, so Probably resistant to tentacles. Res though, resistant, <laughs> resistant to tentacle tentacles damage. He's resistant to acid, cold, fire, lightning, and poison. Perfect. So he's going to only take half damage from the poison, which is going to round up to seven. So seven points of poison damage and one point of bludgeoning. 
and the tentacle is now wrapped around the dragon, so the dragon is restrained. The tentacle that is on you is going to take the slam action. It's going to lift you up in the air and slam you back down. Uh, um, on Bodger? No, on... Oh, on me. You, you already did the one on you. Gregothy? On Gregothy. Gotta go back. I just heard to reiterate, so... so Gregoriange. The, uh, <laughs> Rob, the, the creature takes 20 radiant damage on a failed save, or half as much damage on a successful one. So that's yep. 10 before... Yeah, great. Yep, thank you. Before he vulnerable it. Uh, so, Greg, you are going to take 13 points of bludgeoning damage. I'm not doing well, guys. But in order to do the slam attack, he has to move you out of your space and then back into your space, which means he's moving within the Guardian of Faith's Whoa. range. Yeah. Got, got him do the thing. Shit, man. They can't. That, that was a nat two on the thing, even with his Dave like um, <laughs> dexterity, which is very high. He still can't I hit mean, 16. Dave. Is that, Dave. Dave. Everybody knows Dave is super god. dexterous. <laughs> well, opposite of god. Um, an anti god. He, uh, a dog. <laughs> yeah, he's a literal dog. Uh, fails, so he takes 20 points of damage, and the one that. So uh, I, moves, I get flung out of it? Like, yeah, in the air, fly, I get, yeah, I go he, flying. He moves you out of the range. Irios takes a big strike, of, uh, an attack at him as he moves you out of the range, and you just go. That's dope. Can we, like, flying and where do I end up? Poof, flying into the mouth of and the Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What I'm no, going I, I to land do back here, here, I think. Well, <laughs> I'm about to find out where you land, because oh. I've got a cool ass dice here that is a. Uh, directional dice. Ooh. Goodness! Uh, what are you? Uh, so that is north, towards me is south. You are flung in a westward direction. So you end up this direction, and then I'm going to roll a d6 to see how many spaces in that direction oh, yeah. you go. Uh, can I uh, land, land on, on the, the dragon. dragon? You could land, land on yeah. the dragon. And he like catches you and you yeah. run. Yeah. Two. two spaces from where you are in the westward direction goes one, two. So you land down right next to the dragon, right here. And you sl can, you, can you slide onto the dragon? Dragon to the dragon? Can Do I, a dexterity check a, to see if you slide. As a, as a reaction, you can take a, a, um, a dexterity check to see if you see if you land on your feet. Or yeah. if you can can I use dragon. Can, or can I use the dragon's reaction to him. We'll see how he goes. Hero first. moment. <laughs> <laughs> if you want, it. it'll just automatically okay. succeed if you if you we're, do it. We're nearing the end of the session. You can roll roll, roll a dexterity check first because you might get a nat twenty and okay. need, not need your heroes check. Uh, Twelve plus. Uh, Twelve plus whatever it is isn't going to be enough to. You're going to land prone and take a lot of damage that you took. So here hero moment. Point. I land on the dragon. Hero <laughs> on his back. On his back. And it goes it, 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 in like a dragony throaty, but Australian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, okay. Dragony throaty Australian, yeah, mate. Yeah. He goes, nice to have you, Greg. And I kind of go. I kind of go. <laughs> What, like nah, it's, nah, like it's I'm taking, kind of like, you're really nah, taking like the sting little, out of this. Nah, this is, I, I kind of like going, that's a badass moment. Look around to get, you know, a praise and then but hear the voice. I'm like, ah, and I kind of just stay quiet. I don't, I don't want to draw attention to this moment as much anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Oh, Jeff. That was awesome, Jeff. You know what? I actually think that we could be friends after this now. Oh, Greg, you landed on me back. Oh, that bloody bonza, mate. Oh, it's lovely to have you here, Greg. Oh, no, you ruined it. You, oh. you ruined it. Oh, Greg, this is gonna be the beginning of a beautiful friendship between us. Oh, I can feel it. Oh, I'm so sad to be here almost oh, immediately. Greg, I love having you on me back. What? what? I can feel a little sack on, on, my, on my backbone. Don't make this oh, that's weird. Lovely. Oh, it's wonderful, Greg. You, what, it's love, lovely? Greg and Jeff at it again. Greg and Jeff. Hey, Greg and Jeff. Hey. But thanks, thanks for the catch. I get the dragon a little, a little, the dragon a little pat. Just a reminder that he's got hold of the dragon. All right. So you, uh, you're doing actually pretty well at destroying Dave's tentacles, Dave's earthly avatar of his tentacles. Here's, here's a question. So my, um, my guardian has done <laughs> 50 damage. True. Yep. So it can do one more attack. Can because it can do a max of 60. Does that mean it can only do 10 attack in the next? 10 What's the wording attacks? of the spell? Does it say once it has dealt 60 damage or something like that? Uh, or does it say 60 or more? Look that up. I yep. will move on in the meantime. Cool. Uh, Baradun and Bodger simultaneously. What are you doing? Who what are you doing? To go first? I've got You're prone on the ground, I'm, restrained I'm, I'm by a thing. You've done some amount of damage to I've this thing. I've got a plan that might get you unrestrained. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I go first. Um, I'm going to start with. You blink back into the, th the real yep. plane. Yep. My plan that I was going to do of blinking on there is useless because he's out of the way now, so I'll just, <laughs> I'll just blink back there. The Guardian um, vanishes when it has dealt 60 damage, so I can only do 10 more. 60 damage. I'd say I, I, w I would say I'd say that you do them. I'd say that you do the amount of damage that it's meant to do, and then once you've done sixty or more damage, it'll sixty go. or more. So you could oh, hypothetically oh. do twenty damage next time. I'd, I'd say, yeah. yeah, and then it's like I've done my damage amount. Yeah, yeah. I actually gave you more this time. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Now, stop really quickly, yeah. could I use an item and quicken into a spell? Uh, if that item is a spell scroll. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The quickening, the, the, the effect of quickening is you spend the spell, the sorcery points and you make an action spell into a bonus action spell. Okay, brilliant. 
Um, well, so use, I... So uh, the casting a spell scroll is, is use an item. I flick off fireball okay. and... As a quicken? As a quicken. Sweet. Try to get... Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, sorry, as a quicken. And try to get as much as I can there. Cool, you'll get the dragon as well. And Greg, and Greg. Greg's on the dragon. Greg's on, 31 uh, Can I, I knock can it that way and just try to, like... Where's the circle? Center you are from where from where you are. Frog Hemoth right in the way of aiming. So oh, it's I, make it I, well then I'll I will pop into yep, where I was saying. Just swap yourself out just so you don't forget in case you don't blink again at the end. So you you those looking you see Baradun pop into existence. I was really hoping someone would use that. I was like, my plan was put a little thing it, in the middle. My plan was fun. to use it just to get behind the frog, but uh, it's gone now. Um, you pop into existence over here. Oh, uh, you you can see now. You can aim it in a way that the fireball will come in and. Can I have your monopoly dices? Yeah, 8 you can, 6 you I just want to roll right this here. one. What if you just launch the fireball can through the monopoly portal? Dice, monopoly dice, monopoly yeah, dice, monopoly and dice. Can I get two more, Rob? Two more. Oh, well, I've got heaps. Oh, f uh, you've given me too many <laughs> now. <laughs> just keep putting them on. One, just two, roll three. Have these uh, ones. <laughs> <laughs> uh, got okay. a coin. It is a coin? Uh, 10, 11, uh, 15, you, did 20. Did you just roll that? No, I had knocked it previously. Yeah. Suspicious. I've no roll it from three to four. Take one damage off of you. You're like, okay, there was six and a six <laughs> and a six and a six and a six. <laughs> now, now I'm crazy. Six. What are the odds? Oh my god, these are hard Th to read. Those dice they're... suck. Oh, yeah, they're, yeah. They're so horrific. One, two, three, four, <laughs> they've five, got six. Bats, they've got bats 12, instead of pips, 17, and they're not in the nice twin order. 21, yeah. 27, so 28, 29, 31 damage. Sweet, above average. Uh, 31 damage to everyone in that area. The Guardian Those of Faith doesn't take the damage. Um, and I'll have you make a wild surge check, please. I think the trigger's an eight, we said. Uh, I don't remember. I'll, I'll, count. Eight this I'll count if it matters. One. There it is. <laughs> there it, it is. Matter. Wild surge. Another fireball. Sent it on himself. <coughs> um, that is a 13. Uh, 12. I think that was the set. I grow another five inches tall. I think it was. It's not necessarily five inches. It's 12 was the one before, I'm almost certain. Uh, so it's a D10 to see how many inches grow. you grow. Um, another 10 Do you want to check? Get, I'm pretty yeah, sure it check. was 12, but... I will check. Uh, 17 for Trenton plus his modifier. 7 inches again. And it's a 17 um, uh, DC? 17 right. DC Seven for your fireball? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so this guy fails, this guy succeeds, he takes the full amount of damage, and from what he's on, uh, it was 31, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. that's, that's enough. How, how does he get incinerated? Um, he literally... Like, it, Similar to, I can't remember which Indiana Jones movie it is, yeah. just like melts in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Goblet of Fire. Yeah. Was that it? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Indiana Jones and the Goblet of Fire. Is that it? Yeah. That's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, oh, that's, that's right. enraging. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not even that big, I'm not an Indiana Jones fan at all, but that <laughs> enraged me. Yeah. Well, no, Order of the Phoenix. <laughs> oh, it makes me want to flip a table. Was, was Don't flip this. No, that's <laughs> um, he's incinerated. Uh, the other guy <laughs> is looking bloodied. Towers, Trenton is now looking bloodied. Okay. Um, and did it hurt the and, tentacle? Uh, the tentacle will have also been damaged if he's if he fails his dex save. Uh, no, he does not. Uh, so he will get half of that. To save he was all ready to hurt that one. Sixteen. <coughs> uh, not this one. Oh no! Yeah, he took the ha he took the ten from him. Yeah. So he was bloodied. Twenty. So he's not, he's still around, but the, this tentacle is not looking good. All right. Um, One, two. I do want to do more. Things, all right, all right, all right. Uh, then the I just need to look at the wild magic just to confirm a hundred percent that it was a twelve that we got before. Man being grappled is boring. Twelve. I forgot how boring. Roll a d ten. Your height grows by a number of inches. And what did you roll? Seven. Seven. So you're now twelve. You're now full, full foot taller than you were. Is this just like so, a permanent? So it's, it's a permanent, it's a permanent about, thing unless you well, get. Say so, so you're currently. I was about six that your height was he six, was six, four, four foot. Six, four, you're six, six one. one. Yeah. So, six now, one. You're seven so one. now, so now, Baradun is seven feet. Let's go make green screen real annoying. Yeah, I guess we give you. Baradun is seven In green screen, I'm just slouching slightly. Oh, 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 oh! I feel taller and more powerful. Yes. Oh. Oh god, ouch, ouch my back, ouch my back. That's right, tall people frequently have real bad back problems. Oh shit. You know what? I think I might just slouch from now on. Oh, there we go, that's better. Oh shit. Ah, oh, so I'm now going to be roughly the same height as I was previously. A foot of slouching. Oh, it's just <laughs> slouching. Um, uh, okay, cool. That is, and then that's that's your bonus action, just a fireball. Yeah, Jesus, I'd, I'd kind of done more than I expected, and what I was going to do, I don't know if I will do now. 
I'm going to let this guy have his turn first and we'll see what happens. <laughs> you got any heals? Oh, all right. I mean, he do, he's meant to go right after your turn. So you are meant to like complete your turn. But Are you going to allow it or not? Roll a persuasion check <laughs> against me. <laughs> <laughs> D DM persuasion check. Uh, five plus nine. <laughs> no, I'm not going to allow it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. You have to finish your turn before the dragon has his. Um, <laughs> Uh, this could be a big old waste if I do it. Um, oh, did you say Tr is Trinton bloodied? Trinton is now looking bloodied. Okay. Um, and this tentacle is looking bloodied, and this one's not. And just before we go any further, dead, do we right? want to? He's dead. Oh, he's burned up. Yeah. Before we go any further, Incinerate. we probably don't want to kill Trinton. <clears throat> yeah, that's, that? that's why I'm not going to do what I was going to do. I, I was going to use my chain lightning throw. I can use <laughs> revivify. With, what is oh, it? Oh yeah. Touch a creature that has died within the last minute and returns to life with one hit. Oh. Oh, great. Okay. It costs you uh, three hundred gold, uh, three hundred gold piece worth of diamond. Someone get someone get. We can go. We can split it. Do we have diamond? But we don't have diamond. Oh, diamond. I got Does a diamond, but it's like worth five thousand, and I don't want to use that. No, no. Just bring um, off a oh, three hundred gold. Where the gold did you get that? Dark? Where did you get your? Where are you getting this? This shit. I can't from. remember. I was just Dragon, in my Dragon, Dragon, Dragon Horde. I think that one has been modified. It's not. It's not five thousand. It was a. It was a smaller version of the diamond, uh, worth five hundred. Oh, it's worth five hundred. Okay. Hmm. Um, well, I'm just gonna... Well, sorry, just before we go forward, isn't there a, th a mechanic where we can choose not to kill them? We can just you, down if, them like or under, if Like, you can't do that with fire damage. But yeah, like, if yeah, you do yeah. bludgeoning damage or something like that, you can just say non-lethal damage. Okay. Within reason, you can claim that it's non-lethal damage and it's fine. Yeah, right. Like if it's a giant fireball. Like if it's a giant fireball and you're like, it's non-lethal. Non-lethal exactly. giant fireball. Exactly. If we do kill him, you guys can all give me like 100 gold and I can use this. Uh, raise dead and give them the 500 diamond that and bring them back. Okay. Um, I I'm just going to, for, for now, oh, yeah. shoot off a firebolt at, uh, at this, hoping to hell it cool. lets go of Bodger. Um, it's, uh, what is it? If it's up 2d10. Well, first I need to see if I hit. Um, 14 plus 9, 21. 21 hits, real damage. Uh, and what did I just say? It's 2d10. 23, yeah. Come on, mate. I don't know that that was that was that 21 hits. <laughs> I didn't say it, that your maths uh, was right. 4 plus yeah, 10, I guess. 14 damage. Uh, oh, nice. 14 damage takes that tentacle to being bloodied. And because it's bloodied, I'll give it a chance to let go of you. Fucking nat 3. Let's uh, go. Plus modifier, go, probably not enough. Him up, bro. It kind of just it, right, the, have fun. The, the first helpful thing I think you've ever done to me in, in combat. It, let's go of you. It's still around and bloody. You didn't actively hurt you. <laughs> yeah, I was going to do a fireball, but I chose fireball. Just to <laughs> remind myself, there we are. Um, and then, okay, now let's uh, quickly get through There's this. Blood in the water. Uh, the um, uh, now multi attack. It says it uses its rend and uses its breath weapon. Yes. Can I? You can swap and switch. Right? Oh, brilliant. Okay, so he uses his breath weapon first, trying to burn away the tentacle and going for Trenton as well. Awesome. So it's a 30 foot cone, 2d6. Two of these bad boys. Two. And, and make sure it hits first. Yeah. Six. No, it's no. Both eight. Crap. Eight damage. Shit, Trenton's going to fail his save for once. Um, eight, eight damage. Eight damage to both of them. Uh, they are both actually. Oh no, the tentacle's going to succeed. Uh, so four points to the tentacle. <laughs> actually is what it had left. Yay. Um, so now it is so no longer restrained. In. So now it can move and attack with its rend attacks at Trenton. So he wanders forward. If you could Bob, I reckon Bat fly through the thing to see what's up. <laughs> see what's on the other side. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's just see. Um, Report Bat. I, send what's I it, could send send what's send what's okay. it. Send I'm going to do, do both um, both attacks. He wanders forward. Wanders, wanders into the oh, Guardian's oh, range, oh, but he's not a hostile Oh, no, no, could come here. So he's in line, so Greg's behind him. Oh, yeah. I think I'm on top still. I'm like, oh yeah, you're on top. Oh great. Okay. Holy f you. <laughs> Whatever. He's like, all right. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. So, uh, splurchy. Uh, no, I do need to attack now. Plus nine. Two plus nine for the first one. I think it's not going to. Uh, Fifteen plus nine. Fifteen plus nine is more than he can 24. more than he can get to even with his shield. So yeah, it's gonna hit. Okay, and this is uh, three plus nine. Twelve damage. Twelve points of damage. What type of damage is it? Uh, just piercing, I think. Yeah, piercing. For the piercing damage, so you can have that. So okay. he's not looking good, and he uh, he says, maybe we can, maybe we can talk this through. I know that Bob and I have a lot in common. I'm sure we'd have a lot to talk to talk about with our uh, respective patrons, perhaps. What what, what do you have? I'm sorry. What? what do you have in common? How the f do you know my name? <laughs> you've been you've been 
bragging about your exploits all over the island of Thilavern uh, uh, to all of the other five families. It's my business to know about Baradun and the dickheads. All right, and what do you have in common out of interest? <laughs> Our respective patrons. Sorry, Mine's elaborate. Dave, his is the oh, new one. So your, your patron is a dark lord. Is that not obvious? He said, <laughs> with the blood right, coming out of his nose. I want you to say I want you to say it. Ah, so you're involved this, with that, the dark arts, <laughs> are you? Well, look, this could have just all been very convenient. He's literally just said it. Now. Look, 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 push it. Push yeah, the yeah. Get, get, so get it. your patron is Dave. <laughs> I... <laughs> I, like, Dave and I are strength. in cahoots, let's say. <laughs> uh, cahoots. Uh, All right, let's slow down. Can we? What are you and Dave? And how are, are you, you and Dave? Under a curse? <laughs> We're in a situation ship, let's say. We don't want to put labels on it. <laughs> <laughs> so it is, Dave. You're in cahoots with the Dark Lord. Da Dave, the Dark Lord. Dave's the Dark Lord, yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are I you figured working, it out. working that out? Yeah! I thought we were way past that. I figured it out, guys! Dave's a dark lord and he's in cahoots with Dave! Look around you! This is not the epitome of dark lord summoning? Yeah! You no, know it is! You came, you came in during a ritual sacrifice. Yeah! See, I noticed the tentacles, and then I noticed you say Dave, and I was like... Oh my god! Dave is a dark lord! It's all okay, new, we're just taking it as it comes. Okay, so he's admitted it, because, yeah, someone yes, else could see Okay, we've all got this memory, we've all got this memory now, yeah. so... Yeah, do, I may have remembered. Now, do we want to kill him, or do we want to, like, tie him up and take him to... the fucking Sanguine Guards or something? Oh, hang on. I mean, before we do that, like, what's... what's is this guy just gonna go? Is the, the, the team still gonna go? We're gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna get to that. Like, this is all happening on Baradun's turn. I think that was everything you could do, movement-wise. Yeah, there's a lot I could do. Bodger, um, uh, simultaneously, you're, uh, like, the, about to try and, like, attack this thing to get off you, but then it just retracts because of the fire. Yeah, right. Uh, get up. Which takes uh, an action, does it? Uh, no, just, just half your movement. Half your movement. You can pick up your sweet. hammer as a free object interact. Uh, sweet, got my hammer back. Um, I mean, I, I don't know. Are we? Are we? We're still in combat. We're yeah, still. Yeah, you yeah, heard him not, shout that out, but we're still. I want to get rid of the fucking tentacle. Like literally, fucking tentacle. So literally, fucking tentacle. Oh, we're getting Literally, fucking tentacle. Getting a lot of bad stuff recently. Yeah, sure. It's turning into a hint over here. All right. Um, hit it. Make an attack. Thrown. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a reckless attack actually. Reckless? Well, reckless only works in melee. You gotta uh, get I'm jump into the water. Uh, uh, <laughs> can I, am I close? You can get not, to melee. Not, I'm just asking uh, which yeah, is I'm you gonna good. go melee. Melee, you're still frenzied. Re reckless. reckless attack to give yourself advantage on it. Uh, 12 plus. 12 plus uh, your modifier, modifier is gonna be. Yeah, t uh, 22. Uh, I can't 22 is enough to hit. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then <laughs> you. <laughs> you are in melee, you are raging. Uh, you're uh, using it a two handed. So 1d10 1 plus 10. 9. Uh, 5 plus 9, 14. 14 points damage to the tentacle. You'd already done some amount of that. Um, but it has none. Oh, it's magical damage because of your hammer. Yep. So that is it. That's uh, literally what it had left. So right, so how, do you, <laughs> how do you take it? You just, you just go. Bah. Oh, you I'm just, just like, oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, no. Oh, no. God damn it. It's, I, it's so, so annoying being you just grappled. Just uh, and I've still got more things. Um, You've got two more attacks and uh, your movement. Let Attack me, the big let, frog, I reckon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think, um, I, I, think I'm, I think I'm just going to get as close as I can just to be like right. intimidating around around yeah. old mate. Uh, so By the way, this whole time, what this whole time what Trenton is do? being like, this whole time Trenton is like, I think maybe we can talk about my mace is like, <laughs> in his face, like, just kind just of, like, what are we doing? Stop it. He's just like trying to hold on to the So, are we, are we going to try and, are we going to try and Somebody restrain him and take him to the Sanguine Guards? Like, is that our. Well, because Ron can still hit him. I, and if you're hitting him, you can just knock him out. You can knock him out without killing him. Okay, yeah. can I do that? And then we can restrain so we, we, him. Get, what information do we need out of him now before we do this? Like, no, well, that's what I'm saying. If you knock him out, we can at least him. restrain him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So the, the only thing we've, we we've gained him. so far is we've got in a kind of a confession, as it were, yeah. that yeah. we have memor we have in our memories now. Mm -hmm. Which yeah. apparent, apparently well, he, he's got connections to the dark realm, the dark dimension. It could be good to have him alive if we want. Because I mean, if, so if we go to the, he's so dodgy. He's got connections to a dark lord. 
<laughs> Which I'm sure means he's dodgy. If we ever Don't will. worry about me. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah, in exactly. the future if we need someone to open up a portal for us or something, which we might need in the future. Yeah, yeah I don't wish Think quick, it's on your turn. You've got two look, more attacks. I'm going to try and grapple him. I'm going to come close enough to just Maybe this is as far as you can get with your movement. just knock him the fuck out. I reckon just knock him the fuck out. Non lethal. Non lethal vibes. Non lethal, try and knock him in the head with your hammer. Oh, that's. that's uh, that's uh, just re yeah, reckless yeah. if you're in melee. So the other one. There we go. Uh, so sixteen. 16. So twenty-six. Twenty-six hits. Yep. Uh, roll of damage. It was thrown and it wasn't a giant. So one d eight. Uh, one d six plus six. Uh, you know what I'm worried about two. now? Yep. Is this guy is still going to try and eat this guy? Yep. And we're going to have to. Uh, <laughs> five to seven. Mm. We just uh, plus. I'll give him one six. I'll give him the burnt body. Six. We'll give him the burnt body. Oh yeah yeah yeah. So, yeah. What was it through? Oh, uh, we'll seven plus six. Yeah, seven plus six. Uh, so Hello, my baby. Hello, Hello my darling. <laughs> okay, yeah, he's on. He's looking real bad, but you are. Uh, he's not quite dead down yet, so you can use your frenzied, act, uh, frenzied attack to again? Captain America. Throw it again. Captain America. Throw, throw again. Non-lethal. Uh, Non-lethal non vibes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's the, it's the, it's the lightning <laughs> directly above the metal dice. Uh, th so thirteen plus ten, so tw uh, 23, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Three, he can now shield. Damn, no, he can't. It, it'll still hit just. So, so, uh, so yeah, meets it, beats it. So he can't shield and get it. So, um, so he goes as if he's going to shield. <laughs> the the magic goes up and then <laughs> the hammer hits him in the face. I'd be very surprised uh, if this doesn't knock him out. Six plus four, ten plus uh, six, 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 uh, six, sixteen. How do you knock him out? Um, Hammer in the face. Hammer in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hammer in the face does a good job of knocking yeah. people out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you're I mean, uh, like, hammer. But like, the head. like, where does it? In the okay, solar so, plexus, so, so wins him. Like, like, like while I'm controlling it, I'm like, if I hit him in the head, then it might actually kill him. <laughs> yeah. So it's like <laughs> straight to the stomach. <laughs> wind knocks the wind right out of him. <laughs> Keels over, and he just blacks out. And we can talk. <laughs> mother trucker. Falls mother down. trucker. All right, let's just try. Let's just. Oh wait. Okay. Let's, actually, what, what's going on with this guy? Let's. let's. Uh, this one. Oh, that's uh, the he, he fire died. lady that is still inside the frog. Let's see if she can do twenty points of damage or more. Oh, oh, she, oh, she dies. Oh, Start right. of her turn. She didn't die. As she was bitten, I said she, you could see her getting wounded, but then she gets swallowed. Um, mm. So start of her turn, she takes Thought stomach acid damage. Odd. Where did all my other d6s go? Did I give them to you? You and gave didn't me get them back. a couple. There we go. Thank you. She's gonna take. Ooh, 10 points. She's almost dead from inside from the stomach acid. Let's cool. see if she can do any... Uh, basically, if she can do 20 points of damage to this frog from the inside, he regurgitates her, otherwise she's dead. Mm. Um, what can she do? Her dagger and maybe roll well? Theoretically possible, if she rolls really well. Why am I rooting for her? You can do she, it. <laughs> <laughs> you go, oh, come on. Come on, get out of there. Well, you know, she, she, gets, gets, she gets out and then she's like, oh. She'll get out. Oh, there's a very That's different it. battlefield from when I went Yeah! 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 yeah. 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 <laughs> Whoa! Uh, yeah. No. Oh, 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 she, oh, she's still alive in there. She's still in there. Hey, oh. That's gonna suck. Oh. But she, she, yeah, she's the baddie, so... It, yeah, yeah. But just what, so a, what a horrible oh, way to go. Oh, 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 oh she's trying to get out. She's oh. really struggling, isn't she? Oh, really, you really go for it. I mean, just die. I mean, no, you can do it. What a, hor die, what a horrible yeah. way to go. A bit rough. of a crappy way to go. Gu oh. gu guidance. Oh, she's nearly out. Guidance. Oh, no. That doesn't work. You can do it. I believe in you. Yeah, I'm kind of on her side now. Uh, I know. It's, yeah. it's I a little struggle, isn't it? I haven't heard her in a while. Dying in digestive juices wouldn't be fun. Do you think she's... I think she's still alive. Go, on, go, go! Go! Come on! Go on! Go, 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 go! go. Do it! Ah, she's Stop. not doing well. She's, she's not shot. doing well. Yeah, I think, she, I think she's f***ed. <laughs> yeah. I mean, she's she gets back out and rolls into this guy's range and he just goes... <laughs> 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 that is funnier, so I'm going to say that is what happened. Great, great, great. She didn't roll up well enough to uh, to survive, which means on the next round she'd take more acid and die. Yep. So she, let's just say she does manage yeah, to like, climb her way out with the flaming boots and, and the frogs going... <laughs> Freedom! Fire, technically, uh, she almost rolled well, and then with the extra five fire damage from her uh, boots that are currently active, she would have actually made 20. So she does get regurgitated. She gets regurgitated out within 10 feet of this guy's range, who does Shh, she just slams into her and then... <laughs> <laughs> Do we, do we just do bang? Goodbye. Do, 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 do you just see like her head just go? Head just falls off. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. she's getting out of the mouth. <laughs> no head. And then this lifeless body just falls. Go. That is brilliant. Um, <clears throat> <laughs> he wasn't alive to see it, which means back to him. He's unconscious. Uh, Bob and Greg, you've got 
uh, we're still in initiative just because the frog hemoth doesn't necessarily know that you don't want this guy dead. He right. might well eat him now that he's a lifeless body and he's used to being fed lifeless okay, bodies. Bob, Bob, give him, give him. Oh, uh, Straighten him with the body of the, the burnt body of the woman who just died. Uh, what about no. the burnt one? Oh, the woman who just died. I wonder if the one they just well, reg- he regurgitated he probably doesn't want to eat anymore. So what yeah, about the, the bur- burnt body. Well, I was thinking I could distract him with what's it. Do that, maybe. But for how long? Hello, my lady. Hello, my <laughs> we're, we're, finishing, we're, gonna, we're gonna be here a long time, so unless this monster is just keen for a I can dedicated just, show. He doesn't seem that to, smart. To remind you, they, the Bullywugs, as you've known from the first act of the campaign, they just like collecting shiny shit, and they usually give it well, to Well, let's loot these bodies and give some shit He's, to... If anything shiny and interesting, and you might be yeah, able to distract him with gold. Is, so uh, there, is, there is a mechanic here where if, if during the fight you were flicking him a gold every round, he would have been doing more damage and stuff for you. Oh. Okay. Um, so can we just go, thank you very much for your help, here's some gold. Yep. Okay, I'd, want. I'd do that, I guess. How much gold are you giving him? <sighs> ten. One. One gold piece. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll, f- it, yeah, I'll flick him ten gold. All right, ten gold. Okay. And into, and, and, and into the water? Can, into the can, water so it follows him? You can make me an animal handling or, pers- uh, or persuasion check, your choice, and you add ten from the ten gold that you've given him. Oh. Right. right. Uh, go twenty then. <laughs> uh, sorry, what were net, the options? Sorry? 20. Animal, Animal handling, handling or persuasion? persuasion? I'll go persuasion. Oh, persuasion. Uh, so regular persuasion roll there, plus minimum persuasion modifier 15. and then add another 10. 14 plus 5, 19. 19 plus 10, 19 plus 10, 10 from the 10 gold. Oh, yeah. 29. And I throw this. You, throw, I throw you it fling into it. The his, water. His, his tongue is, 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 is three eyes on the stalks, kind of looking around for another yeah. meal. He sees this guy go down and you can see all of his eyes go loop. Over to this, yeah. and I go. His big gulas yeah. seems to start. Yeah. His yeah. tongue's about to fling to out, disappear. and then you're like, "Here, big guy!" <laughs> Throw the handful of gold, and his eyes kind of flick around to see it, and then he starts to move up that way on his turn. Um, stumbles through what? He what's stumbles it? through. Ah! Yeah, he crushes what's it on the way. And <laughs> by the way, I had not disappeared. <laughs> what's so you're just like. Yeah. So yeah, um, I go, I was oh, the rock going. I throw it and it's towards Baradun. I go, <laughs> yeah, a couple of pieces luck. even hit Baradun. Good luck, Baradun. Yeah, if one of the coins goes, ding! On the, like, <laughs> on the water, yeah, the tongue comes out. Uh, the, the frog hemoth goes back into the water, satiated. He's had enough bodies to eat for a couple sure. of days. Um, you are out of combat. Because <sighs> Dave, Dave has receded. <sighs> what, what's Dave has good work, guys. To work the, the, the portal. Plane. The, the portal is now closing now that there's no, none of the people chanting to keep it can open and Dave get, is not actively can through, it. It through Can I quickly try and send what's it through? You absolutely can, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's what's its speed on his, on his uh, character uh, it's sheet? It's like 40. 30, 30, 30, 35, 40, and then with a dash, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, literally just... <laughs> <laughs> just quick! Gonna, <laughs> all right. Make me, an, uh, make me an, um, uh, an initiative check for what's it, just to, against the portal, essentially, to see if... Five. Uh, plus his, his dexterity. Uh, Ooh, another three. For Dave, Dave, and anything Dave related has been I don't fear pretty Dave much under anymore. five. Yeah. His <laughs> probably why it's called Dave, and everybody else is like Nechroth Ragash, Lord of the Fly. Dexterity is plus three, so eight. Eight. Uh, yep, against the three that I rolled just straight for the portal. What's it manages to just get in, but the portal closes, and you lose contact to, oh. what, to what's it. What's to the last thing you saw, though? What does he see? Three. 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 So you, what, you walked in? You see pretty much a replication of the. Um, uh, back in 100, uh, episode 112, when Zybilna yeah, was showing you all of this stuff, there are. It's, dark it's world. like a. It's a landscape. It's a dark world of like think Cthulhu. It's a. It's a. Um, a foresty sort of landscape, but the trees are seemingly made out of body parts. There's like arms oh, growing out of the ground with mul- right. multiple yeah. hands growing off of them, and like fingers are broken backwards and things. Uh, it seems to be like cut and oozing pus down them. Eyeballs are just opening in space around you, and there's just feels weird like creepiness. Home. Feels <laughs> like feels like home. Uh, what's it freaked out right before it? Closes. Oh, what's, um, what's more is you see uh, Dave retreating from the portal. Like you damaged enough of his, his, his hand, essentially. He was ring, just pulling fingers through. And I guess you, you damaged can't even, each of them individually and he went, ah. Oh. You can't even he just kind of, of what back. he looks like. Exactly, yeah. He pulls him. his hand through and you can, like, you know that it's Dave from looking at it. You wouldn't be able to describe it. What's yeah. it is it probably, in fact, he's got like seven hit points, right? Yeah. So the amount of psychic damage he would see, he would get from just looking upon one of the Shadow Lords would be enough to just kill him. He's just like, <laughs> so ah! what's it just pops it from the psychic damage as he can't even perceive what, um, what One day we at. need to summon Watson just a real night, like a beach or something. Just, <laughs> just, just chill. Well, that's like, not what Watson wants. That's not what he wants. That's not what he wants. <laughs> it's a demon. Right, demon. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, on a, a fire. In a fire. So it's, it's somewhere yeah. between this yeah, area slaughter and Slaughterhouse. <laughs> slaughterhouse. <laughs> yeah, right. right. Sort of, sort All right. Um, and that's what you see before the portal closes. Okay, great. Okay. Loot! 
Uh, <laughs> let's, should we restrain? Restrain first. Oh, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, let's restrain him. Um, now he's got Misty Step, so even... Uh, Ooh, wait, Misty okay. Step, does it require hands? Uh, yes, I believe so. Okay, so we need to make sure his hands double are check down. Okay. Let me double so check we that. spend... I think it, actually, actually I think Misty Step is just vocal from memory, Don't we have actually? some kind of like magical restraint? Didn't someone have that? Am I completely I gonna use Misty them, Step is just a vocal component. Okay, okay so, so it's gag him gag gag as well. Oh, yeah. It's hard to make question but... Can... Well, we can message, we're we gonna just for the just for uh, reasons that I just rolled forward. Um, we're gonna stay in initiative order. Um, so Baradun, what do you do? You, you this thing has disappeared. The, the frog humus has gone away. Um, uh, what's it's been chucked through the portal? I uh, I need to kind of like. Uh, can, would I be able to jump that distance? Yep, easy. Boop. Uh, I come thirty feet closer. Well, mm -hmm. I can't really do much. I come thirty feet closer and. Here I come. You're just saying, here I come. Here I come. Dash action. Dash action, another, another 30. 30. Um, Bodger. Uh, I'm going to go closer. You're still raging for the rest of this turn, just because you so, didn't um, make an attack last yeah. turn. Uh, I, I uh, guess just... <laughs> you get to him with your movement. <clears throat> yeah, uh, I guess pick him up and just... Just like hold him. Hold him. So okay. he's is, is physically he restrained. Or, or, we've still got our rope. I could have thrown my rope slightly closer, I guess, or something, and you could tie him up. <coughs> yeah, we kind of just yeah, I'll, tie I'll him up. So I'll you uh, make an action, so you yeah, start to wrap not, around. No wrap wrap oh. around him. Um, yeah, we're still in initiative order oh, just sorry. for reasons, because when it comes around to his turn, uh, he starts to gurgle. I'm making death saving throws for him to see if he's getting close to death or not before you can stabilize Even though him. we did non-lethal? Uh, yeah, non-lethal because you still smashed him in the head a bunch of times and did acid on him and fire and all that stuff. So like in my games, like, non-lethal means that you can, up, you can try and keep them alive, but it's not like right. an instant like, well, he's perfectly fine and healthy and he's definitely yeah. not going to die. Right, right. He's still in the middle of a fight and you win so, him. So it gives does, you the chance to save him. We've got time to actually have a discussion now. Well, we've got a bit of information about uh, that he's working with baddies, but you are too. So what does that yeah, yeah. mean in terms of like evidence for anything? Um, what do you do? So well, what, what, do what, do? what does that go? He, he was remember. sacrificing people. We came down through his tunnel. We've just got a whole lot of memory commit, evidence. Commit me another um, intelligence sleight of hand check, which is just straight roll uh, negative one. Uh, 15 total. 15, so uh, that was a 16 on the dice. 16 on the dice. Cool, 15. So okay. 15 on the, on the tying knots around Can, can you also gag him in his mouth? Not, uh, with, not with a single action. Okay, Bob. sorry, I just hobble oh, around the corner and just join them here. Alan, uh, maybe you get some cloth then. I'll get, get some of my mouth. cloth and gag. All right, roll me an intelligence sleight of hand check. I don't believe you're proficient in sleight of hand, so it's just straight I intelligence. I think we take him to the Sanguine Guards, which are the magical guards <coughs> in the Philiburn Islands that look after this kind of shit. And we'll really look like good guys if we're like, here's a bad Dead guy who we didn't kill. Yep. And because you, basically... You do a good job of making sure he's gagged. You take a wad of um, white cloth white or something, cloth. stuff it in his mouth and then gag over the top yep. of that. And and because cause the whole reason we're trying to find... We're trying to find dirt on the cell winds for the ladder keeps. Yeah. And we've just seen that they're doing human sacrifices to yeah. a dark lord. Baradun, so that's the dirt. dragon around? Is there any dr magical uh, fucking yeah, bonding? So who do we report you the dirt to? The ladder keeps. Ladder keeps. Should we... Um, where we're going then? I, I just come over just to make sure that they have definitely I, done a good do, job of yeah, tying it up. Yeah, you investigate them over, you look like you've, they've done a good job of tying it up. He, do, he okay. got a 15 on his check and he got a 20 I on his check. I'm so leaning he's tied on up. I just want to make sure there's no way he can do magic yeah. if he wakes up. You just sort of rest in for a bit on that one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> make a dexterity oh, sake. check I don't. And you die. You trip uh, up, you make trip a dexterity up. check for me. Oh my god, please trip up and hit your head on that. Five, Five plus 12, okay. 17. Oh, 17. Jesus, you've got a lot. Um, you you lean on this thing that uh, and you you see that like there's <gasps> it's a trap there's three it's not a trap there are um, it's kind of like a Venn diagram of circles and they all rotate at diff like different ways and they they rotate different um, runes into different positions and stuff <laughs> and as you lean your elbow on one one of them kind of slips <laughs> and then you see this. Uh, it's a stargate. It's a stargate. It's the, yeah. the controls and it's the... A, exactly that, yeah. yes. You see a different portal open up in the in the ah. wall, a different coloured glowing ring. And you're like, hmm. No, step away. And you step away from it. <laughs> um, whoops. <laughs> Blue. Also, I got that wrong. I wasn't plus 12, but it was something. Oh, so, something. Whatever. Anyway. Um, <laughs> That is going around here. Then we get back to his turn. I've already pre-rolled his death saving throws. The second one was a nat 20, which means you regain a hit point. So the second, so on the away. second round, 12, 12 rounds after you've knocked him out with the thing, 
he comes back to life, which is why I was like keeping an initiative order to see, mm -hmm. are you going to gag him before he comes back to yeah, life? Yeah. You did gag him, which means he comes back, he's restrained, he looks out, he immediately tries to misty step out of it and no realizes he's gagged. No <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> God. What's up? What's up now? And now, uh, and now we, we're out of. I want to check his now, pockets and stuff for any, uh, well, loot, but also any more evidence. Of, any more remembered. evidence against him. I'll keep that on you to remind us that we are wounded as well. As um, uh, oh, you I didn't am make an attack roll. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, you didn't make an attack roll or uh, yeah. take damage, so your rage ends and you are now exhausted. Exhausted. As, yeah, I'm severely uh, bloodied. as Greg's uh, going through, um, extra bloody. <laughs> Just As Greg's going through his pockets, um, I cast a uh, fucking. That was a one. I that was a fucking. Um, I cast fucking. <laughs> and we're like, Barrett, dude, not the time. <laughs> what are you doing? Um, uh, 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 I, and I wild surge because I'm casting because that was a one. Oh, really? <laughs> um, God, I hope it's 12. What, 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 what do you <laughs> want to do? do? <laughs> what, do you, what, what do you want to do first? What I'm doing or the um, wild surge? The wild surge happens after you cast the thing. Okay. So what are you doing? What this are you is such a pointless <laughs> thing. Um, I, I drop my concentration on the dragon this ruins to bring, to bring Jeff back. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! This it ruins everything. everything. The, the, the called me, called so God, if you fireball us and kill you... Like, <laughs> you're going to set him God, free or something? Look, I'm, using, I'm using my hero token to make sure it doesn't happen. <laughs> okay. There you go, done. Ooh. Okay, cool. Um, <laughs> and Jeff comes in and puts his arms around us and goes, Good work, guys. We've done such a good job. Look at us. Hey. Bodger, Bob, old Greg over here, and me, <laughs> Jeff. Hey. Oh, of course, Baron Aaron, I wouldn't yeah. forget, forget yeah. about you. Yeah. Good yeah. Job. We uh, did it, team. We did, did it. Yeah. Baradoon, the dickheads, yeah. and Jeff. Hey. <laughs> Let's get in there, guys. Come on. On three. Baradoon. Just get, get, get in there. Baradoon, the dickheads, and Jeff on three. Get on in there. Okay, okay. Yeah, Baradoon. Okay. Come on. Hey. Baradoon, the dickheads, and Jeff. One, two, three. Jeff. Hey. Everybody hey. loves this guy. Hey. Jeff. Baradoon, can you banish this prick already? Everybody loves the Jeff. <laughs> I'm not, I'm over there. Okay, he doesn't I touch me. Lot of us I'd like, oh, Look man. at us, guys. <clears throat> Look just, at us. All right. What I'm a great great job we've done. Like, how do we how do we convince you to leave get him gone? <laughs> how, do we, how do we do that? How do we convince how do we, what? How do we oh, convince Jeff, you to stop no, ruining cool nice. moments? Yeah, with can Jeff. You, like, hey guys, <laughs> we've done a good job here taking down someone who's pretty <laughs> <bloody> <laughs> evil. <laughs> Whoa! That's That's a bit that's a bit. Well, wait, you a cleric. I'm <laughs> sorry, I didn't talk like that. That's not, and I did just ride your back. I, 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 so I would like your wild magic to still happen, but what's going to happen here is um, I'm going to, between sessions, since we're pretty much at the end now, between sessions, because you use the hero point token for it, mm -hmm. I'm going to send you my homebrewed wild magic table, and you can choose what, which wild magic happens, because right. you used the hero point token Great. for it. Um, <laughs> and, and that still happens as you cast this Jeff thing. So as Jeff comes around, you've got uh, hey, you've guys. got Trinton Selwyn, head of the Selwyn family, um, confessed to you that he has somewhat of a patron uh, relationship with this with Dave, uh, and that he can you know you have lots in common, so you've got lots to talk about and maybe even make deals and whatever else. Uh, you've also realised yeah, right. the way that these these guys tend to get in from that teleportation circle that you passed before is probably that they come in through this one mm -hmm. with the the guys in tow, and mm -hmm. they're like, hey, cool, look at this thing, put him on the thing, and then. Go over to this little podium here, replace Let some stuff, con replace this one for that with one, the big one yeah. and then uh, conjure Dave and he feeds, and once they're done with the, the, the thing, Dave retracts, they oh, replace oh, it and go back. Are we, are we wrapping up now? Yeah, so much, so yeah. No, no, not much, no more is about to happen. I'm no. just going to remember for next time, let's, let's get him whether by force or whatever to use this for us. Mm -hmm. so um, also, know. yeah, like... I also don't want to forget I was looting his for yeah, stuff. Yeah, we'll start with you. We'll start every yeah. session with you looting. Yeah, looting you guys pops. looting right. apparently. Because <laughs> um, yeah, like the the I think I think our plan was to report back to the ladder geeps. Yeah. But as Rob just said, we could make friends with the Selwyns. I mean, that's going to be pretty difficult now. We've just knocked them out. But um, they are necromancers. Do we? Do we know? Like when he's when he saw his uh, his lady friend go into the thing. He's uh, he's a he's a um, what's the word? He's a 
a bachelor, but like someone who's like serial bachelor kind of thing. He's, he lives the bachelor's life. As a um, she was, uh, she was, a she was, she was one of his lovers essentially, um, mm. one of his mistresses. And so as he saw her die, it was like ah oh, fuck, and then immediately it was like I'll bring her back. <laughs> but I'll, I'll deal with these guys first, and then I'll bring her back. I, as a life cleric, I have pretty strong preference to go with the latter games. <laughs> <laughs> I was just, I was just putting out yeah, options no, on I, the I, table. I couldn't. I don't think I could, could do that morally. <laughs> Funny that you're in a party with me though. Yeah, <laughs> I love that you had a nat twenty just charged up that whole time, and you were just like nah, I'm gonna sit that. on it. <laughs> there were times I was very close to using it a couple of times. Because when you'd use a nat twenty and sneak attack, you max out all of the sneak attack damage and then roll. Yeah. Top of it, so it's yeah, a hell of a lot like, of damage. I nearly used it to try and save myself from the finger of death, but I was like, I don't even know if an Nat 20 would have saved me because mm, I have zero yeah. con and I didn't want to. Look, guys, I reckon so, that's a good place to so, leave it. So, yeah. so he comes hey, out and come he tries here, Bob. Come in, come, 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 come on over here, Bob. Come yeah. on over here, Bob. Yeah, look at us the mm. five of us Baradun and the dickheads and Jeff. Baradun uh, and the dickhead Baradun's in there. <laughs> dickheads <laughs> and the Jeff. Election. What are you doing? Are you like <laughs> a, get in there, guys? Watcher. I'll get in there, guys. He's all right. I don't get in there, guys. I summon Watson and get him to bite Jeff. Baradun, the dickhead, get <laughs> down. We're not to hell with you. We're not to hell with that. I should really quickly. Like, I'm lantern over a million to save blades around. <laughs> it's just like a corner the whole time. <laughs> just like, holy shit. Don't do drugs. Um, <laughs> don't do necromancy. <laughs> don't do necromancy. Yeah. Uh, how do we get out of here? <laughs> yeah. That, yeah. I have no idea. Yeah. Yeah. Do we act this out to them as well? <laughs> <laughs> this is how we tell them. <laughs> this is how we do Hey guys, we hope you liked that episode. If you did, could you please help us out? It doesn't take you very long. Go online to any of the D&D communities on Reddit, Twitter, wherever it is, uh, Twitch. Uh, find a D&D community that you like and tell them about our our series, our campaign, our episodes, and send them a link. Uh, it, word of mouth really does help us out. And if you want a link to send them, send them one of these. Thank you.